Hello, we're back. It's time for more Yakuza's. It's it's been a minute because last week's schedule was so weird. We didn't actually do any, and um, so yeah, we're back to it. And uh, when last we left off, we were um, we were Majima again. We just we just got back around to being Majima. And hello, Rock, and hello, Gal. Hello, hello. Um, thank you for coming by. But um, yeah, we just left off with Majima, and we just got basically given the reins to the uh, the good old. Um, the cabaret business, the the sunshine cabaret, or whatever. Uh, need to make sure the audio's okay, but there's nothing to listen to right now. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hello. I think this might be a good time to run you through the basics of cabaret club management. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Because I, you know, I, I like as as I've said many times before, I played this game all the way through already. Um, and one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite activities overall in the entire game was the cabaret management because it's really fun. Let me just turn that volume up real quick. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, I do have a moment now, uh, like a week or so later. I do, I do. Ah. Tell me, Yoda. Yeah, lay it on me. Right. Then let's get to it. A cabaret club czar, you need to operate your club, earn money, and grow your clientele, and ultimately CRUSH your competition. Hear the lamentation of the women as, as you take them to be employees at your own club. Your final goal, to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sotenbori. You can open the club as well as manage the girls who will form your active lineup by talking to Yoda inside Sunshine. As Sunshine's popularity increases and the, uh, and the clash with your rival, uh, rival's clubs heats up, the drama will unfold. Drive those rivals out of business and you'll unlock new combat techniques Majima can learn to become even stronger. So bring the fight to them as, as, as aggressively as you can. By driving Sunshine's popularity up, you can transform it into a source of tremendous profit, and anything you earn with the club is yours to spend however you wish. Grow the club, smash the competition, become the true cabaret club czar, and get filthy rich in the process. Yeah, it's it's the same as real estate, where you've got the um, the 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 extremely entertaining but incredibly dumb Saturday morning cartoon plot and villains. But uh, this, you know, where the real estate, you just leave it alone for a few minutes until the bars fill up. And then you go back and you upgrade the buildings and you spend your money on buying more buildings. It's just kind of an idle game. Uh, this, this is much more involved. Uh, I think from what I remember, it doesn't make quite as much money. Like, if you were to look at yen per minute and compare, you know, the maximum possible money you could make from real estate to the maximum possible money you could make from cabaret, um, it doesn't make as much. But also I think Majima in general just doesn't need as much money. It is way more fun. That's the point I was I was about to make. Uh, and hello, by the way, BB. Um, but it it is not a um, a an idle <clears throat> an idling experience. It is a mini game that you play, and there are a bunch of moving parts with like the the cabaret girls that you have, how you dress them up, how you like what their stats are and stuff. And then how you use them in the mini game, how well you play the mini game. Uh, it's it's really just it's fun. It's addicting as shit. Like I did a lot of this cabaret stuff originally. I think I, I think I might have beaten the cabaret stuff before I beat the real estate stuff because it's just it's really fun. And I'm gonna try not to spend too much time just doing the cabaret mini game uh, today, but we're we're gonna get into it. It is, it is really fun. I love it. Uh, I do not, I do not need to do that. I, I do not need you to tell me all that again. I got it, thanks. Sure thing. In that case, the next step is... Hmm, let's have you actually open the place up and do a round of prep. This is the sort of thing where the quickest way to learn is to actually just do it. Let's give it a try. I'll chime in with advice as we go. Ah. Alright, thumbs up. Let's do this thing. Let's go, I'm ready. And it should be, we didn't get to see when uh, this thing happened um, with the real estate, but it should be much like the real estate where now that we've got this open and we can get like new girls for the cabaret, um, we're going to step outside and there's going to be a million people standing out there from all the, the sub stories we've done, who, who we will hire on 
uh, for the club. Because it was, yeah, that happened off stream for the real estate. But yeah, the three uh, options on the top menu. Prepare to open, select staff for the shift, change their appearance, etc. Open for business, open the call for business, and start raking in the dough. Or rival battles, enter a showdown with a rival club. And those are fun too. Um, I, th I, I think we might, st we might, may still do actual fights um, with the rival club owners. But instead of being dragged around town and having your business shut down um, so you can get dragged around to do some unrelated minigame around Camarocho, in this there is actual an actual competitive... It's not really a mode, because you play it the same way, but you play it against the other club to see who makes the most money, and that's how you do your rival stuff. You buy everything and be the last one standing? Yes, absolutely. Um... Kind of, it's kind of similar the the structure of the plot for this. Like we're gonna we're gonna face the the red guy, the red fat annoying fuck, who who came in here talking shit earlier. And we're gonna take his club down, and then the other clubs are gonna open up. And the way it works, I think you you I think you still go around effectively buying businesses like you do with real estate, but instead it's like you're buying advertising space at those businesses as like a partnership so you get more more fans i think and that's how you get more people into the club when you open it so it, you still have that kind of structure but it still works very differently uh, so yeah every hostess has different set of statistics ability various stats showing the hostess's ability to entertain certain customers so you're gonna kind of, kind of like how you match advisors up to uh, certain businesses you want to match your hostess's qualities to the tastes of your customers. Uh, and yeah, looks, physical appearance goes a long way in this line of work. They can be both cute and funny. The better the values, the easier it is for a hostess to ensure her guests have a good time and spend lots of cash at the club. Ability stats rise as she levels up. Like in any job, she gains experience by working shifts and undertaking training sessions. So we, we level these, we level them up, kind of. We can make them better. Only platinum hostesses can undergo special training. Uh, so the platinum hostesses are the, the more important story hostesses. Like, they, they have their rarities, but... I think the way it ended up for me and the way you generally want to do it is you want to have all platinum hostesses or at least as much as you can. Uh, and these ones you can do kind of like sub stories with, like you train them up by doing activities together with them. And they are, they are quite fun. So I'll, I'll be showing all these. So I might end up looking up the answers because um, it's like a lot of multiple choice questions and stuff and giving them advice. But yeah, Majima will sit down with a girl for practice. Uh, conversation or take her out on a mock date at a karaoke bar, for example. If training goes well, the hostess will earn a lot of experience points. Looks good on her resume, too. You can only train one girl at a time for opening a, uh, for business on a given night, but a well-trained staff will give your club an edge over your rivals. Hone their skills to crush the competition flat. And makeovers. This I will get into, but, uh, and I think what I did before was I just looked up guides on how to get your get your platinum platinum girls up to like optimal looks statistics because the their their stats their looks stats will change depending on what makeup you slather them in and what clothes you put on them i guess uh but yeah that 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 is describing what i just said pretty much and then choosing hostesses for a shift use the duty roster to assign hostesses to work the next shift Pay close attention to each hostess's condition, as this will affect their performance. If a hostess is tired, the smart move is often to give her some time off work to rest and recover. Hostesses with more skills or higher levels cost greater wages, which can affect your overall profits when operating the club. And hello, Val. I'm just I'm about to operate a a for-profit parasocial uh, hangout with girls experience, which it's it's very meta in its own way. But I hope you're doing well. Uh, once you've finished any preparations, you can open the club for business. First, choose which area's customers you want to target. Yeah, that's it. So, you have to, so we'll only have this first area with the red, the red fuckwit um, to target. But yeah, it, it, we'll we'll be targeting different areas, and the different areas will have different customers and stuff. It's more more involved rather than just opening up every area and running businesses in every area all the time, like with real estate. 
As you gain more fans in an area, more customers will show up, and more of them will be big spenders. After each shift, you will gain more fans in the targeted area according to customer satisfaction. Okay, so it's like I say, it's more in depth, and it's a little, a, a little bit threatening feeling from the start, but it, it is really fun. So we can't do any rival battles right now because we, we're, we're shit. We're an F rank club. We're garbage. No one would ever want to come here. So let's just get ready. We got the three girls, and it's just these three for now. We'll get more uh, soon. And so yeah, they're all. They've got different rankings. You can catch them all. <laughs> you're in, you're in Frank Club, yeah, and the Low Chronicle. Um, so we've got a couple of bronzes, which are fine. You know, they they're functional. I mean, Endo has all triangles, which is not great, but you know, it's all functional for now. So like I say, ideally you want to be ultra motherfucking decked out with all platinum hostesses, but we don't even have enough hostesses to fill all the chairs at this point. Um, and we've got to level them all up as well, but we'll get there. Can we do some special training with Yuki right now? I guess we can. Um, I guess I'm going to look up the answers then. One second. Yeah, because uh, zero hostess training, please. Because I want, I want the best results. And yes, I am going to max, I'm going to min-max the outfits. I guess we'll, I'll have a look at that. Because uh, you can only change the outfits of platinum hostesses, so we can only do it for Yuki. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll get that right now as well, actually. Exit zero hostess outfits, please. Yeah, cause this this one Steam community guide that I used before, I think. Three double circle hostesses with only accessories. Yeah, so you can basically make it so they appeal to the. I, I'm kind of doing a a a, co a corporate thing, but I'm trying to. You, you can make it so the girls appeal to as wide an audience as possible, so they're more flexible. Um, but yeah, the, the nice thing about this is you can really get in depth with how you customize them and you can make them into like Dark Souls create a character freaks if you really want to. Uh, but this guide's really good, actually, because it gets you those three double circles for each pro uh, Platinum Hostess without, um, without changing their appearances and only using accessories, which is really handy. It might be a bit more expensive. Take a dump stat and S the other three. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do let's do our special training first, and let me pull up the guide. Yep, Yuki special training. So yeah, uh, the basically the like the answers that we pick are actually important. The, um, the like the hostess will get a stats boost based on our performance with the answers. So I'm gonna I'm looking up all the right answers. So that we can we can optimize our girls. Hi. Yes, thank you for your help with this. I've got to do the female voice again. God damn it. Mm -hmm. What's up, Yuki Chan? You nervous or something? No, I wouldn't call it nerves. It's more like battle butterflies. Mm -hmm. That's so. Well, I guess that's encouraging enough. All right, you ready to, uh, to pretend I'm a customer? Hi. Y yes. Uh, hello, customer. I'm Yuki. I look forward to a fun conversation with you. Uh, you sure you've got this? Yeah, it's kind of rough. Okay. And it's like fucking, um, it's like, uh, Killer is dead. Except we don't have, like, a, a stare at the, the boobs mechanic. Okay, well, let's start with an easy uh, topic. Tell me about some hobbies of yours. Oh, it's voice acted. Mm. No, we were saying before, a little bit of nervousness in a in a girl is is cute. You can play that, but she's too nervous at the moment is the issue. Yep, come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Let's use this little practice to get better acquainted, eh? Mm. Ah. Does she have a hobby? Mm -hmm. Do you do anything in your free time, or are you like a, a statue? Got anything? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she's a statue! Oh fuck. Well, that's... I don't know. Uh, well, I... You know, if you've got free time, you could maybe try the critically acclaimed MMO, Final Fantasy XIV. It, you know, it's got a free trial up to... 
what it, yeah, up to level 60, including the the award-winning expansion Heavensward. I'm getting better at this spiel. Oi, oi. Hey, hey, if you want to be a hostess, that kind of talk ain't going to cut it. You just flatline the whole conversation. Hmm. That's something. It's better than nothing. Although I don't know how FF14 talk would play in terms of hostess conversation. But I'd, I'd be very happy to talk to a hostess who I could talk to about Final Fantasy XIV. Hmm. Diary, huh? That's a great start, actually. What do you write about in it? Hmm. Oh, bonsai plant! That sounds like a fucking hobby to me! Uh, yes, triangle. I mean, this one's obvious. Bonsai? Wait, wait. Back up a bit. Bonsai? Wouldn't you think that tending bonsai would count as a hobby? I bet your older clientele would love hearing you babble on about that. Uh, yes! Mm -hmm. uh, let me... Hold on. Let me pull... I, I, I've got OBS not pulled up. Let me pull it up. So I can see chat properly while I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be a slight dark patch on the side when you're in this first person mode. That would be really funny! Ah. Uh. It's a shame they didn't do that. Oh, the one you're playing right now? Oh, good for you, Val. Good for you. I'm I'm very fortunate because, you know, because I'm not a normie. I get to play FF14 pretty much all day, and it's really great. Um, how much in-game currency did Square pay you? None! Fucking none. I wish they would. Um, I wish they'd give me more uh, more of the, stu the the currency I need to level up my, my grand company stuff, because I, I need to get that up so I can start handing in... Uh, armor pieces and stuff to get that up faster because I'm I am I've, I've only all all I'm doing for that right now is my daily roulette uh, and it's slow going uh, also accurate since 1988 oh shit the hit Final Fantasy game is fucking Final Fantasy 2 well that could still work and I, I mean Final Fantasy isn't canon yet uh, I mean I think it will be by the time we hit 7 Actually, Jelly, you get to experience Shadowbringers for the first time. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I I tweeted about it, uh, but I mean, last night I got through the well, yesterday I got through the rest of the post uh, fucking Stormblood uh, quests, which were really good. I I really enjoyed all of Stormblood all the way through. Um, but it, the the way I, I I'm definitely hyped. I've been told a lot of good shit. About Shadowbringers, and I'm I'm understanding it because it, it was good. Stormblood was really good, and I I enjoyed working on all that resistance stuff and and fucking over the Empire. That was good, but it's nice that we we are doing some real high fantasy shit. Like we, you get straight up fucking isekai as the inciting incident of Shadowbringers, and it's real interesting because it ties into some of the the really interesting stuff from before with the Warrior of Darkness and the Crystal Tower. Uh, and it, it's it's real interesting. I'm looking forward to where it goes. Uh, right now, I'm very early in, so it's all just uh, we're getting the band back together. Um, but that's still fun because yeah, because you get isekai'd to another world basically. I'll, I'll try not to give too many spoilers because uh, you really should experience these things for yourself. Um, but all of your friends got isekai'd there first, but in a different way, so they can't go back and forth. Uh, but time, you know, the, the what, what's the fucking Dark Souls quote? Uh, the, the, the flow of time is convoluted. Um, so time flows differently in the other world. So, the like, one of your friends got, who got sent there first has been there for five years. Some have been there for three and some have just been there for one. So you get to have these really heartfelt reunions with people who have not seen you for a long time. And all the relationships with the, the crew in 14 feel really genuine. Great. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. And I can... There's one twist I, I, I fucking see coming a mile away. Uh, but I'm looking forward to, to getting through all that. And it's it's still fun gameplay-wise. So, hell yeah. I'm gonna be binging Shadowbringers. Uh, but yes. I, I am... I am... I, I am sharper than I look? I guess that's fine. As long as I look sharp and I'm sharper than that. You saying I look dumb, Yuki-chan? Anyway, why didn't you mention your bonsai hobby in the first place? 
Only eight years? No. I mean, maybe. Maybe, but then they'd be... That, that's just because they're shitters. If they're really into the hobby, then they'll want to they'll wanna bring you up. They'll want to give you tips. That is an exceptionally good conversation topic. Bring that up with the older people. And they'll they'll teach you. They'll want to teach you. They'll, they'll want to nurture you like a young bonsai tree. How old is she? I don't know. Probably of age. I hope so. I mean, mm, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say I don't know. It's, it's probably fine. It's it's just, it's a cabaret club also. So it's not like, she's a, <laughs> she's a uh, yeah, she's a sapling. Speaking of, of ooh and saplings, I've been watching a lot of fauna clips recently. Because I, I don't really actively watch that many streams. I only occasionally watch clips of like Halloween members. But I've been watching a lot of Fauna stuff recently, and I kind of wish I had started watching her stuff sooner. Because she's really funny, like just natural, a natural comedian. She's great. Uh, found about uh, about this randomly. Uh, Daisugi, the ancient Japanese art of growing trees on top of other trees. Oh, I've never heard of that. I mean, obviously, I know about bonsai, um, and the only other thing, like, specific Japanese art term I know about is, uh, whatever it's called, um, kinuts kinutsukuroi, or whatever it's called, where it's like, you take broken, so something broken, or, you know, like, broken ceramics or whatever, and mend it with gold, and then the idea is it's more beautiful for having been broken. That's the idea. And I only know about that because Kamen Rider. Uh, which is, it's fucking Kino when they did that, by the way. Because the whole gimmick was a 600-year-old Japanese forestry technique. Helps prevent deforestation results in stronger, more flexible, perfectly round, straight timber. Oh! So it, well, it's, it, it's like, it is it is an art, but it has a, a practical purpose, primarily. That's interesting. Never thought about that. I guess it definitely makes sense. Uh, it, it definitely feels very Japanese, especially knowing how, you know, Japan has to do do things around their limited space, which is why, um, you know, land is expensive and uh, they have to build tall, basically. So it's like building tall, but with trees. Um, but the thing they did in Kamen Rider, it was in, it was in build. And the whole... The, there is a character who goes off the fucking deep end. Uh, I mean, he starts off as a villain, and then he becomes even more of a villain. But he just becomes more of an independent villain. And his whole, you know, the whole thing with Build is they use battles to transform, right? And... But his battle is a broken, well, a cracked battle. So, like, it gets put into his belt, and then the belt breaks it and cracks the battle, and he's got, like, cracked glass all over his design, which is really cool. And then this form... Uh, was a post series thing, just like a uh, a mini thing. Uh, and the form is called Prime Rogue, I think, and it's like it takes the parts of the armor that had the cracked glass effect on it and replaces it with like gold inlay and like flowing gold patterns instead of cracked glass. And it it works perfectly for him because by the end of the series, by that point, he's joined the hero team and he's become a better person and resolved his issues so it, it, it's Kino because in more than one sense of the word he is more beautiful for having been broken it's it's very good I, I love that kind of shit when the forms and upgrades people get relate to their own personal growth that shit's always cool uh, side note Acris running his 80s pro v2 rating agency yeah that's, that's pretty much it we're running like a weird parasocial business it is as close to vtubing as you can get um in the 80s so it, it totally does work i was already sitting on that joke but you 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 helped me make it so thank you yeah eight years experience people will will jump on that shit hmm i see well i think it's pretty amazing yeah you can totally work with that just use that dot 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 Dot, 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 dot. Oh no, this is just like me having a conversation or trying to have a conversation. Oh no. Oh no. You really clam up when the guest stops talking, don't you? So, so oh. Dead air on stream, dead air on stream. 
I, you know, she's got to learn. This is the tech that I've learned over the past couple of years. Sometimes you've just, you've just got to say something. I fear dead air more than anything, anything else during a stream. That's why I try and keep stuff in my back pocket. Like, if I run out of things to comment about on the game, I'll say something about what I've been doing. That's, that's when I start talking about FF14, <laughs> pretty much. Um... Yeah, impolite if you just started talking. But it's your job. Yeah. You got it. Impolite? That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to girls, Yuki-chan. You've got to lead them in with some topics. Yeah, keep some in your back pocket. Had literal nightmares about dead air. Yeah, me too. I think, I, I think I've had one. And it wasn't that long ago. But I had like a nightmare. A, a stream nightmare. Where it was like, I think I forgot I was streaming and I was just playing a game silently or something like that. I don't remember the details, but it is it is scary as shit. Um, it's what you should you do. You should try to compliment them, is what IGN is telling me. And IGN knows all about girls talking to guys. Apparently. If you're drawing a blank on something to talk about, try a compliment. Ain't a man in the world who'd turn down a compliment. It's true. It's true. I've I've come to learn this recently. I, I thought I was stronger, and I thought streaming's taking over my life. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, right now, FF14 is taking over my life. Uh, streaming has had control over my life for the past two years, but that's fine. It's not like I got much else to do, but um, I've, I've learned. I thought I was more resistant to... I guess it's... I guess it's not that I was resistant. I just didn't know how I would react, because I don't... I'm not used to compliments pretty much but I, I've noticed it if I get complimented on stream and I've especially noticed it if if, if people compliment me I've had this been happening and they the, the people in question who know who they are know that it works on me I turn into a fucking I, I turn into a blubbering mess when people compliment me I turn into into goo into slime it, it is it is deadly but yeah it's it, it absolutely is tech compliments work I know this now. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe not that. Just try and find, like, that. maybe the way they're dressed. Compliment the clothes or the shoes or something. Or his face, I guess. His face, his voice is a good one. Maybe his personality, yep. He looks even a little well off. Try to say something nice about his clothes, his shoes, or hell, even his watch. Yeah! Especially since we're in bubble economy. People are throwing money around, so you can bet people will be, you know, spending money on how they look. What, janky? Well, it, it's not the cool eye patch he gets later on. This one, it's normal. It's not a janky eye patch. It's a normal eye patch. Wait, is that your idea of a compliment? That was terrible. That, that was a compliment that was effectively saying, I have no expectations of you, and also your eye patch is janky. That's no good. Oh, and thanks for the cool bloating. One second. <sighs> ah, there we go. Oh, boy. The road to success is going to be long and bumpy for you, Yuki-chan. God damn. We're going to make her... We're going to make her a star, though. going to support her. She's going to make it. Let's see. What else is a good conversation style? Do you have some kind of talent, maybe? Uh, on second thought, scratch that. Uh. Well, it's not conversation, so... Oh, no kidding? Uh, okay, what is it? Mm -hmm. Is that a talent? That's just people's taste. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I need to, play, to press... Uh, Square for this one. All the gents, huh? Hmm. Hey, you see, everybody's got a hidden talent. That'll make you perfect for the older clientele. That plus the bonsai thing. That's a combo right there. Oh, Mm. That makes sense. Hey, okay, okay. Being more comfortable speaking to older men is is a talent in this line of work. So I will give you that. Sure. Hey now, why didn't you tell me sooner? You can't be letting a talent like that go to waste, Yuki-chan. Girls not randomized between games? Sounds like each of them have custom voice lines. No, no. Uh, all of the... Okay. 
So, there are different ranks of, uh, uh, like, each of the girls have has different ranks, right? So there's the crappy bronze, silver, gold ones, and there's the platinum ones. So not, none of them are randomized. Some of them are, le like, some of them are a lot less important than others. Um, a lot of them, like, some will get from the shrine later on. Some will get, and this is not the platinum ones. The platinum ones are hard to get. I think you get platinum ones from story progression, pretty much. Or, well, you know, story progression within the cabaret storyline. Like, I think you get one from each of the rival clubs you take down. And it's like the, the ace girl at that club, and you get them. Those are the voiced ones that have these interactions. Um, that's the platinum hostesses. All the other hostesses uh, of other ranks don't have this. But um, Yuki and the other platinums uh, do have all this extra stuff. Yeah. That's good. You didn't insult me this time. That's good. That's progress. Then it's decided. Yuki-chan, you're going to be our older custom specialist. Every grandpa who walks in here is going to get assigned to you. Oh god, I can't- I can move the camera around? Oh no! It does have the killer is dead mechanic. Except I don't get any points for it. Oh god, okay. Majima, keep eye up, eye up. I was gonna say eyes up. Oh no, I just- I, I didn't do that on purpose. I just- I just bumped the controller against myself. The bow, the, uh, the bow with the polka dots. Yeah, it is! It is a nice look. It's a- it's a cute outfit. Yeah, we can appreciate her outfit. That's all this is. Hmm. We gotta prove you can handle it first, then. Yeah, she doesn't react, so I guess she's fine with it. That's the job. Or maybe Majima's just really good at hiding that he's looking. I bet he. I bet he probably naturally is, because the like the way. I'm. I don't know why I'm revealing that I that I know this tech, but I, I don't know this tech. It's just come naturally to me is the thought right now, okay? I'm not a peeping expert. But, well, it, you know, I I think about this a lot. Well, no, I don't think about this a lot. I think about misdirection a lot as like a tool in magic tricks and, and stuff like that, okay? But this is why I, I'm having this thought. So, like, a, a Majima has an advantage, I think, because anyone who's making eye contact with him, no, trust me, no, trust me, really, this is gonna make sense. Majima has an advantage when it comes to this kind of thing. Because anyone who's making eye contact with him is going to be looking at his eye patch. And the eye patch can probably be really distracting, especially if you don't know him really well. You, your eye would be drawn to that. So you might not even notice if his other eye is wandering. You know? It's, it's misdirection. It's how you do magic tricks. Like, the way you would do it is either have something like that that draws their attention away from your line of sight, or you cover your eyes entirely, which is the brute force method, by wearing, like, dark-tinted sunglasses or something like that. Anyway, uh, look, it, it's all above board and legit. It's just because I think about misdirection a lot, okay? But yeah, why don't you tell me about a weakness you've got instead? Anything come to mind? Yeah, you do, don't you? You could be here for a while. <sighs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> She's angry. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Well, if you've got a lot, uh, how about you pick one for me? Anything's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that is a that is a major big bad weakness for sure, definitely. Huh? If you're no good at talking to men, why the hell would you work in a place like this? To get better at it? Mm. Ah, yeah, okay. Kind of airheaded, but in a cute way. Uh, which one? Oh, okay. You know, I'm a man too. Yo, you do realize I'm a man too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the deal with that? This better not be leading up to a big world-ending insult. <laughs> and why is that? Because I'm such a supportive and considerate guy? Mm -hmm. 
Wow! Okay, I said don't. I said don't do that. That's exactly what I feared you were going to do. What do you mean? Oh, don't say that to the clients. For the lo it's a good thing we caught that. It's good that she, uh, in in a in a way, it's good that she said this to us. Not coping. Not coping. Don't say that to customers. What the fuck? Hey, what the hell does that mean? Jesus. Obviously, the definition of man is distorted. Yeah, I guess. Trying to train more queens to become a dumb cabaret. I mean, we could. I, I, we might be able to dress up the girls like that. I'm not sure. Otherwise, she wouldn't have issues talking to them in general. I guess so, yeah. But it's okay. We got the max score, even though Majima took a lot of emotional damage from doing it. Alright, I think that's a good stop in place. Thank you for the lesson. I got a voice for her again. Let's get it. Majima simply lacks the off-pointing traits. Yeah, he's just he's just cool and collected. Sure thing. Good job. So let's see. <laughs> it was a perfect lesson. That's having such a good time. I practically forgot we were training you. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. I'm so bad at the female voice. Keep it up, and you'll have these customers melting like chocolate on a dashboard. You really think so? I do feel more confident now. I'll do my best to work harder. Yeah, and see, she gets stats. This is why we want a min-max. Okay, so let's put some accessories on it. Yeah, see, we can only dress up the Platinums. Platinum Games hostesses. Okay, so... We can get Beauty, Cute, and Funny up to double circles. So let's do the correct setup for this. I think it does cost money to get all the accessories and shit. So we just want to go into accessories, I think. So we want a tiara hair accessory. Uh, ooh, it is expensive, but we're going to make money. We're going to make a shitload of money from doing this. So it's okay. Also, the song that plays in this menu is pretty good. Uh, earrings. Star earrings? Don't have them. Where are they? Why don't we have them? Star earrings? There, there, there aren't those. Is that something we have to unlock? Hmm. Okay, let's get the other stuff uh, and see what we're missing to get to where we need to be. Elegant or Onyx necklace? Which one costs more? This one costs less. So, I guess we'll get this. I'm a cheapskate for the moment. The business is small. Rainbow nails? Yeah. Oh god, they look horrendous, but... They get her funny stat up. Uh, ring. We want the flower ring, which we don't have. Ugh. Okay. And watch. We want simple watch. So we, we've got to do as much as we can. So we've got cute and funny up to single circle at least. So let's see what we can do with, I guess, the earrings and the ring. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, if we, can get, we might have to go into the other other menus uh, and fuck up her appearance a bit just to get her up to double, double circles right now. Oh god, she's spinning. Uh, you'd need a guide for this. I had no clue how Japanese fashion works when I played Yakuza 4. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty much like that. Bunny funny now physically recalls when someone says cute and funny. Yeah, but look, she she is. If you look at a stat, she is cute and funny. She just is. In fact, I've got, uh, for the same reason, I've got uh, an image saved on my in my funny photo folder somewhere of double circles, cute and funny, for whenever that's needed. Oh, and a cooler from Gowl. Thank you very much. One second. But, you know, we're all, we're all responsible here, so we can just say that someone is cute and funny and not be strange about it, you know. Right, so we could fuck her up with some glasses, maybe. That brings cute down, though. Hmm. If we can compensate for cute somewhere else, then we can do that, but hmm, it, it completely tanks cute, though. It's probably no good. So this we can get, we can get cute all the way up with the heart earrings. So now we just need funny. 
Um, bracelet? Nope, that just fucks everything up. Perfume? No. That lifts the spirits of its wire, apparently. Okay, so we've got... And no other angle to take. I mean, that brings cute down to triangle, but I don't know if we really want that. Hmm. I guess the, yeah, the earring is invisible because her hair is on top of it. Okay. Yeah, no other, no other angle to take, I guess, until we unlock more accessories, which we do. Pretty cuteness and funny with negative sexy Luna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, definitely very Luna stats. So maybe we can change her hairstyle and get the funny up. What's funny down? Uh, but th and then it starts. They start looking weird if you fuck with them like this. Hmm. That would get beauty down. What about makeup? Can we do something? Can we get funny makeup? Can you get funny eyebrows? I don't know if these have any effect, even. Hmm. Doesn't seem to. Hmm. Feels like... Hmm. No, nothing going on there. Uh... Dress! Ch we can change... Can we get a funny dress? Clown hostess is an untapped market. Honestly, it is! Like, if you had a hostess club that had, like, Polka as a hostess, that'd be pretty sick. Ideally. I... I... I that'd be... That would be sick. Um, and you can, you can get, you can make them look like a clown, for sure. Oh, controller, uh oh. Wait, is it out of battery? Oh, uh, oh shit. Okay, it reconnected. It might be running low on battery, though, because I forgot to charge it. Hmm, yeah, I guess this is the best we can do. Let's stop fucking around with it. Ah, there it goes. Okay, I think it is disconnecting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to plug it in. But it might not actually work. I should have remembered to charge this damn thing. But plugging it in might not work. I might have to do... Yeah, it's not It's not picking up the controller now. <laughs> um, damn it. I really should have remembered to charge this damn thing. Uh, I guess I'll just mouse and keyboard for a bit and see how it goes. Uh, finish settings. Can we back out with these settings saved? Yeah, it's still not picking it up. Can I back out? I cannot back out. We we must go forward. Need to restart the game. Yeah, pretty much. Um, because I've gone from it being connected wirelessly to being wired. And my wireless setup, wireless setup's kind of weird. Um, so it gen it seems to require a restart. Uh, but I guess we just gotta, we've gotta open for business. We've just gotta, we've just gotta do it. It's like, it's not even, hold on, if I unplug the controller completely. Yeah, it'll only show the keyboard controls. Good. Right, target club Mars area customers. And open with this lineup. We'll see how it goes. Mouse and keyboard, but I'm gonna have to turn off and restart. Yeah. There's only three of them though. Oh. It looks so sad. It's wrong. It's fucked up. Okay. Your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign him a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. Choose a girl that matches their type, and they'll happily spend a fortune in your club. Uh, serving customers gradually ties the hostess out, lowering her hospi hospitality points, or HP. Without HP, she will be unable to provide high quality service, so let her rest until her HP recovers. Okay, so yeah, we got the, the, the ladies on standby. So yeah, you can have many more ladies on standby than you have open seats. So once you've got more girls, you can start juggling them out to let them recover their HP. And you get like a, a battery of girls that can manage pretty much any customer type. It's great. Uh, free agency has to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's how, that's, and, you know, customers got the time on top. The money gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much cash your guests have spent in the uh, club at that time. Receiving orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. Press space when it's full to cut loose and trigger party time. It's kind of like the, the, the fever gauge in the, the disco minigame, dancing minigame. 
party time will put customers in a, in a fevered state. The hype train. <laughs> in a fevered state that loosens their inhibitions and their purse strings. There are plenty of benefits to, to, to fucking hype trains. Like HP restoration for hostesses. Charge up the money gauge to higher levels to make to make. To, I keep I keep stumbling over it because I'm I'm reading party time but trying to replace it with hype train to make hype trains even more effective. It's a happy hour without the discounts. Press right click to approach a customer's table if any trouble arises. It's time for the check or if a hostess calls you uh, calls for your help. You'll be shown several options. Making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers. This is the the active part. Checking in on tables is an opportunity to lend your staff a helping hand. Wait too long and you may lose your chance, so keep your eye open and hurry on over when you spot a signal. And yeah, you've got to watch what hand signals the girls do. I I used to have these memorized. I don't anymore. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, they will, they will give a hand signal and you need to correctly know which thing they want you to do for them. If a guest is happy with his hostess when it's time for the check, you can try suggesting an extension. The customer will stay longer and go into a fever state, spending money like there's no tomorrow. Getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls milking the golden cash cow. As your club makes a name for itself, some customers will come in requesting a specific platinum hostess. Shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. Uh, but yeah, that's this is this is what's really fun about it, right? Because you can have a mega rich customer in, and you wanna you want them to be as happy as possible, so they'll accept an extension and give you more money. But it, it gets to the point where you become you become fully corporate, and you'll have like a non mega rich customer in, while like a, a potentially more rich customer is waiting in the wings. So you like don't ask a, a non mega rich customer to get an extension. So you can get more money in and get the the poor fox out the door. It's really fun though. Uh, two results screens appear after closing up. The first displays your profits and the second shows your staff's improvement for the day. Hostesses earn experience points based on their sales numbers. To level up a hostess more quickly, assign it to guests more often. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance. To increase your popularity in a certain area, make sure to target it when opening for business and send your customers home happy. As your popularity increases, so will the quality of your customer base, and with it, your profits. To progress the five-star storyline, you will need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. That's how you progress. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is actually probably just fine with mouse and keyboard. Okay, you want a table. What do you want? You want skill. Do we have anyone who's good with skill? You're good with skill. In you go. The, there. So yeah, that makes them happy, even though they're poor. But we're only going to get poor Fox for the time being. But that's good, that's good. That's producing us money. So there's still the passive money-making element, but you have an, a an active role in it. Ever tried combat with keyboard and mouse? Yeah, me neither. Okay, so you'll have Yuki then. You see the, the bubbles, these two guys are asking for skill. So I'm looking at the skill gauge on a hostesses. And, you know, they'll be happier based on the quality of that stat. The yeah, second guy, he is not even that happy because, you know, Yuki isn't even that good at skill. Uh, check please. Okay. How do I... Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, you want help? Oh, but they're running out of time. Um, uh, shit, 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 shit. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I know, I, I understand you're unhappy. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do the... I, the controls! I'm, I'm really struggling. <laughs> what button? What button does it? What? I'm pressing every... I'm pressing E! What do you want? Back? Okay, what? 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 Okay. What? He's happy again? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Um... E? Why doesn't E work? E! I'm pressing the fucking but. What? Uh, uh, keyboard... Okay, no, the controls are here. Are you considering binary domain? Yes! I bought it a while ago, so I'll, I'll definitely play it at some point. It seems goofy as shit. And that, yes, I know there's a character that's French accurate. Yes, we'll definitely get around to binary domain someday. This wacky shit. Uh, had the random urge to queue up uh, an Armored Core track. Realized the teeny tiny possibility of AC6 referencing or having cameos of characters from the 20 years when it was dormant. Uh, imagine hearing Majima's voice coming out of a mech. That'd be sick. That would be sick. I'm I'm panicking as shit. Okay. We right click to zoom. Do we want to right click to go in? Right, right. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm right-clicking! None of the buttons do anything! What? 
Okay. E. E? E? Nothing works. What? Why doesn't anything work? Why didn't the controls... Why... I don't understand what's happening. It's fucked. I'm, I can't help you, man. I'm sorry. You want party? There you go. Okay, I managed to do that, and I missed my opportunity here. Why are the controls so shit? What is going on? I just need to get through this. I'm sorry you upset. It's the game's fault, not not mine. Trying to redo the past 40 minutes. No! Yeah, yeah, you'll take Endo. I can switch people out. I don't care if you're upset. There's nothing else I can do for you, mate. Right. No, I don't want to switch you out. I don't want to switch you out. I want to zoom in. Okay, okay, I've got it. I've got it. Uh, that is a guest class? Yes. God, I'm good. I remembered it. Let's go. Okay, my ancient memorization of the hand signals. Because I know, yeah, that was the, the guest class. She does like a smaller signal for a lady's glass. I think the towel one is really obvious. I think she like brings out a towel as a gesture. The other ones I don't remember. Yeah, I'm sorry you fucked. Okay. Okay, I'm not panicking anymore. See, yeah. So you want a towel. Yeah, I think it's a like a both hands book opening gesture for the menu. God, I'm good. Right, so we can send you off. And we can give you like... Uh, our apologies to make him a bit happier. There you go. Mood's improved. I apologize, but that's the way it is with our limited girls. Alright. Get Yuki a check. Extend session? It's not like we're gonna get a rich person in. You wanna extend? No. That's okay. You have to- you basically- if you have the opportunity to extend and you don't want to get a new customer in, and you know, kick him out the door, then I think you should always try for an extension. That's- that's how I've always run this shit. Do you want an extension? No. Shit. Your chances are best for an extension when they're purple happy. So, you've gotta go. Obviously, you don't do that if they're unhappy. But if they're happy, give them an extension. But yeah, I've gotta look at their- their looks preferences as well. I've only been looking at the gauges. There, you can have Yuki. Here you go. You poor fuck. It's all calm now. I, I'm sorry I panicked so much. I guess we, we've got level one because it's, um, it's like it's like limit breaks in FF14. We've got three levels to the the big big shmoney gauge. So I'll let this customer come in and I think we'll pop it. You want love, don't we all? Uh, Namiko's best for that, even, so, even though she's not cute. That's why you want all platinums and all triple circles. So you can satisfy as many people as possible. Uh, we've got 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Hype train, let's go. Yeah, and it only only uses up as much of the gauge as we actually as as you know matches the level we've got or the level we trigger. Barely made any sense, so it's not like we can waste any. Um, prep. Oh, I guess you can't. We can't get an extension when they're in like party mode, so. Give him a give him a gracious send off. More fans from word of mouth. I assume praising the girl would recover her HP, maybe. So I'll keep that in mind. You see, you've got a lot of options, and it gets way more hectic when you've got more customers and more girls and stuff. But you'll have more options because you'll have more well-rounded girls as well. Okay, so you uh, will give a gracious send off. We want more fans where we can get them. And what do you guys want, huh? That is a... That's the ashtray. Yes! That's the... It's like the only gesture I didn't remember. But, you know, by... Uh, you know, by, by elimination, I was able to figure out that's the ashtray one. Fuck yeah. Okay, good profit. Good profit. For day one. And all those, yo, yeah, this is the shit. Yo, know, instead of leveling up buildings manually, we do a mini game, and then we get to see all our girls' numbers go up. It's great. Hell yeah, we got fans in the Mars area. We're still F rank. 165 fans, that's pretty good.
Yeah, we did it. Phew, not too shabby. Still, we're short on guests and gals. There's no way uh, around that outside of the daily grind. If we wanted to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the quickest way. Can add new girls to the club roster by scouting talent around Soton Bori or by trading in CP from the completion list at the temple. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty, empty roster, so try to fill it out as soon as possible. That's what I'm gonna do. But first, I'm gonna fucking go save and then quit the game so I can plug my controller in. Word of mouth from everyday business is one way to bring in new customers, but I hear signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Soton Bori's shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients your way, growing Sunshine's fan base in a hurry. More fans means more customers, which in turn means more profits. So sign deals with any hotspots you find. So I'll have to do that too when we go out to the shrine. Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Got it. Looks like I'm going to be busy outside the club too. Hi. Absolutely. The whole city's our battleground. There's a lot to do, but good luck, sir. I'll take my best crack at it anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to opening the doors as it stands now. Hmm. Ah, there's the girl. There's the girls over at the Grand I got from Odyssey in that trade. Yeah. As long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. Should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put in that call now. Yeah, free girls. They're bronze. Bronze. Kirara. A uh, bronze. I don't want bronze. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima-san. Hard to believe that was your first time. Keep that up and we just might uh, really manage to beat those bullies back. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, the this tomato-looking fucker. And which bullies might these be, exactly? Those be? I, I don't remember what voice I had for them. Cause I, had the, I had the really fancy voice for the rich guy. But this guy's a... He's wearing a fucking polka dot bow tie and a polka dot suit. Ugh. Boy. Ugh, he know. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, ready to sell this hovel to me yet? I told you before, the answer's no. <sighs> Tell him, Yoda. Isn't this the guy from Puss in Boots 2? <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not Big Jack Horner. I kind of... I, I definitely get what you mean, though. <laughs> I, I, I did watch that movie not too long ago. It's really good. I could watch that again. <laughs> I, I get what you mean. You don't have the, the weird proportions... That Jack Horner has. Alright, you lot. That's no, not the voice. Alright, you lot. And I think I skipped a line as well. Oh well. What are you? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight like this. I don't have my head on my controller. Teach this stubborn fool the reality of his situation. Ugh, oh, so you resort to violence in the end? You're a coward, Hino. <laughs> Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. You give me what I want, or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Do it. Hold up a second. What are you supposed to be? Name's Majima. Yoda hands asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> a new manager? <laughs> I see. I'll grant you it's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yoda keep running this dunghill into the ground. And you seem like you know your way around a fight. So you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I'm impressed, truly. What do you want us to do? Take this guy out too? Yeah. No, I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them any time. I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you manage to crawl after making enemies of the five stars. So we get to avoid the fight? That's ideal. You were lucky to today, Yoda-san and Majima-san. Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Bring it, Porky. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. Well, thanks for the stretch as well, Gal. Uh, first stretch of the night. Let's go. Oh. That uh, I had well. I did go out for a walk today. I didn't do a full on jog like I've been trying to. Because uh, I was getting snowed on a lot today. It's been snowing. Which is nice. It's not enough snow to really stick. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah. I was getting snowed on. It's, it was it was very cold. But it's nice to see snow. I like snow. 
Yeah, we'll see how long the big talk lasts, etc, etc. Oh, good stretch, though. Thank you. Thank you, Majma San. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we wanna take them on. Mm. We will. I'll give it all I've got, Majma San. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full in my own place, too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute, though. But that's one of Sultan Bori's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. Okay, can I save? I got an achievement called a host of hostesses, but I don't I don't care about the achievements right now. I just need to, Oh no, let me back in! No! Oh wait, no, we're okay. Huh. Goro Majima. Things are about to get interesting. Ooh, mysterious woman. Mmm. What could that be about? No, let me back in! Starting to get why Yamagata hand told me to check out cabaret clubs. But that ate ate up more time than I planned. Should get going back to the grand. I mean, I could do that, but I can't use my fucking controller right now. And you know, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some value in, in mouse and keyboard controls. It's definitely nice having a uh, mouse camera control, but I want to use my controller, please. So let's save. Yep. Save complete. All right, Alt F4. Let me move my OBS back into position while we're at it. Got it moved over to look at that guide. All right, now I plug the controller back in. This is important. Like pretty much every one of these streams, I've forgotten to turn the controller on with the, the wireless setup or plug it in, whichever, um, because the game just doesn't accept you switching input um, or, you know, making that kind of controller switch um, while playing the game. I always have to like quit out the game and launch it again after I make the switch. It's very, very annoying. But I'll make a point to not let that happen again, now that I've experienced the frustration. That's what I get for wanting the convenience of a wireless controller, though. Yeah, don't need to see the intro again. Let's go, let's go. Thanks, Sega. Yeah, but you know, it's a... Uh, I mean, this is this is not... It's... the. I mean, the original release of this game not even the, the console release, but the Japanese original release, because it wasn't simultaneous. I mean, we're only just now at the point where we're getting simultaneous releases for this series. But um, it, was, it was on like the... I think it was... The PS4 might have been out, but it would have been early PS4. And you know, it's running on the old engine as well. So... And you know, there's a certain level of jank you come to expect with, with Japanese games anyway. Uh, okay, so we got a, a few mysterious girls hanging out. Hello. Um, thank you so much for the other day. What what did I do for you again? Huh? And you the mother of that girl with all the dolls? Oh, yeah! The mother of the girl that we did all the crane game stuff for. You're gonna work at the at the club? Oh, no. Anything to get the money in, I guess. Oh. Yes, thank you so much for helping my daughter and I. I came by because I wanted to th uh, say thank you again. Nah, no thanks needed. But let me ask, how's the little scamp doing? Eh, we get to have a follow-up on all these. This is the most important thing. <laughs> oh, she talks about you non-stop, actually. She'll often say, I wonder what daddy's doing today. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. I'm sure it's just a phase. But all the same, glad to hear she's doing well. And how about that loan of yours? The term's okay? <sighs> to be honest with you, the loan amount was so high, I'm barely making a dent on the interest. That's rough. But maybe there's a ray of light shining through the clouds. What do you say you come work for me? Huh? What? At your place? Uh. Yeah, it's a cabaret club called Club Sh uh, Club Sunshine. I bet our pay beats any regular old 9 to 5. What do you think? Uh, are you sure? A woman like me? B trust me on this. I I can tell you with some level of certainty. There there's plenty of audience for 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 mothers and older women. Uh, that's, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. It's a, it's a burgeoning market. No doubt. Pretty lady like you, you'll be able to pay down that loan with a little extra to cover some new dolls. Hi. Yes. Oh my. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. Let's make your professional name at the club Dolly. See what I did there? Now, are you ready to make some cash and dump that crappy loan? Yeah, gold! 
This is why we do sub stories, baby. We get gold hostesses. Don't fucking disconnect the controller. It's fine. Y yes. Yeah. Not quite platinum, but it's gold. I recognize you. This means I get to do a fun voice again. Huh? Hey, you. I got in a lot of trouble thanks to you. I, I, I don't remember how to do the voice. Oh, fuck. Huh? Who the hell are you? Uh, <clears throat> okay, I've got a, I've got a warm up for the Valley Girl voice. You showed up with Aaron Kun, and thanks to you, I got dumped by Tomo Kun. Oh, you're the one who sent Aaron Kun and all those errands. I don't know why you're so angry. It's all your fault. Huh? Shut up. Thanks to you, I'm, I'm all. Where? Oh no. Hey, hey, stop crying, will you? Why would you care so much about a low life ex boyfriend like him? Your personality ain't much to speak of, but you got a pretty enough face. Maybe? Anyway, you should be able to find a new guy at least as good as your ex. Huh? Was that supposed to be some kind of pep talk? You're not exactly making me feel better. I ain't trying to make you feel better. Ugh! You're really pissing me off. I, 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 I've, like, lost the voice. It's been so long since I've done the Valley Girl voice. I, I, I was really good at it. At least I thought so. Oh, that reminds me. I have some business with you. Huh? Business? <laughs> I hear you're running a cabaret club, right? Listen, you can hire me to make it up for screwing up my life. Make it up to you? You know, even I got limits to my patience. I don't care about your stupid patience. Look, since I can no longer have Aaron Kun, I have to buy the stuff I want. Uh, I have to buy the stuff I want myself. My savings got cleaned out like discount vinegar. And now I'm in a real bind because I'm, I'm short on money this month. Let me work at your club to make my rent. Oh, she's back. And she's... Uh, we're going to employ her. She's back to stay. I don't know if you could even make money at a club, but it'll teach you a valuable lesson in hard work at least. Alright, fine. I'll hire you. <laughs> really? That's great. I'm Emmy, thanks. Huh? Emmy? With a face like that? <laughs> hmm, I'm not going to remember your name. Nah, I got it. Since you bossed Erinkun around so much, your name at the club is now Aranda. Yeah! And she's only silver because she's trash. See? Awful, like, valley women are inferior to older, older women and mothers. This is proof. Huh? What? What do you mean, Aranda? That's super lame. But it's what it says in your text box, though. It's, it, it's your name. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better name than you deserve. You got a problem with it? You can always quit. Uh, fine. I'll take your stupid name. But you just remember, Karma's gonna be a real bitch. Uh. Great. Looking forward to meeting her. Maybe we can hire her too. Okay, right, let's get to the shrine, which is just here. Uh, and we should be able to get a bunch of hostesses from this. I We didn't spend any points last time. We got 45 left over from all the stuff we did as Kiryu. So we can get all these casting calls, which get you new hostesses. And also club makeovers. But most importantly, new hostesses. Let's get as many as we can. One. Huh? Got what? Oh, I have to exit out after each one. Shit. Excuse me. Yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name's Shiho. Do you think I could work at your club? He's just manifested out of thin air, thanks for the shrine. Okay, Shiho-chan. You seem like you'd be popular at our club. Sure, we'd love to have you. Silver. Eh, you know, the, the worst one we get from the shrine being silver, that's pretty good. It's like we got a real winner. Gonna have to step my game up. More, though. I have so much CP sh uh, saved up just for this. Yeah, we maxed out our sprint. This we'll have to get at some point, but right now I care more about getting more hostesses. Hi there. Yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name's Koizumi. Can I work at your club? Koizumi-chan, huh? You seem really perky. I think you'll be really popular at our club. We'd love to have you. Nice gold! I don't think we get any platinums from this, but... We get a shit. We can get a shit ton of golds, probably, and they'll probably have good stats, at least the later ones. But it's one at a time, baby. It's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kyoko. 
Yep, you see, okay, it's all the same voice. The silver! What a downgrade. Better have good stats, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, casting call four. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Cheezu. Cheese. I'm gonna call you Cheese. Cheese Chan. Bronze! Oh, fuck you, Cheese. You stink like Cheese. We do not have a real winner. She's bronze! Fucking bronzo. Casting call five, and then we have to get club makeover, unfortunately. Praying you can get the bathroom lady. Oh, maybe. I don't remember. Because I there's one that I very distinctly remember you get from a substory. I don't know if you do get the bathroom lady. Marilyn. Yeah, sure. Okay, Marilyn. Bronze. Thanks, Marilyn. Why did we go from silver to gold to bronze? What the hell? This fucking- this shrine's broken. Baboos no me, you piece of shit. Why am I getting scammed? Casting call six. Yeah, yeah. Junko! Yeah, sure. You seem fine, Junko. Silver. I'm- I'm okay with silver. It's not bronze. Let's change CP at this temple, apparently. Casting call seven. How many are there? Ten. Uh. Oh, yeah, we can afford this. Yeah, we can get all of them right now. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shinomi. That's a nice name. You're my silver hostess now. I have to go back to the club, because we only saw those two outside the club, but maybe they're further in the alleys somewhere. There's not a big open street in front of the business like there is with real estate. Uh, oh, Jesus. Nice jacket. What the hell? Got that, like, shiny collectible card look. Seiko. Gold! You are gold. Okay, and... Two more. We can totally afford... I guess I just won't buy Club Makeover 2. At least until I bought everything else. Because it's literally worthless. Shizuka. That's nice. Got a sexy look. Damn, Majima. Calm down. Gold! Gold! I love gold. Praying for girls, pretty much. That's life, you know? Some of us aren't, aren't, aren't incredibly fortunate. It's what we gotta do. Okay, another fancy rainbow coat. Technicolor dream coat. Akina. Nice. You better be gold. Being the last one. Yeah, gold. Okay, so what else can we afford from the CP exchange? Obviously, I don't care about Club Makeover 2. Um, we maxed out Adventure. So, oh, oh, yeah. Let's get the... Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. Shit. Um... How's my inventory looking? Where where in my inventory are we looking? In the yeah, in here. Um I guess I'll have to No, I didn't want to do that. What did I have equipped? Was it this? That's probably that. Yeah. Okay, I can put one of these away. I need to go find a, a place to put that. Well, let's go back to the business, see if there's anyone else standing outside, and then we can do Maybe another run. Well, we need to go buy some buildings. Oh, fuck. Let's fight these guys and get him to go away. Club Interior 2, make it as fancy as possible. I mean, we can. I, I, I guess I will. I mean, I definitely will. Because we're going for 100% completion. So, we're guaranteed to get the amount of CP we need to buy everything off the, off the list from the shrine there. But, I think for now, let's switch to Interior 1 just to see what it looks like. And we can run with that for a while. And I'll prioritize other stuff from the shrine for a bit. And then eventually, we'll get interior too. And I'll show you what that looks like. Anyway, it's time for you guys to get your ass kicked. Because I need to practice my combat. It's been a hot minute. Alright, it, it is time for you guys to get danced on, unfortunately. You've decided to fight Majima in a tight space. That means you are going to urgently panic, perish. Speak. 
is that these are kind of inaccurate a lot of the time, but they do, they do big number. They certainly do number. Give me a ruby plate. Uh, it's fine. It's healing, I guess. Uh, right, so are there any other girls hanging out in these alleys, or did we already get everyone? Because there are a lot of girls we could have potentially gotten from sub-stories, like the, the girl that was in a cult. That could have been one, but I guess not. I'll have to do more sub-stories, get more girls. Look up which ones get me those. Oh yeah, there's one thing I was going to look up, actually. Because uh, while we were playing as Kiryu, we got the... I can't remember which one it was. It was Yeah, it's in here. We got Yeah, we got the Trouble Finder, because we got the Encounter Finder. But we got the Trouble Finder. The Trouble Finder is really useful. I want to see if we can get that for Majima, because the Trouble Finder shows you where sub-stories are. Uh, Majima Trouble Finder. Do we get it for him, or do we need to be... Uh, oh, you have to max out the friendship meter with the Komian restaurant. Just buy food, and you need to do a quest that involves fishing. Oh, shit! Okay, right, I guess we'll do that today, then, because getting that will really help us find more things to do. Um, okay, so let's go back to the club... And I'll go in, I'll go to the phone, put my shit away, and I guess we'll do another day of the business. Oh, no, we need to, no, we need to look at buildings. Uh, okay, let me go find a guide that shows me where the buildings we can, the, the businesses we can do partnerships with are. Exit zero. Partnerships. Yeah, business partners. Partners, thank you, GameStop. All right, Club Mars area. Okay, so on the map, first thing is whatever this purple building is over here. And we'll have to see how much each building costs as well. That's not listed. This is on a this is a game fax. Uh oh, Gan oh Gandara, right? This, this is the pawn place. We need to make friends with the pawn man um, to get this partnership. I think so. We can do that at some point. Let's focus on. Oh, maybe. Well. Mm, we could maybe do this now. We might have enough pawn, and maybe this leads into a sub-story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we'll we'll look at the pawn place. We've already looked at pawn as Kiryu, so I don't have to watch any pawn. Hello there, welcome to Gandara. We charge 800 yen for one view. Let's watch a video. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. We've got to get all those unlocked. I've got so much work to do. Enjoy the video. I won't. I will skip the video. I'm not not here to watch porn. Nope. Don't 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 few at me, Majima. Don't. Don't do that, please. Yes! Now we get to be friends with this man for watching porn. Through Dick Unity. Hmm. Huh? What are you looking at? Do I got something on my face? Aside from the eye patch? No, sorry. I, I wasn't really. Look, if you want to say something, just get on with it. Yeah. It's just that you're an unusual customer. How's that? You just seems so confident and stylish. Not the kind of man who might be interested in our shop. I guess that makes sense. And that's why you were staring at my face? I'm sorry. I'm a guy like any other. I like to look at pretty girls. That's so reassuring to hear. Different as we seem, we're both just guys after all. Exactly! I, that's what I said, through dick unity. All of mankind are just brothers and sisters and all that. Well, if you ever feel like you could use some time to relax, just come to our shop. We'll be waiting. I get to be friends with this guy. Yeah. So yeah, we need to do the friendship with this guy. We need to do the friendship with the, the Komian chef to get the trouble finder. These are the important ones. And I, I assume, as with... Uh, I mean, that's the way it goes for all the... you're buying the businesses. In. Oh, fuck! Hi, Mr. Libido. Um, yes, it goes with most of the friendships over on Kiryu's side. Uh, when you befriend a business owner or someone who works at a business, you get their business either bought or as a partnership by maxing it out. It's good to see you again, walking erection. How's it going? Huh? I knew it! What are you talking about? I could tell we were birds of a feather, you and me. Not likely. I ain't half a star for a lady's attention as you, pal. What were you skulking around here for, then? 
just shook hands with the ham cucumber? Is it the five knuckle shuffle still to come? Oh, Mr. Libido, let's calm down. Actress in streaming attire? No, no, that's not true. Two, two things. Three, well, I guess three things. Okay. First of all, he's not wearing a scarf. Second, I don't wear pants. And he doesn't have a belt on either. So our outfit couldn't be more different, okay? Give me a friggin' break. Come on, let's be honest, hmm? This is not the kind of unity through dick that I wanted. Well, I was... Oh, oh yeah, that was actually scoping out the competition. The competition? Yeah, I got this nickname. The Lord of the Night. Gotta check out the service at all sorts of places, even if it means dropping my own coin. Hmm. If you say so. Both only have one piece of clothing. My belt counts! Come on, the belt's gotta count. Even though I can't take the belt off. It's still a belt. I'm wearing a belt. How about you? What are you doing here, then? <laughs> I heard they got in the, vi in the video for a girl I've had my eye on in a while. So I raced down here to check it out. Got your ear to the ground, huh? I can't wait any longer. I've got to see it now. Oh, God. Hey, the streets are no place for getting your freak on. Also, he's wearing shoes. Actually, then, yeah, we are both wearing two pieces of clothing because he's wearing shoes. Fuck. Uh, oh, no. Damn it, man. What's with all the moaning? Whew. Now, that's what I call image training. Oh, no. Okay, time for another round. What? It's good thing you got those fucking pants on. What, you're good to go again? I'm pretty sure that ain't normal. How'd you even get that kind of staying power? You want to know the secret? I'll let you in on it. Ah, oh, it's no good. I can't wait any longer. I need to slam the salmon real bad. Be seeing you. Oh, why'd you have to say it like that? I, honestly, I, it would be more or less unwholesome, I guess. It would be less unwholesome if you just outright said you were going to go jerk off. Don't say you're going to slam the ham, the salmon, whatever the fuck. Or the, the, the five knuckles, whatever the fuck. Don't say that. Guess it takes all sorts, huh? wonder if I'll run into that weirdo again. Yeah, I don't... Uh, again, as with the, the Mr. Libido over in Camarocho, I, I don't think I, I maxed out either of their friendships, so I don't know what the fuck you get, or how you even level them, actually. Um, so we'll have to look into it. That's another sub-story done. Kind of hoping I don't. Yeah. Hey, 20 sub-story. Unfortunately, we do need to go in there again to watch more pornography and talk to this guy. I would like to skip a video. Guess we'll select another one. God, we have so many unlocked. But not enough! It's not all of them, damn it. I will not enjoy the video. I'm just here to skip it, okay? I'm doing my due diligence. See? I did I did frame perfect skipping on the pornography. Video to your liking? <laughs> Wasn't bad. Please come again. We'll be waiting. God the bar fills so slowly. Ah This is not what I want. We get kicked out of the building every time, or we... Is it because we're gonna... Yeah, okay. Okay, I guess we just level them up by watching lots of porn. Hey, hard at it, huh? Found any hot chicks? A few. Well, let's swap info. Some girls worth checking out. Do we actually get info from this? Maybe it'll fill more if you actually watch? No, no, no. No chance. Huh, so you go for that type? Wow, I never would have thought. Shut up. You got a problem with that? Oh, nothing. It's just, you know, not even I go for that. M hmm, maybe she's worth a second look. What do you mean by that? Whatever. Let's see your pick of the crop. Sure. Why are we having this conversation with this guy? That about covers it. Way too many. Just how horny are you, man? <laughs> That's only the tip of the iceberg. Damn it. You win. Ugh. What's up? I ain't ever talked about this kind of thing before with anyone. That was really weird, even though we're both dudes and all. <laughs> what do you mean? The desire to have sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Every guy has it bottled up in there somewhere. Except me, because I'm a robot. But it felt good telling me about what kind of girls turn you on, right? It's getting too weird. It does kind of feel like a relief to get it off my chest. <laughs> See? No need to make a big secret out of it. Tell the whole world. Well, maybe don't go that far. Except I kind of do do that. In a sense. But whatever. 
Maybe you got a point. Osaka sure is crazy, though. Ain't no way to keep track of all the different places and all the different girls. Come, Takeshi, no! No, I'll have truly sunk too low. Well, that just means we've got to share our info more often to raise your batting average. Yeah. All right, my monster's roaring. <laughs> I'm gonna go slay it. Stop doing that. Are you gonna keep doing more of those the more we talk? I'm just here to get fans for my business, okay? Damn, guy's got the stamina of a horse. But at least the bar went up, I guess. All right, back in. We're doubling up on our friendship, min-maxing friendship. Yes, I would like to watch video. Like to watch a video, please. Uh, this one this time. This time, I'm gonna skip you. Ideally, it looks like Mr. Libido's friendship will max out before this guy's. So we'll only have to do one at a time. Ah! Colonel Kawhi! Did that not, did that not appear? Did it? I didn't see it. Hold on. Okay, it probably did. Okay, I just didn't see it. But there you go. I just, I just start to test. It did show up. Okay, good. I just missed it. Was the video to your liking? Yep, yeah, wasn't bad. Yep, friendship go up slowly. Okay, okay. I just I get paranoid about it not showing up or various overlay things or the the head pat not working. Okay, maybe we need to hit a certain threshold in videos unlocked to get progression with Mr. Libido. That would make sense. Okay. Which, yeah, whichever. Th this one. I'm just going in order. Not showing any kind of taste. Won't bait a head patter in this scene. Oh no, that'd be gross. Oh, we get CP for watching different video clips too, so that works out. You seem to like our videos quite a bit. Taking a break from the daily routine is important, that's all. <laughs> I suppose so. And to make sure our shop provides a relaxing atmosphere for our customers, I keep the booths nice and tidy. I appreciate that. Please come again. We'll be waiting. It's good service. Keep the, I mean, especially, like, the cubicles in this place. You definitely want to keep those fuckers clean. But I appreciate that he takes care of it. You do, do good work, video clerk. Oh, it's you. Yeah, that's the kind of... That's the first thing you want to hear when you walk into, like, a sex shop or a porno video store. Is, oh, it's you. <laughs> Even if it's not said in, like, a, a threatening or disturbing or otherwise negative way. Just, oh, it's you. Ugh. Don't like that. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. Don't want anyone to see that I'm... I'm Min-maxing pornography. Yep, wasn't bad. Bar go up. We're halfway! Halfway through the pornography. It's gonna be worth it. Oh, shit! Okay, I guess we just have to watch enough porn for him to show up. I imagine, Miss San, you look full of energy as usual. You too. Then let's trade info on the best girls around town. Yeah, I don't know what the requirements are. It must just be watch enough videos. Or maybe individual videos. Like, different videos. A girl that cute would do that? Don't get pulled in by the pretty face. She's wild. If you don't watch out, she'll maul you. Man, she wasn't even on my radar. Oh, but I've got some juicy info for you, too. Yeah? Got a name and a place? I do. Hmm. Interesting. You have good taste, Majima Sen. Never gonna catch up to you in numbers, though. I gotta do my homework and focus on a few to get my hit rate up. <laughs> That's dedication. I just go wherever my urges take me without thinking about anything. Nothing wrong with that, either. More exciting when you're going in blind, right? Why, why are you getting along so well with him, Majima? <laughs> you know, when you try and play it safe, you spend a lot of time going through the photos to pick a girl you like. Even if the girl turns out to be just as hot as the photo, it still feels like something's missing. <laughs> I know. That's exactly it. The only way to taste the thrills I'm out for is to jump in without choosing a girl and let fate be your guide. <laughs> yeah, you're a real natural at this. you come a long way in such a short time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised myself. It's easy to talk about it now, too. Maybe my inhibitions are melting away. Oh no. Oh no. Is this how he really became, like, regular Majima? Is he got his inhibitions melted away by talking to Mr. Libido too much? You probably got a lot of stress in your job. You have to lay yourself bare, at least in your downtime. 
Yeah, it's definitely relaxing. Whew, all this talk to get me frisky again. I need to go buff the baloney. Stop! Stop saying stuff like that. See you around. Uh, good, good buying, good riddance. Except we are gonna see you again. Ugh. ugh uh, God damn it. We've just gotta get through a bit more porn. And a bit more talking to Mr. Libido. Okay. Uh. Did we watch this one already? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Yep, 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 yep. Skip, skip. I'm mashing the button. I'm mashing it. Rain perfect. Insane. I I exacted that pornography skip. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Gauge go up. Good enough. Are we getting cutscened out here? No. All right. Back in. Not just frame optimal pornography skipping. Frame optimal going in and out of the pornography store. Frame optimal pornography picking. It's not optimal though. I'm not good. I'm not that good. I'm not the biggest pornography speedrunner, unfortunately. Ashamed as I am to admit it. Skip. That was far from optimal. Subpar play. I see you here a lot, sir. You must love watching our videos. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just here for the fans. I wouldn't go as far as say I'd love them, but yeah, I've been coming here fairly regularly. I've been meaning to ask you something. Have you seen any videos recently that you thought was super hot outside of our shop? I don't really watch videos anywhere else. Oh, I see. Hmm. Why so disappointed? I watch all the videos we carry here. I have to, as part of my job. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want a, some weird shit to slip in. You need to, you need to vet it. I became so used to watching erotic videos that my little guy stopped responding to them. Oh no! Oh, poor guy. Sorry, what? Erotic videos no longer arouse me. And it's not only videos, nothing at all excites me anymore. Oh no, that's really bad, buddy. I'm scared that it'll become a problem for me in my private life as well. Yeah, bye indeed. Too much for a good thing, huh? Even if I hooked up with a girl now, what if I couldn't get it up? I shudder to think of it. It's frightening. Well, I can see how that'd be a problem. My only hope lies in finding a super hot video that can awaken my senses. Gotta open your third eye to pornography. That's why you asked me for recommendations. Yes. Sorry I couldn't be of service. Don't worry about it. You should ask Mr. Libido. He comes in here all the time. He could, he could sort you out. I'm sorry for pouring out my troubles to you like this. Come on now, don't be so down. I'll try. Please come again. We'll be waiting. I mean, that's his problem. He's, he's stuck being down. If you if you get what I mean. But I'm Tish, etc. Okay, back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think, yeah. We're onto this page now. You! And I, I'm probably, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to, I guess I could look back on the VOD, but at some point I'm going to have to, well, I will have unlocked all the videos, and I'll have to look back on this VOD. So I guess, I guess, hi, future me. Um, but I, I, future me will be looking back on this VOD to see which pawns I have watched so that I can watch all of them to get any potential CP. Man, that sounds out of context and without knowing what I mean by CP, that sounds really bad when we're talking about porno videos in a porno video store. Hmm. The video to your liking? Yeah, it was fine. I, I skipped it. Gauge go up. No cutscene. Ah! Why are you bong? I, I, I'm purely innocent. I'm doing nothing wrong. It, it's one, it's purely for completion. Two, I'm doing it to become friends with this guy so I can get more fans. That's the only reason why I'm doing any of this. There is absolute- I have no guilt. Cursed your future self is watching the VOD. You say that stuff again. Well, it's not too bad. I just said hello. Yeah, see? 15 different clips. I need to do it. There's nothing, nothing wrong with talking to my future self. You know, streaming for two years, it's gotten to the point where I don't hate hearing my voice anymore. Which is a big accomplishment. <laughs> Yeah, video was good, and I think we'll one-off Max Friendship. Yeah, me and, well, I guess, 
I, me, me and me and future me get along well enough. I often make irresponsible sh short-term decisions, which kind of box him over. But I'm m mostly responsible, more than I used to be, so it's okay. Hey, brother, I, th I thought I might run into you. How's it going? Found any gorgeous babes lately? <laughs> the girls are fun enough, but I almost look forward to comparing notes like this just as much. <laughs> Me too. I mentioned to tell you about my latest conquest, brother. Uh. Wait, what's with this brother thing? It ain't like we're Yakuza here. Oh, come on. It's not like we're strangers. We're comrades in the pursuit of the one-gun salute. Ugh. Ugh. Only if you watch the video content properly and get familiar with their faces. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Let's keep it friendly. Hmm, <laughs> fine. Okay, let's get caught up on the latest hot girl gossip. One gun salute. I really don't like that. She was no good, huh? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about her. Should have told me sooner then. It was such a disappointment. I had to go straight onto another place after that. Yeah, right. Like you weren't going to go anyway. <laughs> you got me. Oh, yeah. Did you go to that place I told you about? Yep. Service there was nothing special, though. Why the recommendation? You know the guy on their staff with the weird hair? Guy? Oh, yeah. I remember him. With the weird accent. He was a riot. Yeah. He always answers the phone with yellow, but nobody understands him, so he has to keep repeating himself. <laughs> I always bust a gut hearing him practically screaming, YELLOW, YELLOW, all the time. <laughs> Just going to, to porno places to laugh at the employees. <sighs> ah, <laughs> what a couple of a-holes. I haven't laughed like that in years. Huh, now we're having more fun talking about a dude than hot girls. Now we're just friends. Oh, shit. This, honestly, this is the first time... One of these friendships in this game has felt like an actual developing friendship. Because these two just get along. Guess we've kind of drained that well dry. Can't be many girls left in Soap and Bori that we don't know yet. True. Mm. Guess I'll head home. Oh. What? You ain't heading to another place? That's new. Well, everyone's got to rest at some point. Even the walking erection? God damn. Well, take it easy then. Bye. Huh. Didn't even, like, have a, a really weird, new, disgusting way to say that he was going to go jerk off. Weird. Huh. I don't, like I say, I didn't do this before in my previous playthrough, so I've got no idea where this is going. Blind. Anyway, porn. Should just be the last one for you, although I guess we might watch more if it means we get to finish off... Ugh. I was going to say if we get to finish off Mr. Libido. That's not what I meant. If we got to finish off the friendship with Mr. Libido. Maybe Majima's Mad starting to make him realize there's more to life. Maybe. That could be a positive change. Even if it's a, a tough transitionary period. Anyway, porn. Yep. Yeah, you few all you want. Listen, do you have a minute? I heard something really exciting today. You do look hyped up, so what's it about? It's about an extraordinary videotape that's to be found somewhere in Sotenbori. Oh? What video is that? I don't know. Everyone just calls it the videotape. Might talk about his low account, but he doesn't look like he lacks enjoyment in life. I guess so. They say it's extreme stuff. After you watch it, you're all soaked from sweat, tears, and various other bodily fluids. Oh no. The videotape, huh? Must really be something. I can only get my hands on that video. I might recover my long-lost libido. Okay, well, so where is it? You get it from some lady. A video store employee somewhere? Maybe. The rumor is just that this, it's some lady in white. Uh-oh. If you treat her kindly, she gives you a videotape with no labels or anything. You sure that ain't just some urban legend? I'm sure it's true. The tape exists. If you ever come across that woman, please try to get the videotape from it. Please. Listen, I think it's a load of crap. But if I see a lady in white, I'll check to see if she's giving out videotapes. Really? I'd be really grateful. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. Like a, like a boy on Christmas morning. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. I don't remember where that actually is, though. 
Maybe we should go... Oh, is it is it that exclamation mark over there? Probably is. But either way, we'll go get the, the trouble finder after this. So we can see all the exclamation marks uh, all the time. Oh! That must be the lady in white. She's cold? Hey, lady in white. Hmm? Hmm? What's with this chick? She's dressed in white and super pale, too. Hmm. Looks normal enough, though. Come to think of it, someone told me something about a woman in white. I'm so cold. What was it again? Hmm? I'm cold. Boy. Hey, lady. You're cold, huh? Oh. If you're cold, you ought to get out of this weather. Head inside somewhere. Oh. Uh -huh. What, you waiting for someone? No. Hmm. hmm. Guess she has her reasons. This rate, she's gonna freeze to death, though. Maybe I'll get her some hot food. Yeah, Odin ought to do the trick. Okay, where are we gonna? Where do we get Odin? Fuck. Uh, I haven't been to. I haven't been in Sotenbori for ages. Where the fuck are we gonna get some Odin from? Uh, oh, nouveau riche guy. I'll beat the shower you happily. Come here, pal. You're gonna get a bat to the face, buddy. Ah, oh, the bunk. Forgot about the, the bunk. There you go. Fuck you, buddy. That wasn't even that much money. Christ. I guess I didn't do that well. Oh, CP, though. Good shit, good shit. Uh, okay, where do we get Odin? It's, it's, uh, if... we, it would need to be a, a place where we could take it out, so it would have to be a shop. The... I don't remember if there's any restaurants here. I think there's one in Camarocho that does take out. But, yeah, let's try with stores, I guess. So, Donkey probably won't have it. Um, the import shop probably won't. So, maybe M Store? Does M Store have Odin? Odin, maybe? I mean, I'm bad at food to begin with. I, I definitely cannot reliably tell, like, say the names of uh, Japanese or any foreign food correctly. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the save guy, right? Yeah, the the, the phone save fella. I guess we could go stash some stuff from our uh, equipment in there, so we could get the uh, the abyssu socks. Right? Do you have Odin? You have ramen? Yes, Odin soup. Let's go. More than enough. Uh, more than enough of this piping hot Odin assortment to satisfy your hunger. Perfect for a cold winter evening. Okay, no problem. And let's see. Oyakodon. No, we're not doing Oyakodon. Oyakodon is one that I am more familiar with for various reasons. Do you do inventory stuff? No, you just do saves. Well, I don't want to save right now. No, no, no. Right. Let's get back to the lady in white. Ignore these chumps if we can. We. Oh, I, I thought we did, but we didn't. All right. Yeah, oh, that's the hit you want. Oh, baby. And first heat move of the day. That's that just fine. Yeah, well, it's one I'm more familiar with for no reason in particular, you know. Nothing to that, of course, obviously. Why would there be? That's ridiculous. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, right. Okay, back to the lady. We'll stop in at the phone here to drop off my thing. I guess we could head to the shrine while we're here. Just get the socks because we want more money. Um, yeah, this inventory's fine. I guess I'll put... We want to keep the zap guns. Um, the other stuff can go away, I guess. We don't really need these. The zap guns are the real quality. We want to keep the ball buster, of course. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's head to the shrine. Get the socks. Probably put them on for mush money. Oh, fuck off, you guys. I'm trying... I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to use the shrine. Come on. Piece of shit. Oh, the bunk. Do a bit of thug style. Up, up. Right, yeah, thug style has the, the near infinite combo. God, I love this style. I, I really like all of Majima's styles. Because Kiryu feels like he's kind of... And maybe I like his style a little bit less. Or his styles a little bit less. 
because he's kind of got his iconic style. I mean, and you know, Majima has his iconic style as well, which will unlock, but these feel more like fleshed out unique styles just for Majima. Majima can't throw money? Uh, not yet. I think he might be able to later. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't think he can, but I think we're gonna meet the same NPC who taught us how to do that. I'm fairly sure he's... It's either him or another NPC that lets you exchange money between your two characters. Which will come up at some point. Okay, so now we can get the Socks of Fortune. I... Excuse me? Did I not put the shit away? Oh, I didn't put any of this shit away. God damn it. Okay. We're gonna do it now, though. Instead of being lazy, we're gonna do it now. And then we get the stuff that's past the socks, too. Which is also valuable. Use the item box. Yeah, I only put weapons away. Yeah, put some of this garbage away that I don't need. I don't need two of these. Hmm... Yeah, that one's for equipment searches. That's useful. Uh, okay. Put those away. Ignore that person in need, because I don't care. I just want to get to the shrine. I want my socks. My comfy socks, please. Okay. Now, we can buy the socks of fortune. And the treasure hunter boost. Value for money when giving agents funds. That's... Oh, I can't afford it. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, do I want to put the socks on? I mean, we're not doing any equipment searches right now. I'll do that off stream. More you walk in these strange socks, the more your money will multiply. Don't have any effect in combat. Oh, right. These are the ones that... They're kind of like the cat socks, but they just give you money when you walk, I think. Because we're at... Yeah, 58, 4, 6, 7, 9, 21. 58, 4, 6, 8, 7, 21. It's, that number changed, right? Yeah, yeah. We get, we're getting a, a decent amount of money per step, actually. Yeah, that's something you can do. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll use them for a while, I guess. I'm not going to hold on to them forever, but money is money. And we're running around, so might as well. I'll definitely use these off-stream as Majima. Just for some passive money gain. And if it's anything like the cat socks, I assume it will be. Um... It'll make those sounds in cutscenes as well, which is very funny. It's so cold. She looks like she's freezing. I got some Odin on me. Give her the Od Odin, not Odin. Wanna eat this? Offered the Odin soup. Oh. Oh? I'm not cold. Yeah? That warm you up? That's good. I'm not cold anymore. Hmm? Uh -huh. huh? What's this? A videotape? What's on it? Nothing. Whatever. Guess this is a thank you? Uh, okay, then. You got the videotape. Alright, don't catch cold, huh? Alright, see you later, lady. Be well. And healthy. And alive. Huh? Wait. A videotape with no label? From some lady in white? Could this be what the guy at Gandara was talking about? Hey, lady, about this video. <gasps> dun dun. Minecraft cave sounds. Where'd she go? Must have gone to find somewhere warm to hole up. Anyway, might as well go show the Gandara dude this video. Yeah, that's, it's fine. There's nothing weird about that. Oh, cat. Okay, let's give him his video. Then hopefully he will give me fans. After all this effort. Hey. Oh, hello. Have you found the videotape yet? Ah. Yep, I did. Ah, I see. So, what would you like to watch to- Wait, what? What? You really found it? You got it from the lady in white? Ah. Yeah, I got it from a girl in a white dress. I guess she was the one you told me about. It was- it was real. You handed over the videotape. This is it! The video said to be so thrilling, it elicits the most extreme reactions from the viewer. A flood of tears, sweat, and other bodily secretions. Thank you so much. Do you need to specify the other, bo other bodily secretions every time? Uh, thank you so much. I'll forever be indebted to you. I'll treasure this videotape forever. <laughs> you asked me to bring it if I stumbled on it somewhere, so I kept my word. <laughs> Let's watch it right away. Together! 
What? What do you what do you need me for? Just watch it on your own. Oh, come on. You did all the hard work, so you deserve to see it. I just want to share the joy with you. Ugh, fine. I'll watch it with you, as long as it doesn't take too much of my time. And keep it in your pants, okay? Oh, I thought I was going to be behind you. Now he knows you skip all his videos. Well, no, we're not going to skip this one. Because he wants to see it. All right, here we go. Here comes mind-blowingly sexy stuff. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not coming on. But the TV's plugged in. Um, maybe the VCR's busted? Yeah. Can't be. I check them every morning. It's definitely in good order. Oh. There's no picture, but the sound seems to, uh, seems to be working. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh no. This isn't porn. The, the cl video clerk, this isn't porn. Ah, this voice must belong to a really cute girl. Show me your face, babe. No, no. That was it. The video ended. No way. Can't end like this. Looks like the rumors about this tape were just that. Empty rumors. I was so looking forward to it. Now I've lost all hope for recovering my libido. Maybe you're not as desensitized as you think. You were so excited about watching the tape. I thought you'd wet your pants. You know, you're right. Just the expectations I had for this video got me all fired up. I might be cured. I'm burning up inside now. Excuse me, I've got to watch some of our videos to cool down a little. Uh, what's up with this guy? Hmm. Oh! Click. Oh no. Oh! Ah! She's in there! Ah! It's even voice acted. She's not cold anymore. I guess that's good? Even though it's scary. Oh no. It was a ghost tape. Okay. Right. That's that taken care of though. I also got an achievement for that. Well, I didn't get an achievement specifically for that, but an important milestone, actually. We got the achievement called Half the Battle for getting over 50% of the completion list. So fuck yeah, we're halfway there, baby. Let's have a look. Yeah, 187 out of 374. Good shit. We're getting along. We're going to hopefully get a lot of the business stuff done now. Cause this is Look at all this shit we got to do. Um, yeah, very, very good. Very good. Um... Hmm. Do the ones we got from the shrine not count as recruiting hostesses? We definitely got more than one silver and gold. Well, who knows? So yeah, we've got to get acquire different accessories. How does that work? Hmm. Let me Google that actually. Uh, Yaxa zero accessories hostess. How do you how do you get them though? Yeah, hostess's accessory collection. Um. Yeah, how do you get the remaining stuff? Just buy them. Oh, just buy them. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, just just buy them. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I thought it was like acquiring them. Ghost ASMR. Yeah, it's it's it was at least an interesting tape. Even though it was fucking haunted. Right, anyway, give business. Now we finally get what we came here for. Oh, Majima said. What's this I hear about you being Club Sunshine's new manager? Oh, yeah. I've been doing that. So I've been thinking I could help you get the word out about your club. What do you say? It's definitely the kind of business we would want a partnership with, I guess. You would? That'd be great. We've got to help each other out when we can, right? Besides, lots of Sotenbori Cabaret clubs have pretty bad reputations. You have to change that. Thanks. What a nice guy. Yeah. And we, well... We already got the max friends. Oh, we got the we got the max friendships with the guy at the the darts and pool bar, and we got the maxed out friendship with the girl at the arcade. But we aren't operating in their areas yet. But when we are operating in those areas, I think we'll be able to get the the fan boost uh, straight away. So I've got to remember to do that too. Okay, good stuff. 
Unless we can just get them straight away, but who knows. Right, so we need to go to that one eatery. I think it's Komian? Is it Komian? Or is it something else? I'll see if there's a name that looks more like what is vaguely in my memory. No, I think it's Komian. Right, let's go to Komian. See if we can befriend the guy there. And this should be much faster. Because I don't have to skip past porn. I have to skip past food. Oh! I think we just recruit hostesses off the street too. So this is good. Hmm. Yep, she's definitely a, a woman. If I can recruit her to come and work at our club, she looks like she might do pretty well. We need as many girls as we can get. I should try to recruit her. You got a minute? This may sound crazy, but you ever wanted to work at a cabaret club? What? A cabaret club? Hmm. If you give me a present, I'll think about it. Oh, yeah, you have to give him presents. A wallet or a watch? I have a wallet. A nice design, designer brand name one. If you can buy me either one, I'll work for you. Yeah, we got we got a designer wallet as a quest reward, didn't we? Okay, I'm not going to mess around. I'll have to buy it at one of them boutiques and give it to her as a present. We do, right? Yeah. Yes, a French wallet. Here you go. I've got a French wallet for you. I, I totally spent a, bun a bunch of money on it for you. Yes. Here you go. Have this French wallet. Yeah, I forgot you had to do this for the ones on the street. Wow, this is nice. Sure, I'll work at your club. I'm a Kemi. Thanks. And away she goes. Silver. All right. I recruited a new girl. We got some pretty good girls in our lineup now. Gonna have to open my club management here. Yeah, we got a shit ton of girls in now. I've just, I've got to do all this side stuff. And then, then we will go back and run the business again. Okay, so up this way to Komian. <laughs> Look at him. Him staring me down. Oh, fuck. They got me. Really would be nice to have the money throw thing. Because it's super useful as Kiryu, even though we didn't really use it much last time. It's still great. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Majima just kills people. Oh, you piece of shit. Alright. Bonk you over the head of this thing, then. You unruly piece of shit. Give me your money. Oh. It's big damage. Oh, that's a baseball. Oh, I forgot we had that move. Good God. How do you survive some of these hits, man? Especially, you know, it's Majima smashing you over the head with a baseball bat. Unconscionable. No one should survive that. Okay, into Komian. And then once we got this, I guess we'll... I'll look at the business list again and uh, buy, uh, buy uh, partnerships with all the other businesses we can get. At least that we can afford. This is the place, right? I think so. Yeah. In fact, I think this is the same model as the chef we befriended as as, uh, as Kiryu as well. Right, what would you like today? Uh, just whatever you got. Give me your soup of the day and your friendship, please. Yes, friendship up. Good to get the health back up too. I didn't need to do that anyway. Was the food to your liking? Yeah, definitely. Thanks. By the way, did someone recommend our restaurant to you? Hmm? No, I was just passing by and thought I'd try it. <laughs> no, that's a surprise. Huh? I mean, why not? It's a fancy looking joint. What's so strange about that? It's just that we don't often get young customers like you, sir. Oh. The young generation's all about the quick food craze, no? At least that's what they say on TV. You mean fast food? I indulge sometimes. Didn't know it was some big fad, though. Young people always want to try new things, and this fast food's so trendy nowadays. Yeah, it's not going to get any better. My son and all his college friends only eat at fast food places, not proper restaurants like this one. But you didn't come here to listen to an old man complain. I mean, maybe that's why people are going to fast food restaurants, so because they don't have to listen to old people complain. They have to listen to young people complain. I won't bore you with that anymore. Do you mind if I ask you your name? I'm Majima. Well, Majima-san, I hope you come back to visit us again. I will, in, in mere minutes. Seconds, even. Man, you have to you have to skip through more though. So it is kind of like the pornography frame perfect skipping. Ugh. Oh, you know what I've been doing recently? I'll tell you what I've been doing recently. Uh, I'm on I'm on my usual path 
again. And I've, I've recognized that I do this now. I guess it's kind of obvious. But you know that thing that I do? Where I'm like, oh, I've been listening to the soundtrack to, to you know, so-and-so. And then I become obsessed with that thing. It's like, oh, I've got to watch that movie. Or I've got to watch, I've got to play that game. And then we end up, it, it, it's all I end up thinking about. I think I'm on that trajectory now with Pizza Tower. Because I've been listening to the soundtrack to that game. And it's really fucking good. So we're probably going to play that soon. I need to buy it, though. The game looks great, though. What will I have today? I will have... The sashimi. No, I'll have the soup of the day again. Fuck it. I'm being a cheapskate. Just give me your soup and your friendship. Good soup. How was the food? It was great, thanks. I'm happy to hear that. Please come again. Okay. At least it got the bar up. I, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. This is why people go and do fast food. Because they don't have to talk to like an, an intermediary person to go and sit down. They just go in and get the food. Easily influenced robot. Yeah, pretty much. I guess I've always, I've always, that makes sense, actually. I've always been easily swayed and I guess a bit gullible in a sense. So I guess it makes sense that I'm easily influenced into being interested in media. That's what happened with Hi-Fi Rush. It, it happened with a lot of things. Kind of happened with Atomic Heart, which we will get back to. Um, and now it's probably happen happening with Pizza Tower, but... It seems like a really good game, because uh, now I've seen a bit of the gameplay. I, I knew what it was going to be like, because I know it's supposed to be like the, the Wario games, and I know what those are like. Um, but I having actually seen some of the gameplay now, uh, it looks really fucking good. I mean, obviously I'd seen gameplay, but way back. Like, I remember back when I did regularly see Pizza Tower stuff was back on Tumblr so many years ago. Um... And it was like, I, I would just see the development, and I was like, oh yeah, cool. I look forward to that coming out all those years ago. Uh, time to stream seven days a week. Oh no, I couldn't, I couldn't. That would eat too much into my FF14 time. I can't afford that. But, you know, we're already stretching a bit with four, four a week. I'm trying to make that a regular thing. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be more flexible with the schedule. Uh, just so I can, if I feel like playing a game, then I'll just do that. Uh, and having having four streams a week actually really helps with that because I have I have more free slots like I can try I can be more experimental and try different games and try streaming different stuff while also still having you know room to do a Yaxa stream regularly and still do other regular stuff I want to do like eco <laughs> and we've got to get back to resistance at some point but that's fine you know you can just leave something on the side for a bit and come back how many hours do you put into Final Fantasy in a day um, well, lately, it's been pretty much all my free time. So, it, it depends how free I am in the day. I've been kind of trying to schedule my days around it. So, for example, today, I only played, like, two or three hours. Because I had to, I had to do, I had to do some stuff around the hideout. I had to go out for my walk. Um, and of course, I had the stream today. I only played a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to play more after this, like... I don't know, say we do four hours and we end at like, uh, when, oh god, I've got to do time math. Say, say we end at like 11 or 12. I'm going to go until like, I'm going to play FF14 until like 3 a.m. Um, uh, so, quiet, the game is evil. It's good, it's not, it's the opposite of evil. Like, there are a lot of games that I've been sucked into to that extent that it, you know, takes over my life. But the games themselves are, you know, predatory or bad. You know, like Warframe or Destiny 2. But FF14 isn't that. Like, they, they've they outright said, like, I think I think Yoshi P said, the director of the game or whatever he is, the, the big man on the game has outright said, like, you know, if if there's nothing for you in the game right now, cancel your subscription. Like, he, he does not want people to become addicted to his game. Even though... There is so much fucking content in that game. He's, he's a re like he and the people who work on that game are good people, and genuinely care. Like, I think there was a, a, what I heard was there was a time, not too long ago. I think it was when Endwalker came out. They had to delay it a little bit, which is especially bad because with you know with MMO expansions, people take weeks off of work to do that to like play it, uh, and you have to. 
because so many people are playing it that you have to wait in queues to get onto the servers even. So you need to not only invest the time to play the game, you need to invest the time to be able to be in the game long enough to wait through the entire queue, which might take hours from what I've heard, and then invest your time in playing the game once you've actually gotten in. And apparently that delay was so late that basically people wouldn't be able to change the weeks they've taken off from work. So it kind of, it, it, you know, it, it affected that. But everyone was cool about it because he literally cried. Like, the, I, I heard something about crying during the announcement. Uh, because they care. They, they genuinely care about the game. It's, it's a heartfelt, genuine game. Like telling someone that has all their friends on the internet to cut their internet. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, I, I certainly couldn't do that because my entire life's on the internet. But yeah, it's um, it, it it you know it's it, and it is a great game. On top of all that, it is incredibly well made and oh god, uh, I, malfunction. Uh, it's incredibly well made. <laughs> Sorry about that. Incredibly well made and uh, there's a lot of content. It's exceptionally good. So I'm fine with it. Anyway. More food, more food. I should have been getting food while I was saying all that. Um, but anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's how much time I, I'm, I'm going to spend on all of today. But look at yesterday, for example. I, I, my day began, like I got out of recharging at about, this is, this is outing myself here, really. Uh, but at around 2 p.m. And then I basically immediately launched the game and was playing it all day uh so i pr i mean there were some there were breaks here and there just to like do all the stuff for a bit and not get burnt out on it but from 2 p.m till i think it was around 3 a.m so basically almost 12 hours and my entire day pretty much playing ff14 that's what i do on my free days anyway soup of the day please and friendship, please. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I guess we could test if getting something more expensive fills out the bar more. That's just the way it is. Don't, don't not like this, me. I, it's fine. I, my, I, I, I don't. I'm. I don't have many slash any. I have. Ver well, no. I have very few responsibilities, so I can do that. It's fine. I'm enjoying myself. I'm not forcing it. I'm having a good time. And I'm just getting into the bit which everyone says is Kino, because I'm playing Shadowbringers now. It's great, thanks. I'm happy to hear that. Please come again. But the game's good, and I'm still leveling my my Dragoon. I can... I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'll, I'll try and remember. Someone please... Hopefully, maybe, if you care enough, please remind me if I don't do this. But I'll... Because there's a command you can do in 14 to look at your playtime. I'll do that tonight. And I'll tell you how much, I'll show you how much playtime I have, having, you know, still in the middle of the story, and haven't fully leveled up, leveled up one job. <laughs> and, and we'll see, and I'll show you. And I guess I can give you, give you updates on that as well. Yeah, skip past you. You see, you know, not, not everything needs to be McDonald's level, and you know, you don't need to have drive throughs it doesn't need to be fast food. But you can still accelerate the process. Like, we don't need to talk to this lady. It's unnecessary. You can you can streamline the process here. You don't, you don't need to completely change everything you're doing, but you can modernize the process. Because it's not like we're getting seated at tables or anything. It's like a bar, basically. Like, what what is the point? Uh, okay, let's get the snow crab course and see how that does. Not like we can't afford it. That may have been more, actually. I guess I'll just keep buying the snow crab then. Did you enjoy your meal, Majima san? Yeah, it was great. Like always. I'm glad. Oh! Good for busy days to keep forward. Yeah! I I, I guess, I suppose. And hello, Tabby. Thank you for the stretch. Ugh, the stretch. Let's get a big stretch Stretch before we see who's broken a fucking plate. Ugh, oh, missed it. Why is FF14 evil? It's not, but... I was just saying that I've been spending literally all of my free time playing it. Ugh, big stretch. Ugh. Oh, thank you very much. A few cracks in there. Yeah, I was just saying, like, it's too good. I mean, pretty much. It is 
it's too good quality wise and it's also just made by people that really care so you can't even it's not even where like when i'm when i play warframe or destiny or something like that games that do suck me in i will enjoy them for a period but it'll get to the point where like ah too many of the decisions here are awful and the people making this game don't care and are making bad decisions and shit like that and that turns me off but that isn't the case for ff14 like they they're very like the the price for a sub is reasonable the prices for the expansions are reasonable, especially considering how much fucking content you get. It's a fucking steal. And, you know, like I say, they're good about being like, hey, if the game's not for you right now, you want to take a break, just cancel your sub. Like, they're very cool about that. Like, they don't they don't utilize FOMO, which is the other thing that always turns me off other games. Like, I feel like I could put down FF14 for a while. I mean, well, yeah. I could put down FF14 for a while, come back, and then there'll be new content for me to do, and I won't have missed anything. And I can just pick up where I left off and have more stuff to do. That's the shit that always bothers me with with stuff like Warframe and Destiny. They're absolute bastards about FOMO. Awful. Yeah, it's just a quality game and on the player to control themselves. Exactly. And, you know, I have the free time to spend as much time as I want playing FF14 right now. Woke up at 2pm and then played until 3am. Yeah, I did. I did. But, you know... I, it, it's not like I was purely focused on that. I, I took care of myself and everything. I took some breaks. I, I talked to people. I, and, you know, I, I even played with people. So it was fine. It was, it enabled my socialization, even. Uh, used to play Halo 1 multiplayer for nine, oh, twelve 12 plus hours after school with Jim the next morning. Oh, God. That's, I mean, but you know, that's how it is with games that are that good. Still catching up on FF14, but I like it more than other RPGs at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me... I mean, I keep telling this story, but... FF14's the first game of its kind that I've really sunk much time into. Like, in terms of MMOs, I played a bit of WoW before, but didn't really stick to it. Didn't like it that much. Um, and I, tr like, briefly tried other MMOs, like Guild Wars 2. But again, just, it didn't stick. And I didn't really get it. And in terms of Final Fantasy, I haven't played really any of the good ones. So, it's all very new to me, but I love it, and I'm also catching up on the story. I just started Shadowbringers uh, last night, or, well, this morning, technically. <laughs> but, um, and that's one of the reasons I played so much yesterday, is because I was really close to the start of Shadowbringers. So, I, I finished last night, slash this morning, at the very start of Shadowbringers, so I had a bunch of stuff to explore today. Pay more attention to what you're doing. You're embarrassing us in front of a customer. Man... I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Don't worry about it. But are you okay? Didn't get hurt, did you? No, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern, sir. <sighs> Come on, get it together. Please don't be so nice to Majima san If you spoil them, they get out of hand. No, no. I, you're. I, 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 this is almost certainly where this quest line is going to go. But you're the one making my dining experience worse by being shitty to your customers. Uh, that's so? Say, I didn't know you had another cook working here. Never hooked on an MMO before, and 14 issues you to WoW veterans? Yeah, yeah, I, I also, I, some of the people that I play with, um, uh, elite, well, yeah, I, one of the person, one of the people that I play with is a, is a WoW veteran, so I've heard some horror stories about how that game is, and the community at the higher levels and stuff, um, and I've just heard testimonials from various people uh, who've gone over to FF14. And I've, I, yeah, I, I kind of have that, I have that anxiety about multiplayer games anyway, where I'm scared that if I fuck up during a trial or a dungeon or whatever, that, pe that it, uh, you know, it's going to be the end of the world and I panic and it freaks me out. But I've kind of calmed down about that because the people, because people who play FF14 are really nice. I mean, just in general, but especially to Sprouts. Which is new players like me. Oh, oh fuck. Bash my keyboard. But yeah, people are really nice. And if you fail, people will just be like, yeah, don't worry about it. And it'll be fine. So it's it's really comfortable to play. Even even the more challenging content. That, not that I've played much of the more challenging content yet. But stuff like that. People are just fine. It's, it's really nice. Uh, 14 is still alive. Yeah. Oh, oh, 11's still alive. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I've seen some of FF11 before, but I have no idea. It's weird. But no, you're finally playing with someone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I uh, have 
uh, well, playing on the same server as me in the same uh, free company, I have I have two people I can rely on, which is good. Uh, we don't have enough people to get fucking free company housing yet, um, but hopefully we can wrangle more people in. But yeah, I've got some got some veterans, reliable veterans. Um, Eleven still alive, at least with private servers. Right, I figured it wouldn't be like official servers. But yeah, private servers, definitely. Yeah, oh, she's not a cook. Just kitchen help, doing the dishes mostly. She doesn't have proper training to do the cooking. Oh. Well, I'm sure she can learn, especially if she's working under your guiding touch. Yeah. She doesn't have what it takes to create traditional Japanese culture. It's a tough job, Majima san. And if you say so. This seems like one of the rare instances of negative gatekeeping. Well, thanks for the food. I gotta get going. Please come again. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate you saying it more than I appreciate him saying it now. He doesn't seem like a great boss. Yeah. But yeah, like legit. In all the time I've spent playing 14 so far, I've almost exclusively been mainlining the story. And that's it. So it's, there's still so much shit to do. Like I've just, I've, I'm trying to calm down and trying to do some like daily and regular things that are important, like my roulettes and stuff, and trying to level up my my grand company stuff because that's important and I don't have that really done at all. But there's so much shit. I don't know. Maybe at some point I'll take a break in the story and and do like level a crafter or a gatherer or something. And of course I'm, I want to, you know, you know how I am with wanting to 100% everything. I mean, look at what we're doing right now. But I want to max out every class, all of them, and do... I want to do everything. I, I have that burning desire inside me for completion. Which is fucking dangerous with a big game like 14, but that's the way I am. Uh, gotta replay Zero, mainly for the pocket race. Yeah! Pocket Circuit's really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super good. Because uh, Majima can't do Pocket Circuit in this, but he does kind of do Pocket Circuit in Kiwami 1. I'm looking, for, uh, looking forward to seeing that. Um, if the days you hit the wall and the game's bad now, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, I mean, FF14 has a really interesting history with how it fucking... It started out dog shit. And they basically ap apocalypsed the entire universe. And then A Realm Reborn, which is the basic content now, is pretty much the aftermath of that apocalypse which is really interesting actually um it was really bad and then they brought it back it's like such an underdog success story um where it's it's been consistently really good um because what what i was told uh before i got to it was that stormblood would be the lowest point in the story aside from realm reborn because realm reborn is pretty shit story-wise actually that is a slug to get through but I was told that Stormblood was just going to be like, oh, it's mostly politics, it's like the lowest point. But I still really enjoyed it all the way through. And now people are saying like, oh, you're in you're in Shadowbringers now. Now you're in the really good shit. You're in the Kino. The word Kino has been used. Um, and it, it is really fucking good so far. Like, I'm not going to spoil anything, pretty much. But we've already had strong events. Uh, it's great. Progress so Your progress so far. Playing Heavenswood while leveling up with Samurai and Dark Knight. Yep, yep, I... I for me, it's just been, I, well, because I originally started playing, like, somewhere around two years ago, like, a little under. Uh -huh. Oh, God. And, um, I got up to early Heavensward, and then dropped off, and then I came back now, and I've gone from Heavensward to Shadowbringers <laughs> in just a, a few weeks. Uh, but, it, yeah, I've only focused on my Dragoon so far. I want to get those other classes going. Um, but that'll also be my first experience playing a healer or a tank in this kind of game, too. So, I'm anxious, but also looking forward to that. And yeah, it is huge. Like, th there's also, I, like I said, there's all the different combat classes. You, you you know, you've got different a shitload of DPSs, a bunch of healers, a bunch of tanks. And that's all different experiences. And they've all got different quests associated with them to do as well, like in storylines, shit like that. Then you've got all the gathering and crafting classes. Which any in any other game would just be a side thing, but that has its own progression that is of basi basically equivalent scale. And there's so much you know player economy stuff that's involved with the gathering and the crafting, which is sick. And I want to get into that. And then 
There's there's a million different things. Like there's there's dungeons to do, there's raids, which I haven't touched, there's extremes, savage, ultimate, whatever. There's the the deep dungeons, which I haven't touched yet. Uh but I've seen uh I've been shown some deep dungeon gameplay, and that seems really good. Uh and there's three deep dungeons now, because they just added another one. I think there's three. There's at least three. There's three I know of, and they just added one, like literally the other day. Um so there's uh, the one I don't remember the name of, there's Heaven on High, and there's the something Orthos, Eureka Orthos, there you go, that they just added, that has a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, just so much stuff to do, it's ridiculous, and relic weapons, armor sets to go for, cosmetics, everything, <laughs> housing, good god, free company stuff. When you played Realm Reborn, remind you of FF1's beginning? Instead of just doing the King of Favor to fight and uh, fight Garland, you're helping the Scions and fighting Gaius. FF main theme in the end was a cherry on top. Yeah, uh, there was stuff I definitely liked. Like I, I liked Gaius, and for I guess spoiler reasons, I'm pretty happy in uh, in Shadowbringers right now. Uh, but yeah, Gaius was really cool. Uh, uh, and some of the characters were really good. And it's gotten to the point where you get to see how the characters have developed since the Realm Reborn. Because like. I mean, the, the the example I always go to is Alphano, because Alphano is basically a self important self important dumbass kid in a Realm Reborn, but he actually goes through shit that changes him and molds him, and you, because you you know you you're not really you're not well you are kind of technically a silent protagonist, but you do you do get dialogue options, and the ones that hit hard really fucking hit hard, and stuff like that and the character interactions between you and. The other characters like Alphano really do build up those relationships. So, like when, to to give some minor spoilers, when everyone, when all the scions were fucking dropping unconscious and their souls vanishing, and and you get get back to the Rising Stones and Tataru is fucking breaking down crying. I felt that shit. I was like, Jesus, oh God, Tataru, please, I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do, but then. When you get to meet up with everyone again, so I just got to meet, I, I'm you know getting the band back together, and just met back up with Alphano, and uh, and Alice. I, I I was really excited for those moments. It was great. I feel like genuine, good feelings towards the characters. It's amazing that they've managed to do that, really. But anyway, what the hell were you thinking? What's that about? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't want the leftover ingredients to go to waste. So you cooked them. This is a high-end restaurant. We don't serve leftovers to customers. Besides, you're just kitchen help. I never gave you permission to cook anything. Yeah, it, like, I think it was at the end of Realm Reborn. Like, I was get, I was getting towards being interested with the Gaius stuff. Because Gaius is an interesting character. And then you get the, whatever it's called, the Crystal Braves stuff. Where Alphano just finally and truly gets in over his head. And, gets, and everything goes wrong. And then he starts having that uncertainty about himself and he starts to grow as a character. That's when I was like, oh, wait, hold on. Things are actually getting interesting. This doesn't feel like a slog anymore. And basically since that moment in the story, I've been completely invested. Even though it's like, like in terms of length and time invested and the amount of shit you do, the entire storyline from start to finish is multiple games long compared to any other series or any other franchise or anything really. Um... But I'm still invested. And there will be moments where, like, a character from hundreds of hours ago shows up. And I was like, oh, hey, it's you! Hey, how's it going? How have you been? And, like, you know, for Heaven's Word, for example, whenever Aymeric shows up, I'm like, oh, hey, Aymeric! Because you feel like him, like, the Warrior of Light and Aymeric do get along. Because you have a scene towards the end of Heaven's Word where they're just having a meal together. And, you know, whenever he sees you, like, oh, my friend, like, how are things going? You you catch up and stuff, and the stuff with the Stinian! Oh, I love Estinian so much. Uh, and thank you for the cool and bloating. I'll stop getting distracted now. Hold on. Can you tell I'm obsessed with FF14 right now? Considering I keep getting distracted and talking about it. I never gave you permission to cook anything, you kitchen help. Street rat. Come on, no reason to get steamed at it. Oh, Majima-san. I I'm sorry for making a scene in front of you. I forgot myself in anger. I mean, you should stop being a piece of shit. It's all good. But now I'm kind of dying to know what your assistant's cooking's like. Mind if I try the dish she made? What? 
I don't know, Majima San. It's not properly made. I'd say I blame you, I'm loving FF14. Yeah, it's just great. Like, I fully, you know, I saw all the memes where people, I, I, I made the fucking joke earlier. Where people are like, fucking play the free trial. By the way, play the free trial, because it's free. And you got A Realm Reborn and Heavensward. Play the free trial. But, uh, <laughs> I, I understand why people were, you know, being so zealous about about that because it's like you can you can get a compl like I got it I was completely invested I was completely in by Heavensward easily so like I can totally see how you would want to get people to play it and why people treat Sprouts so nicely because if they can just if you can just get into it it's an amazing game but it's it's something you could easily spend hundreds of thousands of hours on why not I'll even pay you for it no no I couldn't take your money for that well, all right then. If you insist, but it's an exception, and please don't tell anyone tell anyone else about it. No problem. I ain't no gossip. All this for a trouble finder and for fans, I guess, but mostly the trouble finder. Um, how was it? Pretty good, actually. Oh, maybe the flavor isn't as robust or consistent as what's usually served here, but still, it's pretty impressive. Thank you very much. I'm so happy you liked it. You dummy. He's just being nice to you, that's all. Don't get silly ideas in yet. Would you shut the fuck up? Yeah. No, I meant it. I'd even pay cold cash for this at a regular restaurant. Hmm. Uh. What's your name? I, um, I'm Nozomi. We're not on a first name basis with customers here, idiot. idiot. Use your last name. Dude, be fucking nice to it. You're spoiling the taste of the food, you piece of shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Come on, give her a break. Ain't nothing wrong with a nice, friendly feel. Nozomi-chan, keep it up, and you'll make a great chef one day. Me? A chef? Um, I'll try my best. <sighs> Majima-san, you're spoiling my staff. You're treating your staff like shit, you piece of shit. <laughs> I gotta go, but I'll be back soon. We're we'll looking forward to that. Um, goodbye. I wanna... I... I pardon me, I mean... He's not, like, pure evil, but I, I still want to punch this man in the face, you know? You know, sometimes violence is a solution to a problem. To many problems, in fact. The threat of violence can even be good. You ever heard of nuclear deterrence? I mean, it, uh, it kind of works. We've got to play Peace Walker at some point. Then we can understand it fully. Yes, Hello, Majima-san. Welcome. Nice that we get served by both of them now. Anyway, give me the Kaiseki again. Whatever it is. This. The Hanari. Kitchen's pretty much always unnecessarily heated. I mean, if you if that's the point, like if you wanna if you go like go into Hell's Kitchen and seeing everything break down. So I think the way it works with Hell's Kitchen, which is a, a, a fun show that I often get lost watching clips of. Um but I think the idea is you go and you dine for free. But there's always the guarantee that the the chefs will be shit. The teams will fuck it up. There's the guarantee that you won't get your food or it'll be bad or it might take ages to come out. But it, I I would pay just to go, even with those stipulations in mind. Just because it's it would be really fucking funny. And because they, um, they have people from the teams waiting as well. Not just doing the cooking as well. So it can go wrong all over the place. It's very fun. Balance is not the answer, it's the question, and the answer is always yes, exactly. Play Peace Walker 2. I've um I've I've only played a bit of it myself. I have it on PS3 on the HD collection. I want to go through all the Metal Gears at some point. The only one I don't have a physical copy of right now is MGS1. So I'm gonna try and fix that. And we can play it on the PS1. Um and then we can go through them. Because then I will have pretty much every Metal Gear game, like legitimately, on original hardware, more or less. Um, I mean, I'll probably still play 2 and 3 and Peace Walker on the HD collection, even though I could play them on PS2 and, uh, and PSP. Um, uh, and I would guess, I guess I would play Portable Ops and a the Acids on the Vita as well. But I would like to do that, because, uh, I, one of the reasons I was, I was so excited and therefore disappointed by Phantom Pain was because I knew how Peace Walker was with the, uh, the Mother Base management and the... Uh, and all that stuff, and the research, and the 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 teams, and the faultening. 
So I was looking forward to that being expanded. And it was good. It, they definitely improved the quality of life on it, but it just kind of felt the same. But m more... I mean, I was fine with the gameplay in Phantom Pain. It's more the story that let me down. Uh, Peace Walker fits handheld so well. Mm, especially the conversation playing on cassette tapes. Turn the PSP into a Sony Walkman. Yeah, it's so cool. There's so much goofy, but also really fun, cool stuff in that. Um, See, so yeah, I'll definitely get around to them. And when we do, I'll definitely do the Monster Hunter stuff in Peace Walker, because that stuff's really cool. And um, Oh, and there's Monster Hunter stuff in FF14 as well, which I need to get into. I like started the, the quests to get around to it, um, and I, I, met with, I met a Palico, and uh, Rathalo showed up, and I've got to fight Rathalos in 14. I'm look I I've got to do that because you can get a Rathalos mount and you can get a, a Palico minion as well. I want to do that. Yeah, what happened? You on your own today, Nozomi Chan? Majima san, what what am I supposed to do? I I Wah! Oh no. Hey, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. What happened? Oh. Shit's fucked. What? what? The chef was in a car accident? Oh no! I mean, I I did just wish violence against him, but I I wanted it to be violence with a purpose, you know. Getting in him being the car that T-boned him isn't gonna give him a harsh talking to after running him over. You all right? I don't know. I got a phone call from the hospital, but they didn't say much. Only that he won't be able to come into work. That's worrying. And to make things worse, we have a reservation today. I don't know if I should cancel it. It's for today? Yes, it's for a regular customer. He'll be here soon. Mm. Well, with the chef not here, you can't do much about it, can you? But cancelling this reservation could cause problems too. Why's that? It's one of our best customers. He's been coming here since the restaurant first opened. Mm. And today he's bringing an important client for a business dinner. If we close the restaurant, May have very bad consequences for him. Maybe so, but who's gonna cook for him? I... I can do it. Thought you weren't supposed to do that, though. You sure you want to chance that? That chef will be furious with me if I do. He may even fire me. But I've got to try. <laughs> I see. Well, good luck, Nozomi-chan. <laughs> Thank you, Majima-san. I've got to hurry. The head chef was out buying fresh ingredients when the accident happened. We're out of stock on most things. That ain't good. And I don't even have time to go shopping. I've got to start cooking now. She's in a tough spot. Maybe I'll help out a little. Fine, tell me what you need. I'll go get it for you. You'll get the ingredients for me? That's so kind of you. Well, what do you need? Fresh salmon, whole, and a soft shell turtle. An eel as well. If I have that, I think I can make something good. Here's money for the shopping. You got 10,000 yen. Salmon, soft shell turtle, and eel. Got it. <laughs> Leave it to me. Hi. Thank you so much. Salmon, soft shell turtle, and eel. Where do they even sell those? Might be easy to go fishing. Yeah, I think we do have to go fishing for this. Uh, I've caught all those before because I've completed all the... Oh, God. I was about to say I completed the fishing log. No, that's <laughs> that's FF14. Um, no, I've caught all the fish here in Sotenbori, so um, I could go get them again. Is that an option? Let me go look it up. Can, like, can I buy them? Let's see. Okay, I guess we just fish. There's the IGN thing. Okay. Da, da, da. Uh, and I think I've, I've got some bait in the inventory, don't I? Yeah, I've got some special bait uh, that I got from a machine, I think. So we can use that. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, what, what... Yeah, the fish that I need specifically. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So where, where, where do we need to go, specifically? Is it the north side? I think we need the north side. Is it the north side, or is it anywhere specifically? No, control F does not help me. Okay, I guess we just need to be on the north side. 
for the first two, and then the turtle is on the south. So let's do the north and fail to get past these goddamn idiots. Let me pull OBS up again. All right. All right, fellas, I am, I am on a mission for a fish, okay? Or for a few fish. I'm doing it for a person. I am trying to get fish. I hope that clears things up. Hit him with the classic nunchucks, and then whiff that. There you go. Reliable bat work. Okay, so the north side, which is over here. And the fishing spot is over on the other side, I think. We have infinite sprint, so it's fine. And we got more money for the money socks. Oh, hey, Aaron Kun. I forgot you were still down here and we're accepting Aaron's, right? I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I'm just going to use this million yen machine to get a single mushroom. Great. Cool. Yes, all the way down here. Oh, wait. Oh, you can do it right here? I thought it was all the way at the other end. Okay. Oh, and 20 squats from Tabby. Uh, okay, let's do... Let's do the squats. And then we'll do some fishing. All right. I guess we're not doing much story today, but that's fine. This is all for the cabaret, which is what I was looking to do ultimately anyway. Uh, don't skip leg day. I mean, I, I did go for a walk today, but I didn't get to... I, I said earlier, I didn't get to jog because it's been snowing a lot. So, I, I, I do need to do some leg work. So, thank you. Um, all right, here we go. 20 squats. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. There you go. Nice and easy. Not too bad. Whew. Okay. Not even too out of robot breath because it was just the 20 squats. Right, let's fish. So we need... We need to look for certain shapes in the water. We need long and kind of like a normal looking fish. Well, longo and a normal. Uh, no longos. But we can try for the regular fish. See if we can get it without bait. Because why not? <sighs> Still bad out of breath, though. <laughs> really bad about that. My, my robo stamina needs to be better. Okay. Is that a salmon? It might be. That's a koi carp! I don't want a koi carp. Man. Okay, let's try... You? I can't tell if, like, some of these are different shapes. These ones seem fine, though. I think they're the same, actually. Okay... Gotta wait for it. I've, I've already mastered this. I've caught all these fish. This is not a challenge for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! That is definitely not a salmon. That's a Nishiki carp. That's a rare fish! Man, I don't want the rare fish. I just want a salmon and an eel and a turtle, please. Good God. Okay, come on. Come on now, come on now. Okay, that was an easy hook, so... Fishing seems really cool in FM14 as well, to get distracted by that topic again. That's a koi carp! Man, there's no longos, so I'll have to get this one and then back out and go back in. Yeah, it seems there's a lot going on with fishing. Um, like I say, there's a lot of depth to all the gathering and crafting uh, professions. Like, to the point where it, it, it's, it's kind of like... Your setup is kind of like your combat jobs, where... You have hot bars full of abilities that you need to be using. And like you have rotations. Salmon, there you go. But you have rotations like it, you know, like you're doing combat, but it's for fishing or crafting or 
mining or gathering. It's really sick. But I know with fishing, you've got that, but you've also got spear fishing as well down the line. And there's things you can do. I mean, there's there's something like this for gathering and mining as well, I think. But you can do um, something that's kind of like a fishing un and gathering dungeon. Like there's a there's a boat you can go on that leaves at certain intervals, and you just get like a, a timed fishing ex experience with a bunch of other people. And same for gathering as well. But I don't know as much about that. There's a lot going on. It's ridiculous. Okay, right. I might have to use the bait if I want an eel to come out. And I assume it's it I assume it will be here, because that's what what I'm being told. Maybe I should just look at the the old fish chart I was using before. Um hmm. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Well thank you for the follow as well. Reminds me of the beginning to the 1999 American Godzilla film. <laughs> oh, I've never actually seen that. I've, I've heard very bad things. I know there's that line where it's like, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, it is. Like, I, I do like the, the Zilla design. It does look good. Just, I, I, I always hate when people say, oh, it's, it's, not, it's, not a good, it's not good in this franchise, but it's, it's good on its own, because that's generally not true. But... It is a fair design. If it was just a movie about a monster stampeding around New York, it would be better. But unfortunately, it's Godzilla. And yeah, I've heard I've heard good stuff about the cartoon actually, and it's supposed to be like because I, I think the movie ends with there being some Godzilla eggs or something, and then the the show is about a, the 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 kids kid Godzilla. Uh. Yeah, the Kidzilla that comes from that egg, and I, I guess it does like cool radical teen shit because it's a it was a fucking old TV show, so it had to for kids. Moizilla, I, I mean, uh, I guess the the first form of Shin Godzilla is what I would call Moizilla because I mean it's a it's a relatively cute design. I know there are certain insane people. I mean, I think the design's cute. I'm not, I'm not going to call people who like that design insane, because I think it's kind of cute. And there are, like, cute plushies with giant anime eyes you can get uh, of that little fella. Come on, give me a longfish. Give me a longfish. I want an eel. There you go, longos. It is longo time. Come here, you longo. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's hit it big. Fucking... Uh. The fish can be so finicky, right? Uh, especially if they're moving. But if you don't get it in just the right place, they won't be attracted to the bait at all, or to the 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 hook, whatever the the the, the barber. Like if they with the peerless pole, at least either they will be attracted to it immediately, like you've just seen, or they will not be attracted to it at all for reasons unknown. It's weird. It's not the best fishing mechanic. I think um, Yakuza 7 has spear fishing. I think I've talked about it before. Where, yes, eel, nice. Uh, so now we need to go to the other side of the river and get a small stubby shadow so we can get a soft shell tool. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, it's spear fishing. And it's more, oh, uh, I should get that. And it's like a, um, a rail shooter, basically but you're shooting fish and it might have boss fights as well. I feel, I, I don't know if I've imagined it or if I saw it in a screenshot or some gameplay somewhere where Kiryu is first person fighting a giant squid or something like that. That might be a real thing in Yakuza 7. I look forward to finding out. All right, now we need a small fat boy and I don't need to look at the guide anymore. Let me pull the chat back up. But hello, uh, uh, oh god, I've got to uh, say a, per a new person's name. Uh, Calamari, Calamari Ichi, hello Calamari. Um, yeah, movie version was too weak. Exactly, it's like small and it doesn't have any of the cool abilities. Like, I, I don't think it even has atomic breath, does it? Never mind, like, the ability to go, like, uh, burning Godzilla. Like they do in, uh, kind of spoilers by the way, but you should have watched this movie already. Like they do in King of the Monsters, that shit's fucking sick. <laughs> 
don't know if uh, you should still be positive about Singular Point sequel. Has that been announced? Uh, I never actually finished watching Singular Point. I watched, like, half of it, or maybe more, and I was enjoying it, but Godzilla didn't show up in any of what I saw. Uh, oh God. Grab this, and then I'll check chat. There you go. So we were talking about 14 stuff on the <laughs> real quick before I had to bed. Oh, hello! Always... Oh, that's a crayfish. That's not a turtle. Um, yeah, always glad to have more people to talk with 14 about, because um, that's what I've been obsessing over lately. But uh, glad to have you, uh, no matter how for how long. Uh, and I hope you have a good rest. And thanks for coming by. And anything else that would be nice to say. I hope you have a good one. Okay, thank you. Come on. Let's mash the buttons. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. That's not a fish. Glad you're enjoying it. I am. I am. But thank you. Thank you. I, I guess I got money, but I wanted a turtle. The Netflix show. You should binge it in one go. Why'd you stop? Because I'm bad at finishing things, generally. I mean, obviously, I, I binge things a lot when I'm really into them. But I guess it's it's harder for me with uh, with anime especially, right? Because obviously, I would never watch anything dubbed because I find that to be unacceptable and would harm my experience. So, if I am going to watch something like that, it needs to be the primary focus of my attention. Which is frustrating, right? Because I'm a maniac, and I need- no, don't scare bait. And I need to be doing a million different things at the same time. Like, I, I often- you know, for example, I'll be playing FF14 and watching a stream on the side, or watching some other thing that's in English, or watching stuff on YouTube. Um, I struggle to do just one thing at a time, you know, but watching something that is foreign language where I need to read the subtitles, um, I, I, I struggle to do that for obvious reasons, um, which is why I've been way behind on all my tokusatsu shit as well, because that's all subbed, obviously. Why are you so bad at talking and playing video games? <laughs> Damn! Fuck. Uh, because, uh, uh, you know... Absorbing media is very different from playing and also being media. You know, it's it's easy. You know, if I'm if I'm watching something as a more serious answer, if I'm watching something, I can just kind of absorb it passively and just kind of not pay attention to it. Like I, it, it's still difficult to do two things at the same time. Like paying attention to an FF14 cutscene and watch something on Netflix at the same time, for example. Like if an important cutscene is happening. And it's actually, I'm, I want to pay attention to the voice acting. Then I will, I will pause whatever I'm listening to and just pay attention to the, I don't want these goddamn crayfish. You and your fucking exoskeletons. I don't want them. I want a turtle. God damn it. Yeah, I'm bad at that. It's, I mean, it's been two years now. But it's still something I want to get better at. Just talking and doing stuff at the same time. I guess it's tougher in this because I need to... Or at least I want to pay attention to the dialogue and specifically voice acted. Like, I, and obviously I can't say two things at the same time. I wish I was so talented. But, um, for, I don't want the crayfish! You and your stupid fucking claws! God damn it. I'm gonna have to sell these damn things. Give me a toitle. I could use the bait, I guess. But it's special bait. But also I don't really need fish for anything. Like, I've got all the fish that require bait. So, okay, I guess we'll, we'll get all the the ones that could be the till from this batch. And if it doesn't come up, then I'll use bait. But yeah, see? It didn't pop instantly. So I need to... It means I fucked it up. My hook was a bit too close, so it didn't pop for some reason or another. There you go. Put it a bit further away, and it's instant. Because there's very little nuance to this. And again, like... You unlock, or, well, you acquire different fishing poles from doing business stuff as both characters. But you can buy the peerless pole instantly. I kind of wish... I mean, it makes sense because... Fuck, goddammit. Because otherwise there would be fish, it would just be an absolute pain to get. But I just wish it was handled better. You know, there was a reason why you... I, I don't want you. There's a reason why you would want to progress through the different fishing, po uh, different fishing poles and make it more of a, an in-depth thing. Whatever. I'm spoiled by FF14. You're going the other way. God damn it. More cray. I don't want cray. Shit is already way too cray. I've had enough cray. 
I want things to be normal instead of cray. All right, come on. No crayfish, no crayfish, no whammies, no whammies. Taking a bit longer than usual. This might be might be our tort. Our tortol. Come on. Come on. That's a crayfish! God damn it! I don't want a super big size crayfish. I don't want a crayfish of any size. Any dimension. No dimension of crayfish. Not even fourth dimensional crayfish. I don't want them. No. Give just just give me a three-dimensional soft shell turtle. One pinchy boy. But it's not one pinchy boy. It's like five or six six pinchy boys. And the at this point they're pinching a hole in my back pocket. Which is why I assume Majima just keeps these things. That's another crayfish! Alright, fuck. Uh Alright, let's use well no. Let's back out and check my inventory. Because we might not have much inventory space right now. I don't want to use the bait and then have no inventory. Because if you back out after using bait, it removes the bait. And thank you for the stretch, go. Uh, there we go. Uh, good stuff. Thank you. Ooh. No, I don't care about the Stone Boy 5 stars. Uh, oh, wait, they stack. Right, I forgot. Um, I guess I'll just eat this mushroom. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Guess I'm not... I'm not... Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I forgot fish stack. So we have eight, not even six. I was, I thought I was highballing it. I was overshooting by saying five or even maybe six. But no, we have eight crayfish. Okay, let's use the bait. Yeah, scatter the bait. It's time. Use it. Deploy it. Okay, I don't think that really changed any of the, the, the fat boys, which are the ones we care about. Oh, fuck. I, oh, fuck. I hit my control key, and it bounced off and fell off the table. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to go find it. I guess I don't really need it right now. Oh, this might be it. It's a hard catch. Oh. Come on, you son of a bitch. Give me a tort. Come on, I want a snappy boy. I don't want a pinchy boy. I want a snappy boy. Yeah, it's a snappy boy. Soft shell turtle. Let's go. Okay, I guess I don't care about it. I don't even care about the bait. Yeah, fuck it. Stop fishing. Get me out of here. Wasted bait just for that. I don't care. Right, where's my control key? Hold on. Bounced. Uh... Ah, here it is. There you go. I really need... Like, my keyboard's fine. I just really need to replace this control key. Like, the... the, the on the underside of the keycap, the bit that slots onto the... Um, onto, oh, fuck. No, the, I didn't want tissues. Fuck, I was trying to sprint. The part that attaches to the rest of the keyboard. The plastic broke. I just need to replace that thing. What was a greedy turtle? He, ta he took all my bait. Anyway, here you go. Oh, you're back. Did you manage to get all the ingredients? With with a, a deal of effort. Got them all. The salmon, soft shell turtle, and eel. Should I give them to her? Yes, here you go. This good? You handed over one salmon, one soft shell turtle, and an eel. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's everything I needed. You gonna have enough time to prepare the food? I... I'm not sure. It's almost time for the reservation. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit! They're here. Hi, boss. We're a little early. Oh, that's not a problem. It is! You're gonna have to wait. Oh, they're here already. Whoa, you okay, Nozomi-chan? So she's on first name basis with other customers too. That's good. Oh, she's perfectly fine. Why don't you gentlemen have a seat? Uh, all right. You okay, Nozomi Chan? What needs to be done first? Um, let me think. I need to let me, I need to cut all the ingredients first, and then I need then I need to season the uh, Majima San. I don't know if I can do it. Calm down, Nozomi Chan. Take a deep breath. And don't season me. What should I do? There's no time. <sighs> well, you ain't gonna get anything done if you panic. It's okay. I'll help you. You'll help with the cooking? <laughs> I can do the simple things. Chopping, slicing, taking orders and carrying stuff. Imagine I can definitely do chopping and slicing. That'll free you up to do the rest, yeah? Hi. Thank you. Now I'm the assistant. You're the master, Nozomi. Whoa, I'm so full now. Thanks. 
Nozomi-chan, I noticed that the food tastes a little different today. Hi. Yes. Is the boss not in today? Actually... Now they're gonna understand, if they're, if they're regulars. Yeah, I mean, the, the main guy, yeah, he's a regular. Yeah, he'll care, he'll, he'll be fine, he'll just be worried about the boss being in an accident. Seriously? He's been in an accident? Is he okay? <sighs> I don't know yet. Jeez, poor guy. I hope he's fine. So you've been on your own today? Guess that's why the food was different. I'm sorry, sir. You must have been terribly disappointed. It's nowhere as good as the owner's cooking. Well, to be honest, the difference is pretty obvious. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, don't be. It wasn't bad at all. Huh? The boss can do what he does only because of decades of hard work and experience. You can't duplicate that. But you did everything you could to make sure we had a good meal while you were all on your own. I could tell you really put your heart into it. Here we go. Good praise. This is this is going to build her up. Her confidence is so important. You put together a wonderful hearty meal. It tasted great. Really? I didn't know what to expect, but the food was great. And with a lovely lady like you working here, this restaurant's a real winner. I'll have to come again. In that case, why don't we have our business dinners here in the future then? Perfect. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww. This is what she needs. She needs the confidence. And she needs her boss to not be around. This piece of shit. He needs to have a talking to. Oh, here's the boss. Are you alright? Aren't you hurt? Psh, I'm fine. Do you think falling under a car would kill me? You're not getting rid of me so easily. But then why are you so late? They made me go for a checkup at a hospital. Took ages. Told them I didn't even have a scratch on me, but they wouldn't let me go. What a pain. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so relieved. But now I think I'm about to pop a vein. When did I give you permission to serve your food to customers? <sighs> I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have done it. Boss, don't be so hard on her. She did great. Listen. Don't be a dickhead. Come on, time to turn around. Oh, he's, he's slurping it. He's trying it. I don't think he tried the food last time. Boss? Heh, <laughs> you still got a lot to learn. But, you did good. There we go. Huh? You took good care of the restaurant while I was gone. Boss? But this isn't anywhere near good enough to serve, co serve to customers yet. I promise not to ever do that again. I'll go back to doing the dishes. Don't interrupt me. I'm trying to tell you I'm going to make sure you learn how to cook properly. Huh? It's my fault for not training you right. I didn't think you had it in you'd become a good restaurant cook. But I was wrong. You proved that wanting to make sure the customer's happy is the most important thing. <laughs> Boss, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, she did it. I won't go easy on you, kid. You'll regret you signed up for it. <laughs> Can't wait to get started. Majima-san, you have my thanks. I understand you went out of your way to help save the day. Please, take this for your trouble. You got a trouble finder! Yeah! That's what we did this for. Not out of the goodness of our hearts, to find more side quests. Yeah. Nozomi chan did all the hard work. You should thank her, not me. The fishing was kind of a pain, though. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah! Ah, um, Nozomi. Hi. Yes, boss? Um, I'm gonna drill everything I know about cooking into your head. It'll be hell, believe me. Hi. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> the one's too embarrassed to say what they mean. <laughs> Aww. And everyone laughs. Fade to black. Gunshot fade to black. <laughs> oh, CP sound fade to black. There you go. It's kind of a gunshot fade to black, or at least it's close. <laughs> right, we did it. So, can we... Now that we've got a max friendship in another area, could we... Can we get you as a, uh... As a fan thing now, or do we need to wait until we have this area opened up? Either way, after this... I guess if we get it now... I see you again, Majima-san. Okay, I guess we don't get it right now, so we need to open up the area. Unless we need to eat first. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it was excellent. Okay. Alright, that's all for now then. We've got to open up this area before we can get the partnership. 
Oh, uh, coolant. Thank you very much. Come by. Come by. One second. Okay, so that's done. Right. Let's go look at the other buildings we can get partnerships with. Where's that tab, uh, tab again? Uh, and we'll equip the trouble finder as well. Because there's one, uh, there's a couple of side Well, I want to do side quests in general. Um, now I can take the stupid socks off. Um, I remember it, it takes a second to actually trigger. So let's head back down towards the Mars area. And I'll start buying buildings. We'll see how much they're worth. Um, I think kind of to match how um, partnerships don't cost too much. Uh, well, yeah, they cost less, I think. But that matches how Majima's economy is kind of less. Like he can, uh, he can make less, but everything costs less also. So it kind of works out. Salon Rose. It's a Club Mars area business. Yes, please. I don't think Majima even has a um, an equivalent cutscene to the like. I'll make a I'll make a deal in cash. I don't think he even has one of those, which is a shame. You partnered up, got more fans in this area now. Yeah, we'll get as many buildings as we can, and then we'll have another run at um, at the club, I guess. Yeah, run, run. We're partnering with another cabaret. Which is weird, but I guess we can pay to just win over our competitors or whatever. Okay, building number four is over here. The this this one, Salon Salary Man. Thank you. Okay, then number five is down on the corner down here. Got to do it in order, or I get or I'll get confused. Damn it! Da, 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 da. This place. Sushi Iaro, Iaro, okay, a hard one to say, but yeah, look, 1.7 mil, I know it's only in the, the first area, but it's cheap as shit. Okay, number six is this, What? what is, which is this place again? Oh, oh I guess it was showing the, the, the massage place as being here, but it's also this place, okay. Okay, six areas. Uh, next is number seven, which is over here. Gotta be meticulous with this stuff. Massage parlor. Gimme, gimme. Plenty of fans. We, like, business is gonna be mega booming compared to the first run we did. Next is number eight, which is on the corner up here. You. Izakaya Naniwa. It's hard for me to say. Uh, number nine is right across the street, right here. Nukia Massage. Sounds fun. Are we gonna? I think we're gonna be able to afford everything. Yeah, it's just one more. Talk of the town. We're rank. We're rank E as well. We're past F. I got an achievement too. Okay. So yeah, we just need to get number ten down here, and then we're good to go. We'll have gotten all the partnerships for Club Mars <laughs> immediately. Good shit. This place. Kono's Meats. Ugh. Not even a mill. Half a mill. There you go. Ten shops. Okay, that's all of them, I think. Let me pull OBS back up. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's go back to the club. And I guess I'll just have a look at the map. And we can see any exclamation marks. There's one there. One up here. There's one over here. I think one of... I think this one might be one I want. So, yeah, let's go do that. I think I know what substory that one is. It's a, uh, I I I I've known. I know it's on that on that street. I guess it probably just wasn't available until right now, because I passed by it on a previous stream, expecting it to be doable. Fuck! Wish I could throw money. But yeah, it didn't show up last time when I tried to do it. Up. 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 Bop. Bop. Whiff. Fuck. Surrounded, eh? Oh, fuck. Get off me, you piece of shit. Surrounded, eh? Aha! <laughs> Good reaction. Oh. You got. 
Oh, speaking of ye gods, um, I, I I wanted to mention this last stream, but I didn't get around to it. Um, I was I've been watching, uh, well, I was watching obsessively at the time, uh, and have been looking at on and off since a a little stream on uh, here on Twitch by the name of uh, Unlimited Steam, I think it's called, where it's like a full oh, fuck it, full AI. Like randomly generated recreations of steamed hams, and it's funny as fuck. It's so good, cause a lot of the time it'll be relatively mundane, but with really, really goofy, like delivery and stuff. Um, but there will just be occasions where the characters go completely fucking nuclear, cause it's just Skinner and Chalmers doing their regular interactions, and the the baseline of how things go is always the same, like. You know, Skinner welcomes Chalmers. He, he, you know, Skinner fucks up the food. Chalmers catches him trying to go out the window, or maybe even doesn't mention the window, the window sometimes, and just tries to say that there's smoke. But like, no, it's steam, and uh, and it, but it's it's really fun. And sometimes they just go off the rails. Like, I remember there was one where Skinner just goes like, "Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Why the fuck do I even bother? God fucking damn it!" Just like five fucks in a row. It's really funny. It's so good. Very good AI generated content. I recommend checking it out. I'm all about whatever that smell is. I want in on that. Yeah, this is the one. Place is pretty popular, ain't it? <laughs> huh, must mean it's good stuff. Hey, excuse me. How do I do a voice for her? Excuse me, excuse me. Ah. Whoa. The Obertarian strikes. Did she seriously just cut in line? That ain't right. Hey, lady, no cuts. Get in line like a normal person. Huh? Uh, you weren't even in the line. Mike Wazowski. My Mike Wazowski. I'm trying to find the voice. You know what I'm going for. Come on, lady, you get your eyes checked lately? I was standing in line right here. I got more and more eye than you, Sonny. If anyone ain't seen things straight, it's you. Uh, what a stubborn old hag. Not the fun kind of hag, either. Hey, come on, can't you take this elsewhere? I'm trying to run a business here. Uh. See? You went and got us scolded. How embarrassing. If you weren't trying to cut, this never would have happened. Oh, so scary. Platinum hostess. Well, she's not a platinum, but she is a hostess. That's why I'm doing this side quest. Oh, bats of real pain. What's my move here? Uh, I, we've, uh, you can't... I mean, you could. In, a, in an ideal world, you could use violence, but this is not a perfect world, so we've, we've got to let it happen. You know, there's no... Socially, you can't recover. Just, you've got to let it happen. She has the upper hand. She's that set on being first, may as well let her. Don't want to cause a scene. Not like, not like it's going to keep us from getting tasty food that much longer. <laughs> Take some nerve button into line in front of a guy like me. What is with that outfit? And damn, what's with the leopard print clothes and the purple butter perm? Some kind of Osaka old lady uniform? Mm -hmm. Hey fella, I see you eyeing me like a hungry tiger. What, are you not getting enough loving at home? Huh? Say what? Lady, you're the anti-boner. <laughs> I want nothing to do with you, quite frankly. Ugh, <laughs> what a pervert. Help, there's a perv in line here. This man's trying to have his way with me. Huh? Pervert? I ain't done nothing. Help me. He's a nasty pervert. Poivert. He's a nasty poivert. Hold on. Stop making a scene. Mama, what's a per? What's a poivert? Don't point, Hiro-kun. You don't want anything to do with that horrible man. Yeah. Hey, it ain't true. Hirokun, your mama's got the wrong idea. She's judgmental. She's a bad mama, even. Fuck it. She'd make a bad hostess. Ugh, treacherous old dingbat. Wait, what the? Hey, where do you think you're going? Man, I'd drop it if I were you. She's a pretty infamous obertarian in these parts. Obertarian? The hell's that? You ever an old lady called an obasan? Well, she's like that, multiplied by a tank battalion. Hence, obertarian. A battle axe has never been as sharp or as deadly as her. A battle axe? She's just an old lady with terrible taste when you get right down to it. <laughs> Says you. Trust me, you don't want to get involved. 
Underestimate the Osaka Nobatarian at your own peril. Nobatarian, huh? You'll get yours next time, lady. Hmm. Right, so does she... She mu Yeah, she must appear somewhere else. I don't remember how her line goes. I just know that you unlock her as a hostess. Yeah, we don't have another question, uh, exclamation mark. So I guess we'll do this one next to the Grand and see if... Um, we probably have to go in, in, in somewhere and then back out again. Let's do that. Forgetting my tech, damn it. Okay, and back out, because I don't want to do any darts right now. Or pool. Loadingu, loadingu. Oh, yeah, it's there. We're going back. I didn't even get my tasty food, goddammit. There's that wonderful smell again. Come to think of it, I didn't actually get anything to eat last time. Yeah. I wonder if the lads have ever dealt with snow. Surely. I mean, uh... I don't know. You mean you mean the characters in this? I mean, I've dealt with snow. I got snowed on today. Now's my chance. Nah, nah. Oh god damn it! Hey, excuse me. <sighs> god damn it! No day, huh? Not much. It, it's not enough that it's actually sticking, but I got snowed on. I'm sure, it must snow in Japan too. I mean, it definitely does in places. I can't speak as to. In specific areas. In in Osaka, I don't know. I don't know my uh I don't know my geography that well, I guess. Um uh, so I think Osaka's further further north? I think it is it? Or maybe it's not. I'm not actually sure. I know I know where uh, Tokyo is. So I can say I I know what region Kamarocho is. But I don't know where Osaka is. Um but I, they definitely get snow in the north. I mean, go read uh, Golden Kamui. You can see some uh, a shitload of Japanese snow. Ah, oh, the Obertarian strikes again. Well, hello again, I patch fella. You gotta queue up. I'm the end of the line. Assuming this is true, Osaka can experience heavy snowfall around January and February. Yeah, I imagine they probably had some then. Get real. I ain't letting you pull the same stunt again. Golden hiatus. Is it? Is it on hiatus? I thought it ended. Did it? I guess it's on hiatus. I don't know. I need to. I need to catch up and reread. What? You gonna cop another feel? I don't come cheap. Oh, the anime. Well, I mean, uh, at least the manga exists. You just read the manga. The manga's amazing. If you haven't read the manga, read the manga. Goddamn. Yeah, right. They couldn't pay me enough. I hate having to repeat myself, but cutting in line is bad form. Get behind me. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hello, Etsuko-san. How's it going? Oh, Michiko-san. Isn't this place so tasty? Uh, hey! What do you think you're doing? <sighs> we've got... We've just... You've got to take... Take the... Take the path. The... The... the whatever they say. You've got to be reasonable. You've got to be the better man. Reason with them calmly. Like the voice acting for those. Okay, fair enough. The manga is really good, though. Some of the best. If I lay on a hand on her, she'll start shouting the P word again. And I didn't even touch her last time. Look, it's clear as day this time. You cut the line. Now get behind me and wait your turn like a normal person. So unreasonable. I haven't seen my friend here in ages. Maybe you ought to let that stick up your ass... Uh, get your... Uh, fuck. Maybe you ought to get that stick up your ass checked out, Sonny. Now listen here. Why don't you quit being so damn selfish? Oh, scary. God damn it. What seems to be the problem here, ladies? Oh, fuck. I wish violence worked. I wish it did. You gotta help us, officer. The scary fellas being a real terror does poor defenseless old ladies. Yeah, we were just chatting with each other when he started shouting obscenities. I didn't say any obscenities. What? You two windbags cut in line. Now, now, why don't you have some candy and calm down a bit? It's as sweet as it comes. You got a candy. I don't want a candy. I want whatever tasty shit this guy's selling. What the hell? You think this makes it all better? What am I, five? Eek. Officer, help. Damn it, fine. Screw this. What a piece of shit. She's doing it on purpose. He's just a common thug. How'd I end up getting painted as the bad guy? This Obertarian's one cunning adversary. Man. She is strong. I wish we could use violence. 
You know what? Next time I'm I'm not going to use violence because they don't let me use violence. But I'm going to take a more active, uh, an active position. Yeah, no, no, don't show me to my table. No, I want to leave. I, I didn't actually want anything. I changed my mind. I'll come back later. No, I just came here to fight an old woman. Don't worry about it. I'm not here to fight an old woman. I'm here to make it so that I can fight an old woman. Is the thing. You've got to understand. It's all about fighting an old woman. Is she there? Uh, oh, wait, the stall isn't even... Oh, oh, it's further down. There you go. I walked past it, I guess. Hmm? Help! Poivet! There's a poivet here! But no, there's a poivet here! Hey, I'm walking here! Uh? You old shitbag! Who are you calling a poivet? Huh, <laughs> <laughs> he fell right into the Obertarian's trap. Oh? You dumb hag! Now you're really gonna get it! Well, this is what I was gonna do, pretty much. I wasn't gonna use a knife, I was gonna use my fists, which is better. Whoa, now he's crossed the line. Eek! Nobody gets cute. No, nobody gets cute with the yak as a bitch. Suck on this. Oh, he's going in. Oh, Majima stepped in. This is this is the 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 path of the true man. What? Who the fuck are you? The, the eye patch fella. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but that don't give you the right to pull a blade on a civilian. Uh. Uh. Hey, buddy, I know how you feel. I really do. I got accused of being a poiv, too. But it ain't worth it. Trust me. Let sleeping dogs lie. You're no match for the Obertarian. Hell, I ain't either. You trying to tell me what to- Oh, I was doing the Obertarian voice. You trying to tell me what to do? I'm getting mixed up. You mosey up to me and tell me I'm no match some old hag? You don't know shit, friend. The two of you can share a grave. Nah. Unfortunately, I have a baseball bat, so... Uh, sorry, street ruffian. Except I'm not sorry. Fuck! Love the charge moves. Once we've got more money, we can get more moves. But we're, we're in the early process of um, acquiring shmoney as Majima. It's what this it's what we're doing here. But the Obertarian, she's going to be a big earner. You, you ain't bad. You're pretty good. Praise is cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. The Oba didn't fight. Yeah, she didn't pull her own weight. That's why we need to hire her to make up for it. You got to work off the debt of me swinging my bat a few times. You're the bee's knees, eye patch fella. Ugh, I ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. Kind of hate myself right now. Well, on closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. A fine piece of work. Just like my husband when he was still kind of grabby. My heart's really pounding. Ugh. I'm into older women, but not that old. Oh, dial it down. You're creeping me out, lady. No need for any, any feminine wiles. Oh, but I've got to repay you to set things right. Ugh. Keep your candy, lady. I don't need the sugar high. Oh, I had something in mind much sweet look sweeter than candy. Ugh. Why did I have to get better at the voice? Just to get to this point, this point. Don't like Granny Gyaru? I guess I could. I just don't like this one. Part of town's real nice looking. Yeah, Sotenbori's really lovely in general. Uh, I'm really looking forward to some of the places that aren't Camaro. I mean, I'm looking forward to future Camarocho as well. But um, uh, Onomichi in 7. And I don't remember where you go in... No, Onomichi in 6. I th Oh, no, I think you go to Onomichi in 7 as well. I think... Uh, but yeah, some of the some of the places we go to, and there's like a you go to a really snowy place in five. Actually, speaking of snow in Japan, there's um, yeah in five as part of Saijima's story, you go to a really snow. Oh wait, no, is that five? Was that four? No, yeah, five. Yeah, uh, as part of five, you go to a really snowy place in Japan, and you go there's like a hunting whole in depth hunting mini game. Which includes, as part of the main story, hunting a demon bear. So we've got that to look forward to when we get to five. Huh? Come to Granny, you fine handsome devil. Ugh. 
Oh! Oh! She, she's too strong. I can't hold her off. Ah! Charlotte, don't look. Oh no! I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte's perfect. I got no complaints about Charlotte. Ugh. <laughs> Pop the cock too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me, too. Oh, no. Woo, woo, get a room, you two. <laughs> oh. Oh, please, don't tease. The guy at the counter was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved with an obitarian is misery. The toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter, and it ain't a Yakuza. It's the Osakan Obitarian. Can't look at him the same way. <laughs> I mean, if, if, you know, Majima never had his innocence one way or another. If it were Kiryu, that would truly be the end. There'd be no recovering from that. Right. Now, now we can head back to the business. And it might take going inside and out uh, again. But she should be there. We should unlock her as a hostess now. <laughs> Majima, he's... Yeah, he was never as pure as Driven Snow, like Kiryu is, so it's not the worst loss. Oh, fuck. I mean, I could kill you. In fact, I don't think we've met this Mr. Shakedown. Um, I guess we could take the risk. I have the Zap gun equipped. Fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey. Yeah, there I am. How about it? Hey, you. Hmm? My name's Oi. Oh, okay. Uh, so what do you want, Oi-san? Huh? I believe he just got handled. <laughs> Truly manhandled. I don't like your tone or your face. That was your problem, asshole. Whoa, what's with the sudden aggression, buddy? Take a step back and a chill pill. Or well, you're the one getting hurt. Imagine the scripted first lose. <laughs> oh, no. You're threatening me? You'll pay for this, and I mean it literally. Fork over your wallet, or else. Just what we need in this town, another shakedown shitlord. <laughs> Damn. What, you think you're tough or something? Let's see how you like getting beaten to a pulp. Fine, I'll show you what a big mistake you made picking a fight with me, a guy with five zap guns. Kenjin Oi. Alright, get ready for it. Yeah, this does just fine. God, the zap gun is so good. Nope. Raid not Kenji. Oh, it's out of ammo. Okay, let's switch out to another zap gun. He's coming. Wait for him to do a move. And then switch. Oh, we dodged it. Dodge the, the pallets. There you go. Eat shit. No shakedown can escape my zap gun wrath. 6.5 mil. Damn you. My money. You took my money. Oh, damn it. What's gotten into you? Didn't think you'd make such a big stink about it. Huh? Mind your own business. Back to square one for me. But I'll get my money back from you and then some. Backbone destroyed. Backbone electrocuted. I zapped his entire nervous system. Because the zap gun, uh, as you may be able to tell based on the name, does electrical damage. No idea what this guy's deal is, but he's no common street thug. Better watch out for him next time. That's substory 99. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, for God's sake. Did you not just see me shoot that gigantic man to death? You really want to pick a fight with me? See, that's what's going to happen to you, bud. You're going to get stumped. You're going to get heat moved is what you're going to get. Oh, there's another one who just rushed in. You want some too, you piece of shit? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I don't... Does Majima even have a grab off the ground? Yeah, this doesn't even have a grab. Yeah, well, you're dead. Yeah, I, would, I need to find out if Majima has a, a ground grab. Because the one that Beast, uh, Beast Style has with Kiryu is really good. Uh, especially, you know, given that you get the... Um, the quick change clothes will cure you as well. It's really nice to just switch into beast style, pick a guy up, and then just start wailing on him again. It's really good. Um, right, I, I went too far, but that's fine. Okay, to the business. Yeah, I don't even care about trash like him. Oh, vending machine. 
Oh, there she is. Right, I almost forgot to pick her up. Thank you. Jet, pla jet black jacket. Oh, you're the fellow with the eye patch. It's been a while. Oh, crap. It's the Obitarian. What do you mean, oh, crap? Is that what you say when you have a reunion with a beautiful maiden? Try again. Give me a line like, oh, be still, my beating heart. Oh, be still, my beating heart. It's you. That's better. Now, what's this I hear about you running a cabaret club? That true? It is, but where'd you hear that? <laughs> Don't muck the housewives' rumor mill network. If I set my mind to it, I could find out the number of moles you got on your body. <sighs> oh, come on. Why you gotta be so graphic? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, can I come work at your cabaret club? <laughs> huh? Do you even know what a cabaret club is? What the heck is an old lady gonna do at a cabaret club? <laughs> come on, do me a solid here. The supermarket I was doing part-time work for went under, and things are tight. Besides, don't underestimate the power of an old lady. I'm an expert at making a man feel good about himself. Back in the day, I had any man I wanted under my thumb. <sighs> Ugh, I really didn't need to know that. Look, I just don't think it's gonna work. Why don't you go look for another part-time supermarket gig? No, I'm done with that. I'm gonna give you a real nice kiss again if you don't let me come work for you. You know it's a bad thing, then. Huh? No, wait just a minute. Let's just calm down. No need to resort to threats. <laughs> Choose. Hire me or kiss me. It's your call. All right, all right. You're hired. You're so hired. So, so frightened of her that he puts her on the payroll. I don't care anymore. <laughs> See? Isn't life easier when you just get with the program? Thanks, though. I'm really looking forward to this. Ugh. She is gold, though. She's not platinum. God, it would be fucking hilarious if she was a platinum hostess and you could do all the, the dress-up stuff and the the basically going out on dates. That would be funny as fuck. But no, she is a gold hostess, though. <laughs> it's telling that I'd rather deal with an angry Yakuza than her. Old Kanzai ladies don't screw around. You muttering about something? Want some candy? Or you want some big boy candy instead? No, no, nothing. What the hell's big boy candy anyway? Listen, lady, just do your best in there, all right? Good God. Frightening. Okay, at least that's handled. She's safely stowed away in the cabaret club. All right, let's make some business progress then. Let's let's see how the business runs now that we've bumped it up a bit. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san. We topped 500 fans for the Club Mars area. We got a fucking lot more than that. Nice. I bet Hino's not a happy camper right now. Well, it is Hino, so he's not going to stand for this. I'm sure he'll try something. For sure. You might try barging in here again. That'd be bad. Do you think we should keep the doors locked? You donkey dung! How are our customers gonna get in? Oh, right! Uh, then what are we gonna do? Oh, I know! Why don't we go and check out Club Mars? Oh yeah, let's do it! Huh? Go to Club Mars? Yes! We're going up against them! It might be a good chance to research what kind of man Hino is, and what Club Mars is like. You see, with the, the real estate business, like, they didn't have a base of operations. Well, they kind of did, but it was just a minigame place. That, you know, already exists. But this, there's this an actual place to go to. That ain't a half bad idea, Yoda-chan. Let's go take a look when we got some time. Yoda-chan! I should start doing that. <laughs> yes, let me know when you'd like to go. Yeah, sure, let's go. I'm ready now. Let's do it. Majima-san, do you want to run the cabaret club? Uh, I want to check out Club Mars. Why don't you just ask your buddy, Mr. Libido? Yeah, he would He would be able to tell you. <laughs> but, you know, there's no guarantee. I, I kind of wish it did work like that. But, unfortunately, there's no guarantee you've actually talked to them. Or, or talked to him. You know, talked to him at all, really, at this point. Or any point in the story. Like I said, um, when I did my playthrough, I, I, I did the, the mandatory meetings with him. I think, but uh, I didn't max him out. We didn't become friends. We still, we're still not fully friends. We need to figure that out. This is Hino's Club Mars. Nice sign. Really flashy, yeah. It's it's a good it's a good spot, honestly. Like the stairs leading up to it, and then the space to put the big flashing sign. It really feels like you're going into somewhere special. Yeah, it's a damn eyesore. First to look at it. Hey, someone's coming. <gasps> Thank you very much. See you uh, See you soon, I hope. 
Tabata-san? Yeah, of course. I'll be back as soon as I can make it, Ai-chan. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you. There he goes. Damn, I did that deadbeat a favor and sent I to his table, but he didn't spend Jack. Uh, you know, San. <sighs> Who the hell does he think he is, treating I like that? What voice did I use for this guy? She's the number one girl of Club Mars. I, I don't want you dealing with cheapskates like that louse anymore. Got it? Uh, um, but Tabata San's a long time regular, and he mentioned his finances were tight this month. Cry me a river. If he doesn't, if he don't got the cash now, he's useless. Businesses don't run on kindness to poor parasites. <laughs> I want you serving the fat cats, cause you know what makes the world go round? Money, money, and more money. I, I may shit on him, but this is exactly what I said. I do, I literally do, when I play the cabaret mini game. You do want to prioritize the people that have more money. It seems like I's a good girl, though. Oi. Listen up, maggot. We'll need higher-end liquor in the club, and let's pimp out the interior. Use gold leaf or something. Yes, sir. What's with this Hino guy? He's got another thing coming if he's that fixated on cash. Hi. Hino thinks money can solve anything, including how to run Club Mars as a business. So he spends as much as he thinks he needs to in order to get more customers in and become a more uh, popular club. He's actually spent a, false fo a small fortune to attract girls from the other clubs. That's why the quality of his talent really sets the bar. But the girl who's the undisputed number one at Club Mars is I, who's been working there for a long time. You might perhaps say she's platinum quality. She's the number one at Club Mars, eh? Did he know drag her along in a gold paved rogue too? Yeah. No, she seems to be the lone exception. Apparently she simply wanted to work at a cabaret club and just applied. The girl who walks in off the street winds up making more money than the girls he spent tons of money to recruit. The irony of it all. That's par for the course. You can't expect girls who betray their clubs for cold hard cash to provide excellent customer service. But that girl, she seems so nice. She's cute too. Hmm. Wish a girl like that would come and work for us. Yuki and the other girls are a bit plain. Yuki's good. Hey, watch it. You say that kind of stuff in front of Yuki and you're dead meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Oh. We were kind of just standing in plain sight. Do you know them, sir? Yeah. No, just two buzzing flies who need to be swatted. Here's another job for you. Go exterminate them. Yes, sir. Ooh, game like that a bit there. That was weird. Let's go, I. Oh, okay. Oh, it's lagging. Um, are we having an issue with bugs in the club? Oh, she's airheaded. Let's go. I should save at some point. Whoa, this is bad. Let's get out of here. The man who spends all his money on fools is all the more a fool. What are we going to do, Majima san We're going to take care of them. You make yourself scarce, Yoda chan. Yoda chan! Got to get used to that. Okay. All right, fellas. You ever tasted a baseball bat before? You ever felt your, your own teeth leaving your head? I can provide that experience for you. This is not the move I wanted to do, but it's working out. These guys have high health anyway, it's fine to do the, the that move on them. Oh, right in the nuts. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Oh. Shit. Ah. Yeah! I wanted this heat move. Classic. I love the heat moves that you can just use on groups of guys. Great stuff. And this style's great for guys on the ground, too. Uh, not with this move, though. I've kind of forgotten the move set. It's been so long. But see? Song's kind of bopping as well. Yeah, that's the, the punch one. I'm trying to figure out which was the really good ground move. One, two, three, maybe? Yeah, that's the ground move. We use breaker style for groundwork. Hell yeah. Man, that was rough. Majima san, you okay? Oh. Yeah, I'll live. Hmm. Club Mars, huh? Hino from Club Mars, one of the five stars. He ain't gonna be easy to get rid of. But he's only the first of five, so he probably is gonna be relatively easy, actually.
And we're just straight back in here. Uh, let me save real quick, just because we haven't saved all stream. And the game was lagging a bit there. It scares me. Just, let's just save. There we go. Right. Now let's run the business. Be awesome if that move could stun yourself. Oh, God, yeah. Imagine if, like, Breaker had, like, QTEs or something. And if you fucked up the QTE, you fuck up the dance move. And just give yourself a, con a concussion. That would be... It'd be incredible, but also awful and terrifying. Right, yeah. Let's run the club. I'll pull up the uh, the answers for the, the coaching again. Where is that? There it is. Okay. Oh, and I need to refresh this page. One second. Why is this not working? God damn it. Uh, hold on. The thing I used for the, the head... Oh, there we go. The head pad thing was just being goofy. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Now we got a shitload more girls. Let's do it. But also train Yuki. Uh, prepare to open. Special training for Yuki. Get us some more stats. Customer service too. Peggle too. But customer service too. All right, let's do some more training. After midnight internet. It's not even after midnight. It's it's ten forty four. And I usually don't have that problem. I mean, I've had that problem, with, but then it's usually like full disconnect. <sighs> What's up, Yuki-chan? You nervous again? Not at all. It's Battle Butterflies again. Okay, let's get started. I want to get better at talking to my customers. I don't know what Yoda was saying with her being plain or whatever. She's cute. She's fine. No complaints. That's the spirit, Yuki-chan. All right, I'm going to be your customer and we're just going to talk. You ready? Hi. Yes. Hello, I I'm Yuki. Thank you, please, for coming in to uh, uh, tonight. Uh, have a good... <sighs> it's me talking on stream. But um, Tish. Easy jokes. Evergreen. <laughs> Alright, let's get to know each other a little better, Yuki. Not that I care, but why don't you tell me about what kind of guy you like? <laughs> yeah, she's voiced. <laughs> Sounds like Cope. You just can't come up with a good answer, can you? Yeah, yeah, my bad. So tell me about your type already. So this Mmm. Yeah, very, very young woman, young woman ideals. Uh, a prince. Mm. Damn. High expectations, huh? I think I get you. I can see that. If I were looking for a lady, I'd want a princess, too. <laughs> no way. Why Why does it always come off like an insult? Give a tiara, a tiara, and now she's asking for more. Yeah, I shouldn't have fuck. I shouldn't have spent so much money on you, Yuki. Hey, if you're gonna hold on to dreams or ideals, you better swing for the fences. Hmm. Maybe. But you can't compromise too much either. You need to find yourself someone good who'll treat you right. Let me ask you, Yuki. How old are you, anyway? Oh, this is what we were asking earlier. Oh, hey, Atlas. And 20 overhead presses. All right. Before we find before we find out if this is mildly yab, let's do 20 overhead presses. But hello. Hope you're doing well. All right. 20 overhead presses. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I get what you mean about uh, overhead presses. One of my favorite raps to do, hence why they're a redeem. Um, it's just, I mean, I, I don't have much, like, full-on lifting experience. It does feel good. Like, you get you get the burn pretty quickly, which is nice. But I can still do a lot of them. 
so it, you can get you can get a lot of a good feeling out there but there's just something about actually lifting something over your head that's satisfying that's different from doing like squats or sit-ups well the sit-ups are pretty good i like sit-ups but there's something about it I, I definitely like it i need to get heavier weights at some point but yeah how old are you anyway yuki 23 let's go don't need crazy weights to do it and get a pump yeah yeah it's good like a good middle ground not that i know that much again i am uh, no lifting expert but um it's good it's good it, it, i definitely enjoy doing it i see i see mm. it's a, a fine age nothing wrong with 23 i i may prefer older but that's fine anyway i'm surprised you're such a dreamer yuki chan Mm -hmm. She's speaking a lot more confidently now. And these are, you know, good lines. Hmm. Ah, so you grew up surrounded by girls at your schools. I'm starting to see why it's tough being around men. That makes sense too, yeah. Don't apologize! God damn it. Got enough apologetic women in my life. Well, yeah, but it's just a weakness to work on. What's all this then? What's all this then? You got a license for that apology? Hmm. Oh, you're fine. I mean, we haven't seen how the new girls perform yet, and the Obertarian. Uh, square. A club needs variety. A good club needs a wide variety of girls, actually. Actually? I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have someone who could actually talk to the customers. But some guys prefer girls who come off like they don't buy into the whole nightlife business. Yeah, yeah. I I much prefer, like, speaking hypothetically, because I've never been to a cabaret club, obviously. But if I were to go, I'd want to talk to a, a girl who's just more down to earth like this. That's that's the nice the nice type to talk to. So, it's cute. So See, a girl like you adds appeal to the club as a whole, Yuki-chan. We can cater to all walks of life that way. But, Stupid fucking rainbow nails. No, I'm just trying to min-max your stats. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Hmm. I don't give hard times. I give good advice. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of guy do you take me for? It's always these backhanded compliments. Honestly, that's what you need to work on, Yuki. Hey, I know it's probably a ways off, but I wonder what you, uh, you'll you be like when you do get yourself a boyfriend, Yuki-chan. Mm. Could happen. Right. Cape, sword, and the whole nine yards. I mean, I've got a scarf. That's like a third of a cape, maybe. Maybe even more. I've got a sword. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. A hassle? Even if it was your equestrian princeling? Oh yeah, that'd be a nightmare. Like an actual prince? An actual prince. You'd be, you know, you'd be fucking national news. And pe people, myself included, would be sick of fucking hearing about you if you got married to a prince. I know I've heard fucking enough about royalty. God damn it. Mm, and that. Mm. You'd figure it out. If you liked him, you'd make the effort, though. Why? What do you mean by that? What does she mean by this? Really? What's up with that? What? I've been in, I've been encouraging and positive. It's just that you're shit. It's hard to be that and still be honest. 
course I'm okay. I do say positive things every now and then, you know. Ooh. Jesus. Alright, calm down, Yuki. Say what? Anyway, next topic, next topic. You know, you're not Gil, Yuki-chan. <laughs> She's hen. Well, in one breath you're saying you'd want to date a prince, and then the next you're saying it'd be a hassle. You're like a grumpy old man in the body of a romantic young lady. <laughs> Damn! Uh, she deserves it, after saying, like, Majima doesn't even register as a man before. <laughs> He's making a middle-aged woman. So grumpy and middle-aged is fine, long as you're a woman? Oh, yeah. Yeah, based, based and true. Definitely based and true. Like playing video games. Well, maybe this is a bad time to bring it up, but have you ever actually gone out with someone, Yuki-chan? I got the feeling you've never dated. Ooh. Ooh, that's a zero. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. those are last names. Yeah, they, they go to another... They go to another hostess club. You wouldn't know them. Upstate. Up prefecture. You know, if you're going to lie about ex-boyfriends, you should probably use their first names, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Stupid nails. Yeah, you got fucking caught. Didn't even try to recover. I guess. That all it takes to impress you? Whatever. Anywho, lots of club goers like an inexperienced girl like that, so it ain't exactly a bad thing. Yeah. Gambari Mass, do your best. Do it every day. Alright, let's call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a perfect lesson, because I cheated and looked at the answers. Got we trained? Yeah, same dialogue. Chocolate on ch uh, chalk, not chalkboard, dashboard. <laughs> Choc Ugh, mountain like chocolate on a chalkboard. I don't like the sound of that. That sounds weird and gross. Like, I'm, I'm imagining chalky chocolate, which definitely is a thing. Not not cho chocolate with actual chalk in it, but... You know, I, I, maybe you've had it, maybe you've not. You know, chocolate where it's kind of... It's kind of powdery, you know, chalky. Chalky chocolate. Do you know what I mean? It, it definitely exists. I've not had it many times. I You know, I don't need to eat, but I do en enjoy chocolate every now and then. Um, it's like, kind of... It kind of it kind of looks powdery from the outside as well. It's not... It's not a powder, but it's got kind of a splotchy... No, no, not the cocoa drink powder. I mean, like, like hard chocolate, solid chocolate, like you can get it in ch you know, chocolate bars, whatever. Uh, but it it is kind of chalky. I don't know. Not not powder, because you, you drink the powder. I know that. I, I understand that. I haven't been having hot chocolate wrong. But, like, it's just, it's just different. Ch I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what goes into it to make it different in that way. I don't know the brand. I, I don't remember the brand, even. There's just like, I, I can picture the what the chocolate looks like in my mind. Like, you imagine regular brown chocolate, and it's kind of desaturated from that, and kind of splot- not quite splotchy, but it doesn't have a consistent color. It's got little whiter parts. I, I, don't, I don't know the brand, though. Right. You got- How'd you get? I mean, two whole levels. God damn. Yeah. Her HP's pretty good. Good shit, Yuki. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so... Cast on duty, we need to change up. Endo and Namiko are going in the trash. Obatarian in. She's got almost max talk. She's not... She's got a bit of sexy, somehow. No beauty, no, no cute, but plenty of funny. So yeah, keep her in. Ideally, we want people that are a, a widespread. Like Dolly. Dolly's good. Because she's got some beauty, some cute, some funny. Her gauges aren't the best. Seiko's great. Seiko's got really high love. So we, we want to we wanna get a good spread here and figure it out. So, hmm. And of course, we want to level them all up too. Like, she is big on cute, but nothing really else. So, 
She wouldn't be in my ideal lineup for sure. Want good spread. Akina's pretty good. What is it? What are uh, Got decent talk and skill. We got big talk here. We need. Uh, we've got an okay love. Some party and skill would be good. Oh, well, yeah, we got you for party. How about skill? There's a high skill. So even though she's not gold, she might be worth using. Ooh. Big talk and skill. Decent looks, too. Yeah, get her in. Paying big attention to stats. Uh, we've got plenty of talk already, don't we? Yeah, no. We need... Need more love, is what we need. We need a, someone who's big on love. I mean, she's got some. That's okay. What about skill? How's our skill looking? That's decent. So I guess we'll, we can take some more, like, decently... Yeah, this is good love and good skill. We'll take you. And... Got anyone who's better for party, maybe? Hmm. Or well, just a good all-rounder, I would take. Hmm. Health's important, too, but I'm looking more at the stats. Okay, let's take Shizuka. There you go. That's a good all-round party. Oh, and a cool one from Gao. Thank you very much. If it's that to then, not sex, give me Oba. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's real. I mean, I guess these are all, I don't know what skill what would represent. Like, if you go to a cabaret club and you, you know, there's a girl there. Oh, I didn't even notice we had the, the skill diamond on the right or the, the ability diamond on the right. So we can actually see what kind of balance we've got. That's useful. I should have been looking at that. Oh, well. They'll all get better as they level up as well. And we'll be cycling people out to get the stamina back up. You see, with Yuki, for example, it's not just their max HP that goes down. It's all their max stats that go down. We want to level her up because we want her to be one of our regulars, obviously. So I won't swap her out right away. But we don't need to worry too much about min-maxing right now because we want everyone to level up. And we'll get more people. Um, yeah, I don't know what skill would be. What would skill be? Like the ability to do magic tricks like love party and talk makes some amount of sense i don't know it's not worth worrying about anyway uh oh right this is where we can look at the fans and stuff and which businesses we've opened okay good stuff uh we don't need to do any of this right now though okay okay yeah we need to back out then open for business now i get to do this with a controller and we get to do it with a way better setup what is hp it's, uh, husp is it hospitality points? It's just, it's the stamina, basically. The more you send them out and the longer you have them out talking to customers, that will go down. And if it runs out, they won't be able to do good service anymore. So if pe if they run out of HP, you need to swap them out, pretty much. Yeah, you want skill. We've got some skill for you. Here you go. You were prepared now. And we can... We could have a, a maximum amount of customers in, and it would be it would be absolutely fine. Hello, Mr. New Customer. Come on in. Another one that wants skill. Damn it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, Shinomi could work, and it max matches his. Uh, well, we can we can look at his smiley face as well to see what kind of response they'd have. Well, actually, this guy. Hmm. Actually, might be worth switch. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, I've already made the decision. What might have been a better thing to do would be to, you know, take her and move her onto his table, which you can do. Uh, you want a gas glass. I don't remember what the sign for ice is. I guess I'll recognize it when I see it. The enemy sending their people to lower your rep. No! These are all good customers. Right, you want party. Party and sexy. Uh, well, you're satisfied with Kozumi. Yeah, sometimes looks don't matter too much, but obviously we'll be much more flexible on looks uh, when it comes around to uh, having more Platinums and being able to customize them more. Alright, you want your check? Um, it's poor, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you. Away you go. Maybe not the best possible choice. We could have maybe gotten an extension out of him. I'm probably gonna keep getting extensions. Alright, talk! You can have the Obertarian. Here you go. Oh, and you want funny too. Well... We'll see if we can get an extension out of you, then. Yeah, the average guy is not likely to want an extension, but we might as well ask. Yeah, that is a lady's glass. The little tiny 
thing is the 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 hand gestures she does when she's judging the size of your penis. Extend? No, that's okay. I didn't expect he would, but there's no there's no downside to being refused an extension. Okay, talk. Uh, Akina, Akina works. There you go. You don't need to max out their, uh, you know, the things they want. You just need to get enough to get the the big happy face. Uh, big happy face. Why would I say it like that? You want love. Uh, Seiko would do for you. Uh, Shinomi's lacking in stamina, so I'm gonna send out Seiko, even though she's not funny. <laughs> not funny didn't laugh. Okay. Um. I'm probably gonna use. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll wait for this customer to come in. Ah, but the. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, the Obitarian's gonna. Okay, you want a lady's glass. Her customer's gonna go. We'll see if we can get an extension. And then go for the big money. Big money burst. Hey, okay, money man. Uh, I guess Yuki will have to do for you. Okay, let's see if you want an extension because you were happy. Oh, god damn it. We're gonna get an extension uh, uh, eventually. You judge the customer well based on their appearance? Yeah, I think you can. I think their appearance does change uh, based on how wealthy they are. We're only getting, like, poor and average, but um, I think you can, you definitely can tell when you get the super rich customers. They will look very different. Okay, let's, yeah, let's type, let's press the button. Oh, wait, we can, no, we can, al we can almost afford our limit break three. Okay, limit break three, let's go. Okay, it doesn't work on people that are already asking for the check, but we can like, try and extend. It wants a long session. No, damn it. Oh well, I guess the only downside is you don't get the benefits from them having a, a good impression. Why, why are you unhappy? What the hell? I mean, you want talk, so I'm gonna give you talk, whatever. Even if you're not happy with it, whatever. I guess I could switch you out. For her, maybe. Skill. Yeah, you can have Shinomi, she's got plenty of HP. Check, please. Uh, gracious send-off. I think, like, praising the girl can get their stamina back. That might be a good idea to do that here. Uh, but, yeah, no, she's got fine HP. Gracious send-off. More fans. Okay. See, an average. Average wealth. Yeah, definitely give people who are worth more the... Whatever the will uh, will make them happy. What do you want, Oba? You want a gas glass? And yeah, they recover HP and you get bonus orders when you get those right. So always, it's worth memorizing the. Uh, I guess yeah, you won't have an extension. Uh, give give uh, praise girl. We'll see how much that does. Oh, it's plenty. Yeah, that gets the HP back. Tanoshi. <laughs> yeah, they do say that, but. Uh, yeah, this. Uh, you, I, I hope you can understand how how I find this really enjoyable. <laughs> I could have maybe given you to them, but well, you're poor. They're average, so this is fine. Okay, you want a menu? Menu. Bonus order and recovery. So yeah, if you can just memorize these, it it's really easy to keep on top of HP. And I I'm genuinely surprised that I've managed to memorize all this stuff. Damn it. Because I, I thought I was going to have to re-memorize all this, but it's all just come to me naturally, somehow. Okay, you will take... Uh, you're poor and you will, you're will you happy enough with Seiko. So you'll have Seiko, and we've got half a minute left, so I'll use my limit break one here. And I'm going to keep calling it that. It didn't work on everyone, I guess, but it's good enough. Gets us more money. Hey, okay, someone else coming in. Might be the last customer coming in. They want love. You can have Shinomi. Here you go. What do you want, eh? You want a ashtray refill? Why do we have so many smokers? I guess it is the 80s. Not too abnormal. Yeah, what do you want? Anything to get those bonus orders in? Have a menu. Genuinely, it's, it has shocked and surprised me that that that, that was a latent memory. I, I have latent memory sometimes. Praise girl. Needs the HP. Right, it's the end of the day, so I guess that was the wrong decision. Yeah, we shouldn't do praise or gifts for the girl at the end. Uh, gracious send-off. 
We want the fans. There's only seven seconds left. There you go. Get whatever pe pennies we can get out of you in the last five seconds. You want a towel? Someone made a fucking fucky wucky. Did a mess. Oh, and last second limit break. Why not? Didn't do anything, really. Should have done that earlier. Oh, well. We did good, I think. Yeah. A fair bit more money money than last time. And obviously it's gonna it's gonna be a while before we start making comparable money to the real estate business, but it's good money. Good ass money. And we got levels too. That's the important thing. Okay, shitload more fans. So we might get more progression on the story as well. Given that we've really accelerated <laughs> through it. Yeah. Congratulations, Majima San. We now have one thousand fans from the Club Mars area. We had that before we went we opened for business today. Right on. Looks like we got some momentum going. Hi. Yes, I think we'll be able to reach Club Mars's fan count any day now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're on track. Hmm. Well, I doubt they'll just sit around and do nothing. He knows bound to have something up his sleeve. Oh, hey, let go of me. What now? Someone fighting outside? Timing's too perfect. This might be Hino up to no good. No problem. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Huh? What are you up to, Hino? You piece of shit. Could only be Hino. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's I. Your I from Hino's Club Mars. We got scammed out of all our money at that asshole's club. You gonna do something about it? No. What can I really do? I mean, if you're going to play, you've got to pay. Huh? Shut it. My wife took the kids and left me because of that damn club. You're part of the problem. I mean, maybe you should have paid attention to your family some more. Mm, I, I, mm, feels like that may have just been the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, time for you to fix it. Fix it? By doing what? What's all this crap? Sounds like they spent too much money at Club Mars and were driven to bankruptcy. Got too many subs. Too many gift subs. Bankruptcy? They partied at a cabaret club until they went bankrupt? Come my wife and give me a new kid. Oh, that's the... Sol I, uh, maybe that could work. Hino certainly knows how to bleed a customer. <laughs> he'll let them play until they run out of money. And when they run out, he'll loan them money to let them play more. With cutthroat interest, of course. I mean, yeah, otherwise that wouldn't work for them at all. I gotcha. Pretty nasty business. Yes, that's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me at all that this girl has to deal with something like this. Of course, the girls would have no idea why they're being targeted. Hino doesn't tell them how he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. As dirty as shit. Mm -hmm. And this is the first of the five stars, by the way. Majima-san? Hey, where are you? Boy. Yo, you lot. Why are you making a scene in front of the club? Huh? What? We're busy here. Fuck off. <laughs> you surround a girl and threaten her? You ought to be ashamed. I'd ditch your sorry ass too if I were your wife. Ooh, damn. Say what? Sounds like you want to die, asswipe. We'll get the shithead first, and then Hino. Kill him. <sighs> what a pain. Yada yada does it. All right, lady. You all right, lady? This is going to get ugly. So maybe you should take a step back. Thank you. Die! Shinee! Kuneyaro! All right, fuckers. I've got a baseball bat with your name on it. It doesn't have your name on it. It doesn't even have my name on it found it somewhere. But it's pretty good bat, regardless, and it's not good in tight areas. See, we're, you know, we're doing this um, progression stuff, but it's it's not even the goons from the business we're up against that we're fighting here. Just fighting some guys. Fuck. How do I... Does it have to be three or more for the, the heat move with this? Oh, heat's gone. Lost all my heat. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get for knocking me down. It's the groundwork style. Damn it. Groundwork! Oh, you whiffed it. I was gonna say it never fails, baby, but it, it failed. There you go. Mighty Majima takes the stage. Exactly. You cannot handle him. That was underwhelming. Yeah, it kinda was. No, Majima-san, you're just too strong. But why did you... What was all that noise? What on earth happened? Huh? 
Who are these people? Have you been beating people up again, Majima-san? It's not a regular thing. Why'd you always gotta assume it's me? Uh, guilty as charged this time, though. These bozos were making a racket in front of the club, so I figured I'd do something about it. Really? You beat them up just for that? Majima-san, you could be such a monster. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. You saved me. <laughs> saved you? Um, who might you be? Hi, I'm I from Club Mars. <laughs> what? Club Mars? Gotta do a woman-on-woman -woman conversation, goddammit. Oh, what are we gonna do, Majima-san? She's from Club Mars. <sighs> Come on, calm down. I knew that. <laughs> huh? You knew? And you still helped her? What if she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? Aisan, why were you in front of our club? Hi. Oh, right. I had a message from Hino-san for you. Huh? A message? Hi. Hi. I've allowed you to exist out of the kindness of my heart until now, but I grow tired of your buzzing, insects. If you're challenging the five stars, there'll be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. Let the tears of defeat begin to fall. It's funny, funny to say, say shit like that in the in the airhead girl voice. That's the message. <sighs> well, ain't that classy. Guess that's his declaration of war. Nice poem. Fine. If he's got a death wish, I'd be happy to grant it. Hi. That sounds great, Majima-san. Let's show Hino that we won't bow down to the five stars. <laughs> sounds like you're starting to grow a pair, Yoda-chan. Yoda-chan! <laughs> Making it a habit. <laughs> Maybe you're starting to rub off on me. I did enough of that with the uh, with walking erection. What's the matter, Yuki-chan? You're shivering. Are you, are you scared? No, I'm just pumped for the fight. <laughs> Don't try to act all tough. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. What are you laughing at? You're making fun of me. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. It's just fun. It's fun? Yeah. Everyone at Club Sunshine actually gets along with each other. You think so? We don't get along at all, actually. <laughs> nice change of pace where I work is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight, and Hino-san doesn't really treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other, I'm really jealous. Nothing to be jealous about. Majima-san makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold hard truth for me making fun of you, Yuki-chan. Uh. <laughs> I can't even- I, I put too much energy into it. It's just eh uh -huh. Even then, I can't do it. It's good- it's good laugh though, I like it. Well, I'd better get back to Club Mars. Hino-san's gonna blow a socket. See you later. You stay out of trouble now. Don't get attacked again. Good grief. Nice dress, though. Oh. Majima-san, right? Uh -huh. Hmm? Why did you help me even though you knew I was your enemy? That ain't that ain't how it is. Club Mars may be my enemy, but you're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines in the sand. Besides, I ain't jaded enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me and just twiddle my thumbs. Eh? Uh -huh. I see. Majima-san, I truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. Hmm. She wishes us well? Uh. Guess so. That's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. I wish she was my I wish she was my daughter. Yeah, I, I kind of get that. She does got a sparkle in her eyes. <laughs> hey, my eyes sparkle too. See? Look. <laughs> oh. Oh, Yuki. You're okay, Yuki. Boy, it's kind of chilly out today. <laughs> Woo! How about that weather, huh? Yep. Back to it, I guess. <laughs> See, even the characters have better chemistry. I I just, I love the, the club storyline way more than the uh, the real estate storyline. The real estate storyline's good. And, like, the, the stuff we did last time, the, um... The new hire, like, quest line. That was really good. Uh, and there's some good stuff that goes on later in the, the real estate uh, storyline. But this storyline is so much more fun. And there's, there's a shitload of characters. Because, you know, spoilers, all the, all the main clubs have their ace girls that eventually join the squad. 
and they have their own storylines. It's all really good, and Yuki's hilarious. Majima and Yoda are a great foil to her. It's, it's all really good. Great stuff. All right, uh, I guess we'll run the club again. Because why? What time is it even? Hold on a sec. Uh, it has been more than four hours. I guess we'll do another one, and we'll see if we get any more story progression after that, or you know, business story progression. And then I guess we'll call it for the evening. So yeah, we can do another special training for Yuki. Hopefully, by the time we're done with all of Yuki's, we'll have uh, we'll have iron to actually need to move OBS again. God damn it! Right, ready for some training. Let's do it. Hey, Yuki-chan, those battle butterflies finally gone? Well, it is just you after all, Majima-san. What do you mean by that? Oh, is that some sass I detect? Alright, let's do this. I'm the customer, you're the hostess. Ready? Yeah, of course. Hello, I'm Yuki. Are you welcome here today? Well, she didn't stutter this time. She still got it completely fucking wrong, though. Still got a long way to go. It's nice that you can still see improvement, though. Let's see. Hey. That was a good. That was a good high. Just in time for FF14 server reset to do dailies. Is it? Is it? I didn't. I didn't actually know. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I seem kind of coy about it right now, but I actually don't know when the the daily resets are. I, that's something I've been intending to find out. Kind of cold today, huh? Yes, that's right. Oh wait, that's voiced. Never mind. I don't need to do terrible voice acting for this. Oh. At least she got a cute little hair out. Yuki-chan, I can tell you've been getting better with the customers lately, but you're still having trouble keeping conversations rolling. Don't get all gloomy about it. Mm. It's tough, I know. You can talk about anything, even something small. The weather, current events. Keep it casual. That's what I try to do. Except I also talk about video games. Oh, you could even throw out something you've been trying to get off your chest. Yeah, anything. Yeah, sure. Anyway, so today, let's try putting the burden of conversation on you, Yuki-chan. The best trick to starting a conversation is just ask a question. Think of me as a guest and fire away. Anything. Yeah, this one has a different format. I can tell from the... Uh, um, uh, from from what I'm being told. It's a, like a multiple choice question instead of like a proper response. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a question. Uh, and the I, I I will tell you right now the answer to all four questions is circle. So I like Engawa. I'm an Engawa guy. I don't know what that is, but Majima says so. Yeah. I just I just had to know what she likes. You gotta, you gotta have extra sensory perception if you want to min-max your hostesses. That's what, we, what, what we're learning today. No kidding, you got quite the discriminating palate for a young lady, Yuki. Mm. I, 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 I know a little bit of Japanese. I know that chisai means small. There you go. You and your gramps are making sushi runs? Is your family loaded or something? Mm. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. What? You some kind of lost mountain princess, Yuki-chan? There you go. Point of discussion. See, she's got all these discussion points. She just doesn't know it. Oh. Ah. See how that works? Your question was out of left field, but it kicked off a whole conversation. And I got to know you a little better in the process. You did a good job. You just didn't realize... You ask a question, the other person answers. Easy, right? If you're having problems carrying on a conversation, ask your customer a question and let him talk. That'll turn into a conversation pronto. Technique. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, what else you got? 
That's that's presumptuous of you. Nah, no wife to get mad at me in the first place. I live alone as a free man. Well, not quite a free man. Not really a free man in any sense of the word. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. It's time to put the bachelor lifestyle under a microscope. Oh, great. My favorite thing to do. Do I look like a chef? I just do whatever. Instanto. They even had a shitload of loan words in the in the 80s, or I guess I guess maybe they did. I hope they did. But would you like me to make homemade food from a cute girl? That'd be great. Hmm? Yeah, it sounds tasty. Looking forward to it. <laughs> nice. It's true. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what? You read that in a book? You read that in a book or something? How oh, to book? Yeah, she's a trendy young girl, even in the 80s, so. Yeah, I, that does make me wonder, because I know, like, English loan words in Japanese is a big thing, and I find that interesting. But I don't actually know how far back that goes. I guess, if, if, if this game is incredibly historically accurate, which it probably is, I, I don't doubt that it is, knowing how good the Yakuza games generally are. Um, I'd, I'd be willing to believe that. That'd be worth researching. History of loan words in, in the Japanese language. In Japanese culture. Wait, you actually read books like that, Yuki-chan? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> My lips are sealed. Tell you're getting better at this talking thing. You're making good progress, Yuki Chan. So, so this okay, now don't turn that into a backhanded compliment. Say something nice. What do you mean? Okay. Okay, that, that is a fine thing to say and not an insult. You really have improved, Yuki. Guess that's true. Uh, and yeah, it's circle for everything. Imagine they're me. If that works. Just think of all the customers as me. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. It's coming. I, I celebrated too early. What's so funny? <laughs> oh no. But you know, it's still a charming bit. She's still being cute. It's fine. This is success. You know what I meant. It wasn't a literal suggestion. Mm. Well, as long as it works, I guess. Just make sure you imagine them wearing clothes. Don't imagine all the Majimas naked. That never works. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? What do you mean? Huh? You say something? Motherfucker? Huh? Imagine would be a good customer. Shut up. Hey, look at the time. Any last questions you want to ask me? Forget about the training for a sec. Anything goes. Mm -hmm. What will she go for? <gasps> oh, oh. Ooh, this is an important one. Don't fuck this one up, Majima. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's an employee. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, you're working hard. You are cute, but you're working hard. You're working hard. Yeah, you've improved a lot. No, you have a lower starting point. You gotta work. You work. You're working a lot harder to get to their the, the, the same heights that they're reaching. Comparing yourself to others is a losing proposition. What's important is how hard you're trying to be better. I'm 
I have I have people that need to hear that on a regular basis. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I should also pay attention to that myself. That's very good advice. Besides, you ain't great at talking to guys, yet here you are, toughing it out to overcome your weakness. That's something to be proud of, if you ask me. Yeah. Correct answer, baby. I'm always sincere. Don't say it's creepy. Print and frame it. Yeah, honestly, it's good advice. Advice everyone who does any, like, I mean, anyone who does anything, really, should follow. It doesn't even just apply to creative endeavors. Any any skill, anything that you do, anything that you could potentially improve on, anything that you look down on, I mean, just in general, uh, comparing yourself to others doesn't lead to anything good. What do you mean, creepy? <laughs> mm. Guess as long as you're happy. I guess. I guess. Mm. You say so. Alright, let's call it a wrap. It was a perfect lesson! Woo! Alright. And the next one... Yeah, the next one's another training, then it's karaoke. Let's look at the list. Yeah, then it's karaoke, then it's disco, then it's training five, and then that's all of them. All right. There's a, there's a fair few. There's more than I thought. Two whole levels, baby. Yuki's stats are getting fucking good. Hell yeah. Okay, so maybe we can switch the girls out a bit. It's mainly... Because we... Yeah. It's going to take a while before we can fill out the, rest, the roster with Platinums. And even when you do, I think... There's, I don't think there's going to be enough Platinums to fill out the entire roster anyway. So we do want to level our golds. Get more golds as well. Um, so are they are they all in? We've got one, two, three, four, five golds in right now. Compared to the one, two, three, four, five, six that we have. So who's not in right now? I guess it must be Shizuka because she's level one. But Dolly's also level one. But we've had Dolly on, right? No, Dolly's not actually in. Okay. Um, let's swap someone out for Dolly, then. How do we... Oh, cast on duty, right. And we can have a look at their staminas as well. I mean, pretty much everyone's just, everyone's fine. Because, like, the... The HP that you recover when you get those, like, not quite QTEs, when you get the prompts right, that isn't even temporary HP. Like, that just maintains them. So, if you get lucky with those and you get them all right, uh, and, you know... Uh, like the the right girls get them, they can just stay at max HP forever. Um, but obviously, you're still probably gonna have to switch people out eventually. So, you could switch some of these ones who've leveled out, leveled up a lot. Maybe. Um, you haven't done anything, so I'm not gonna switch you out. Maybe switch Edsko out because she's go so good. Dolly's. Not really that great at anything. But we need to level her up to make her good at stuff. Have we got anyone else who's kind of an all-rounder we could switch out? Hmm. Yeah, Koizumi's level 5, and her stats are comparable with Dolly's. Like, yeah, look at that. Only party is noticeably better. The rest are just fine. But yeah, get Dolly in there. We can level her up a bit. And how about you? Yeah, you're the one we just switched out. So... I guess we'll run with that. That's fine. I don't need to worry about it too much. I'll I'll do the power leveling off stream, probably. Um, okay, we don't need to worry about the makeovers or anything. Prepare to open. Let's do it. No, that's not it. Uh, open. Yeah, not prepare. Do it. Do the opening. Open for business, baby. We do still need to find a stronger balance. All right, customers in immediately. We've we've got what you want. You want skill. Okay, you can have Shinomi. Sunshine Niyokuso. Means welcome to Sunshine, by the way. There's your Japanese lesson for the day. Love, you want love. Uh, only Seiko will satisfy you, so you can have Seiko, you average wealth person. But you can kind of tell his clothes are a bit more higher tier than this poor guy, for example. Okay, you want a menu? Have your recovery. Okay, you are gonna want something. You're the same as the guy in the bottom right. Are they cloning people? Huh? 
Okay, you can have party then. Well, you can have Yuki, rather, for party. Wanna hold on to uh, the Obertarian? For someone who really wants to talk. Okay, you want skill. You will take- I wish we could see everyone's levels. You can have Do oh no, you want- you don't want Dolly. Uh, wish someone would want Dolly. You can have Shizuka. I want to prioritize the people who haven't done much. Not even for HP recovery, just so that they can get their levels. Okay, we have our limit break when we need it. Love. Oh, you're not going to be happy with anyone. Um, who's got a bunch of love? Oh, you want your check. Okay, I can switch you out. Perfect. Unless, no, I'm going to... I'm staying? Okay, that's fine. I would have let the extension ride if you wanted the extension. All right. Yes, you're happy with Seiko, even though her HP isn't the best. But do we're getting an order on her. You want an ashtray swap? Hey, okay. I think we got a customer coming in, right? Yeah, and it's an average wealth. So let's. See. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so that guy's poor. All right, never mind then. I'm fucking wrong. You definitely can get. You can. You definitely can tell with some, but I guess it's just not guaranteed. Anyway, limit break two. Yeah, I think the limit break lasts longer the more bar you use on it. Oh, this guy looks more wealthy. He's average. Yeah. Not gonna be happy with anyone though. We need a better love. Um, yeah, sh use our best love. Uh, we can't really do any. Oh, you can maybe take you. Uh, praise the girl. Yep, got a HP back up. Will you? Ha will you be happy with her? Maybe, Mr. Average. Yeah, you're kind of like Shinomi. Okay. We'll see if we can swap someone out uh, for you once someone else leaves, maybe. I would really love to get you to max happiness, Mr. Average. It's not like it really matters until we're doing mega wealthy. Okay, you want a menu. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's the thing you can do. Um, if you get one of those right, it also makes the customer's happiness go up, even if they don't, uh, if the person you've given them doesn't match their taste. So you can totally give them someone who's just good enough and hope they get a QTE and just get max happiness off that. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, definitely give girl a reward. Yeah, she really needs the HP. Yuki has been absolutely carrying this shit. We've almost got enough for another limit break. We could do that right now. Mm, we could make uh, maybe wait for more customers. Uh, give girl a reward. Improves their performance too, apparently. On top of just recovering their HP. You want party? We have Yuki for you. Now that she's recovered. You want an ashtray. Got a bonus order, baby! And that goes back at max health. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get to limit break two. They're gonna leave, but they were already in party mode anyway. Guest glass. It doesn't matter. I don't think you can extend the, the hype train mode by popping another limit break. Okay. Oh, give girl a reward. Jesus Christ. Your HP is not great. Okay. Can hopefully leave you in the wings for the rest of the day. Average. Uh, not happy with anyone party-wise, though. Maybe switch you out. Yeah, that's good enough for you. You'll be more happy with Yuki. And then we can, we can limit break... Hmm. Okay, we'll try and get an extension off of you. No, we haven't gotten a single extension today. Let's get this next customer in and then do a limit break. That'll make everyone happy. Yeah, whatever. You're going to have to have Akina and then I'm going to limit break too. And that doesn't make you happy. Damn it. Okay, well, it's all I can do. It's all I can do. All right, what do you want? i got to wait a few more seconds. i got... Not a limit break. Oh, I've got this guy with the limit break. Okay, you want the check? I can swap you onto the unhappy guy. Uh, praise. No, I'll give you a gracious send off because she doesn't. Well, yeah, we don't need the HP that much. I'll give you a gracious send off, get more fans. And maybe switch you out now. Nope, you're still not happy with that. <laughs> Just dissatisfied, but whatever. I mean, he is average and not poor, but we've made decent money. Trouble! Uh, I don't really know what to do with, with this. Uh, give apology gift? Trouble resolved. Okay. He's not unhappy anymore, so we can at least 
We can get them out of unhappiness by doing that. Uh, ooh, a health. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get the HP for you anyway. Just so I can potentially use you again. Because the stats are really good. Okay, you don't like them. Would you like anyone we just took off? No. We've only got 20 seconds left anyway. Alright, take Shizuka. I don't know if we'll get enough for another limit break. Oh. That is refill ice. Yeah. Nice. Just throwing a fit out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, cabaret customers be- well, people in general be like that. Um, he's definitely not gonna want uh, an extension, so I'll give him a gift. Yeah, and that made him happy. Yeah, as long as they leave satisfied, you'll get a lot of fans out of it. So you can at least recover in that way. And we can afford a limit break. So, yeah, I'll put you there. Uh, yeah, limit break. Seven seconds left, limit break. Okay, and I'll give girl a reward. I just, I, I want to take care of the, the health. We got plenty of fans anyway. We're going to be moving into the next area soon, probably, anyway. It's when you, like, right now we, we're not min-maxing fans. We're just getting through it, I guess. 14 mil! God damn, we had, like, 8 mil before. That's the progression, baby. It's not like, you know, we bought all the buildings straight away. So it's not like buying the buildings is what makes the difference in how much money you make. It's just in how you manage the club. I like that it's it's got this kind, kind of skill-based element. 1,500 fans, baby. That might be enough to finish off the storyline. So if we if we if we can do the club battle now, we might do that before we finish. Yeah, we topped 1,500 fans from the Club Mars area. Well done, Yoda Chan. Looks like our hard work's paid off. Yes, but Hino ain't gonna take this line down. Oh no, this is really bad. Simmer down, Yuki Chan. Don't cause a ruckus. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. A challenge, huh? Looks like we're finally going up against them head to head. Wonder how that works. According to the challenge, it says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. Cabaret club battle? What's that? No clue. Oh no! A cabaret club battle? What's the matter? You're a chan! Pull yourself together. You know something about this cabaret club battle thing? Yes. It's Sotenbori's cabaret industry's rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Fight club. Two cabaret clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who made more money. Huh. Sounds pretty normal to me. Why is that so terrifying? The losing club? In the worst case scenario, the losing club has to close up shop. Seriously? A cabaret club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as a loser, and its reputation will be ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs have been forced to close. Really? So, so, so-called battle has that much influence? Yes, it does in Sotenbori. There are many customers who choose the club based on the results of a recent battle. The five stars have built their power by defeating their competition in cabaret club battles and shutting them down. Now we might be next. So the gist of it is, the battle's so important it could shut down the whole club, eh? Except it won't. We just lose fans if we fail. Kind of like uh, losing shares or losing... Uh, yeah, I think it's losing... Yeah, we lose share of an area in the real estate if you lose one of the, the head-to-heads. But this, you actually have to play the, the mini-game itself, so it's way more fun. Majima-san, you're going to accept Hino's challenge, right? Yeah, I was gonna. But maybe we better talk about that a little more, you know? You got any reason you want to back down, you Yoda Chan? To be honest, I don't want to lose to Club Sunshine. Yeah, I hear you. But if we back down now, there'll be no future for Sotan Bori's cabaret clubs. Majima san. Yeah? Let's do it. We'll do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue their reign of terror. Yoda Chan! <laughs> We're going to do this. We're going to do it. We're doing it to win. It might not be much help, but I'll do my best. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll help. I'll work as much as my salary can cover. That would be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus, Yuki. 
Club Mars is a powerful opponent. Let's make sure to sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. All right, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, I'm ready. Ready. We've definitely got to pay attention to the lineup. I guess, yeah, we won't bother with the customer service stuff. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we will. We'll do it now. If we can do it now. I think we can. Because it's another q and I thought it was the karaoke one next, which would be a whole thing. Um, I guess it wouldn't take that much longer than uh, if just answering these questions. But I want to do these, and I want to make sure to do these on stream. Like, maybe... No, I think karaoke has specific dialogue as well, and the other minigames have uh, specific dialogue for when you do, uh, do it with the the girls, so... Gonna have to do all those on stream. Oh, well. I'll have to practice so I don't actually lose. I think one of them... I had to do pool, and I just lost. And obviously, you do, it's, it doesn't count as a, a perfect lesson if you lose. You have to win. Right, welcome to Club, Club Sunshine, Yuki. I mean, customer? That was close. That was one word off being right. Still ain't there. Hmm. Alright, one more for today, Yuki. That's a good opener. Good shit, Yuki. Hey, Yuki-chan. You're looking cute as ever today. <laughs> well, don't just laugh. Huh? Yo, what's with the giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. Oh, come on. You need to get past this, Yuki. It's fucked up. <sighs> Well, whatever works. At least you're doing okay when it's me you're practicing with. Uh, mm. That's good. That just goes to show you could potentially do the same with your customers as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's great. It's like watching watching your Oshi grow and do cool new stuff. Just, I'm glad to have supported you, Yuki. That's so? What have you been talking about? Mm. All solid improvement. Remember how shit she was at the start of this stream? Mm. Hobbies? Yeah, I seem to recall yours was Banzai. I, you think I would forget? Of course it's Banzai. He does read self-help books, though. Getting parasocial? No! No, I'm not getting parasocial. There's a difference between, well, uh, uh, you know, parasocial relationships can be good and healthy and fine, you know? Like, when you when you actually have an Oshi or a streamer that you like. Like, for example, me with me with Ina. Don't, uh, you know, that's purely parasocial, but I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, to see her do, like, doing cool stuff like the 3D streams and, and all that. You know, you just celebrate them getting better and happy that the you know, more confident doing what they do. Stuff like that. That's fine. There there are plenty of ways that a parasocial relationship can become unhealthy, but it's not always like that. Yeah, it was bonsai, right? <laughs> yeah. I kind of only remember it because I, I got informed about growing trees on top of trees, which is still in my head and pretty interesting. When you're working at when you're working at a cabaret club, I still trap memories half the battle. Yeah, that's how I my memory is okay sometimes. I mean, I managed to remember all the the hand signals for uh, the, for the mini game. Oh, ah, so now you've practically got a case file on your customers. Way to go, Yuki Chan. Mm. That's good. That's hard work. And probably effective hard work, too. Mm. That's good. That's a good attitude, too. Doesn't feel bad on herself. Doesn't feel like she's reached, reached a peak. Thinks she can do more. Wants to work towards it. Very good attitude. That's some good stuff right there, Yuki-chan. You've come a real long way. So, the club's come quite a long way, hasn't it? And you've been here since the beginning to see it all change. Mm. Six months. Oh. She's educated. What did you, what did you do in college? Ask. Oh, I want to know. Oh, well. Uh, whatever. Yeah, remember when this place had three girls in it, including you? 
So tell me something. Why is a girl like you working in a club like this anyway? Yeah, we never did find that out. Mm hmm. Last time I asked, you climbed up just like this. Maybe it's time you cleared the air. Mm hmm. Uh, fair enough. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. I mean, I don't know how how like that it was in the in Japan's bubble economy, but it'd be like that sometimes. Huh? Hmm. Okay. Really? In this day and age? Companies are practically hiring bums off the street and you couldn't get a bite? Feels like we just started this today. Well, no, no, no. That's not... She didn't... She didn't start the same day we did. You know, she's been working here six months. We've just been here a few days. We didn't come in together. Pathetic woman who couldn't get an office for a second. I... I feel you. I understand. Yeah. Although she's working on this, she she's improving with her talking skills, so it could work for interviews too. Not a good liar, damn. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, which is the one we need? Uh, this is the second one, yeah. So Square, they were clueless. They didn't know what they had. Letting someone like you slip through the cracks was a mistake, Yuki-chan. Those fool companies were clueless. Look around you. It's the times we live in. Everybody's dressed up to the nines and lies and vanity, trying to one-up the competition. But you don't do that. You just put yourself out there the way you are, honest almost to a fault. I want to work with people I can believe in. I'd hire an awkward, go uh, awkward gal who can't tell a lie over a bunch of smooth-talking succubi any day of the week. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Good for you, Yuki. Really? Oh, big R, you're a sweetie. God damn it. Too cute. Well then, I'm glad you got rejected too. If you weren't here at the club, who knows what would have happened. Aww. See, the, the Platinum Hostesses, they've got a lot of charms. Why I really like doing these. I'm looking forward to... Well, I mean, we've already seen that I, from Club Mars, is a super fucking airhead. Um, and they've all got their own personalities. It's great. So how'd it happen? I imagine you must have met Yoda-chan somehow, huh? Mm-hmm. she'd lost all hope. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what possessed Yoda-chan to roll up on you. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he was right in his way. You are special. Oh, uh, I see. Yoda-san. <laughs> well, kind of, but he wasn't wrong in the at the end of the day. No, no, I disagree. So, Yuki-chan, if you could get a normal day job now, would you still want to do that instead of the cabaret club? Yeah, I've been growing here. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Hopes and dreams. She's got them. I see. Mm -hmm. That's fair, that's fair. You are platinum, though. That's sensible. That's very, very mature approach, honestly. Uh, yeah, we're on number three. Uh, correct answer is, I'll work you hard. Nice, but fair warning, I'm going to put the screws to you. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> You've changed, Yuki-chan. Look at that confidence. I bet you'd ace a company interview now. Aww. Cute. She's cute. 
So make sure you don't laugh like that at the interview, or they'll boot you straight out. You do, you do laugh. I mean, y you've got a nice laugh, but you laugh at people too much. Right, let's call it a day. Good job, Yuki-chan. Accept. Accept. Accept, we've only done three. Hmm. You getting enough sleep at night, Yuki-chan? Oh? Oh? What's this about? Hmm? Oh, I see. Late night guest, eh? Well, now. <laughs> She's too dumb! Dumb girls, dumb girls. Uh, correct answer is square. Lady needs sleep. I think, yeah. Yeah, it is square. Nothing, nothing. Just get your beauty sleep, Yuki-chan. Lack of sleep's bad for the skin. And it's doubly bad if you fall asleep on the job. That's what they say. Not that I care about skin. Yeah, nothing wrong with going out for a night in the town. Just don't overdo it, right? Alright, here comes the misunderstanding. The Japanese and their misunderstanding comedy. Hmm. More to that. Definitely more to that. Alright. Perfect lesson. That's what we do here. You get perfect lessons. And Yuki gets levels. Look at her stats. She's a powerhouse. Yuki's our powerhouse. Now we're going to use our Yuki powerhouse to kick the shit out of Hino. Let's do it. Cast on duty. So we need the best of the best here. So people who are lacking in stamina aren't going to make the cut. Uh, Akemi, you're out. You're absolutely out. Um, this, uh, yeah, Shizuka's a good equivalent. Plenty of talk, but no, Shizuka's already equipped. Um, yeah, Aranda, Aranda has decent talk and pretty good party. Um, right now, we could do well. I think a lot of our talk is just coming from Etsuko, being the strongest on earth. Um, but we could, we could do with uh, skill. We're fine on. We could leverage into more party and love if possible. So. Yeah, if we could get someone who's got equivalent love, that'd be fine. Let's see, love and skill, love and skill. Uh, pretty good. Koizumi's good, but that leaves us kind of unbalanced, I feel like. Hmm. Might be fine. We just, we don't have that good a roster right now. We, we can't make a perfect roster right now. Her happiness isn't great. That's something we need to worry about. Yuki's unhappy! Yuki, I'm sorry, Yuki. I'm sorry, Yuki. I need you to go out for just one more, and then we can have an eco round. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Hmm. Is there anyone we'd want to switch out? We could switch out at Skull. Great as she is. Um... But we would need we would need someone who's carrying in love and probably love. We don't have much love right now. Your love's okay. Your love's great, but your stamina though. Mm, okay, I think we're good, we're just gonna make do with this. All right. Yeah, we can't we can't do super good right now with how limited we are. But once we get I, we'll have a second platinum, and that'll be huge, big upgrade. Wait, I just opened for the day. Shit! I didn't mean to open for the day. God damn it. This isn't the this isn't the battle. Fuck! Oh god damn it. I can't even exit out, can I? I fucked it. Right, we've just gotta do another day then before we do the battle. Shit! This is gonna fuck everyone's stamina too. Alright, I guess we'll make this an eco round. And um get everyone's HP back up when we can. I'm a fucking idiot. I apologize. Well I'm I get to play more of this. I'm not unhappy with that. We're getting a lot more averages in now, though, see? There you go, Aranda. Yep. We can get this guy's happiness up with this. You want a ladies' glass? Da -da -da -da. And that gets her HP up a bit, which is great. Yep. You want a ladies' glass as well. Get you back to max HP. And the extra money, which is fine. But, like I say, this is an eco round. It has to be. 
God, no one's happy with anything. Yeah, we just don't have anyone who's good with skill, really. Uh, Alright, well, at least they're not unhappy. We'll send Shizuka out. We can get that up to at least a, a small smiley face. If they have an event. And everyone seems to have it. Like, there seems to be a pretty much guarantee to get an event. Okay, love, we can make work, have Seiko. Here you go. And we can, we'll see if we can get some extensions today, maybe. Given that these guys are all average. And we're not going to... Probably not going to go into rich at all. Extend? No! Damn it. Where are my extensions? I, I know they wanted a short session. I should have focused on the health there. Really. It was stupid of me. Okay. Oh, your HP, though. Yeah, send Dolly out. Dolly needs experience anyway. Eco round. Oh, please. You want a lady? It's all ladies' glasses. God damn. You gotta be better with your glasses, girls. Check, please. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't we can't get her health up with this. Yes! Our first extension. Nice. Okay, we've got our limit break. We can maybe use that soon. This guy's poor. Yeah, you can you can have Koizumi. That's no problem. Regular smiley face is fine. We shouldn't be dissatisfied with a regular smiley face. So we can very easily upgrade that. There's another guy coming in. Poor. Uh, uh, do I want to give... <sighs> yeah. Give him Yuki. Maybe we'll get an opportunity to increase her health. Maybe this is a dumbass mistake. Yeah, fuck it. Limit break. Yeah, limit break does increase their timer, but I don't... I still don't know about, like, multiple limit breaks. Yes. Everyone's making big-ass money. Check. Well, actually, because... Yeah, with everyone being in limit break, we can praise the girl and get the health up. Yeah! Oh, tactical eco limit break. Here we go. Give girl a reward. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is... An I'm discovering new strats on my second playthrough just for this minigame. That's great. A new guy coming in. Check for you. Uh, give girl a reward. I don't know. If I, I guess giving girl rewards is supposed to be better. I should try praising now and then. Just to see how it compares. Okay, okay. It's going well. More customers coming in. And we're, we're keeping those seats filled. Which is important. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, thank you. Just thank you. I don't wanna I don't wanna strain Yuki anymore. This is a dumb idea. We need we want her to be good for the fucking the battle. Yeah, send that school out, she's fine. Even though she's not playing to her expertise right now. It's fine. We yeah, give girl a reward. Need that health up. Need that health up. Okay, you're coming in, you want skill. I'll give you Akina. Akina's fine. Okay, we can boost you back up. You want a towel? Finally, not a lady's glass. Sorry for delaying the battle again, but this is, at least I'm having fun. I can say that much at least. Okay, you want a gas glass. Easy health. Free health. Free money. You want your check? Uh, we can give you a reward. It says it increases performance. Maybe... Maybe praise is just better for health. Okay, guess glass. Let's go. Just chilling out at max health, no problem. She will never be stopped. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, Yuki's health is okay. We can do another limit break and give him more health when we're done. We could totally do that. Uh, we're about to get the limit break level 2. Maybe we can get a 3. Yeah, go, Shizuka. Oh, we can give you a health boost right now. Yeah, you want a gas glass. Oh, that's good. That pretty much maxes her out. There you go. That's all it takes, getting lucky with the with one of these. And I guess we get an animation for this one for some reason. I guess the Platinums, I, I guess it's doing doing gestures for Platinums gets you the cutscene with a little thumbs up. I love that. 
Okay, you want a gas class, we've got a new customer coming in. So, and we're nearly, we've got less than a minute left, but we could, we could get a fat little limit break here. Well, not that, yeah, it, it only affects the time. But no, we're about, we're about to get level three. So we'll do a limit break three. A cabaret limit break three, as opposed to a DPS or a, a, a tank or a, a healer limit break three. Or LB3, as the, the gamer experts call it. You want an ashtray? I think we've done well in, in terms of eco. Yeah, once we've got more of a roster we can rotate out, we can kind of work them to the bone a bit more. But um, that's just praise girl. Right now, we need to make the most of what we've got with this lot. Okay, almost done. I think we're pretty much done. I mean, there's a last minute customer in a, a check. Uh, praise girl. Yeah, yeah, I think giving her a gift would have gotten her to fall there. So it definitely isn't worth as much. Okay, whatever. Take Kozumi. You're only going to be here for six seconds anyway. Um, okay. Give her a reward. Okay, anything else? In the last few goddamn seconds? Okay, we're good. Well handled, even though... The entire round wasn't supposed to happen. But one thing one thing that's worth noting here, you know, Real Estate Royale, you get challenged to a thing. It shuts down the entire business, and you cannot do anything with the business until you go and do the stupid fucking minigame thing or whatever. Or you, like, run halfway across the map to go do a, a two-minute fight. But this, you can just keep playing, even if you're challenged. They never stop you. I really appreciate that. Good levels, good levels. At least everyone will be stronger for the club battle. All right, let's do it. For real this time. Club battle. Yes, I want to I want to run the club. I want to not accidentally misplay the battle. And we're not going to do the customer service training because it's going to be karaoke this time. We'll do that next time. Uh, rival battles. We need to do our preparations first. Yeah, Yuki sad. I'm sorry, Yuki. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just just one more just one more okay just one more pretty much everyone else is okay we work uh, we are kind of lacking our stats are unbalanced though could we switch yuki out for someone else re with like reasonable stats because what we want talk is fine we don't need more talk we need more love and more skill can we find someone who could Ooh, shinomi yeah shinomi would be a good pick if we were going to replace our plat kind of balance things out Hmm, Akina will probably be fine. <sighs> we could get more love. Mm hmm. Anyone who's got a lot of... We could maybe switch you out. If we can still find a way to keep that balanced. If we get more love and... Uh, maybe love and maybe party. Do we have anyone who can handle that for us? Hmm. Yeah, no one who's really great. Okay, I think we'll make do with this. We'll let Yuki rest for this run. Okay, and now we'll do rival battles. Here we go. This is the real deal. For real this time. Time to get serious. Hello, Club Sunshine, my favorite the lamb farm. You all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Club Mars is Hino, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Want to take a swing and see what happens? Ha! Huh? Huh, don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot any time I felt like it. Baby, yeah, he is, he is pig-like. Baby, looking forward to uh, to you giving that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. You insects sure do dream big these days. No grip on reality. Oi. Answer me this, Goro Majima. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Huh? It's money. It's money, Canada. You're always a winner if you have money, and if you don't, you're a loser. And me? I have money. Lots of it. <laughs> Expensive liquor, great food, hot women. If you have money, you can, ha you can have anything. If I want more customers, I can even pay for them. He really is Jack Horner, isn't he? Fuck. How do you think a piss-poor cabaret club like you is going to win against what's in my wallet? Beats me. Won't know until we try. But you know, running a club takes more than the cash you put in it. You continue to annoy me, you fly. 
Oh, thanks for the stretch as well, Gal. Pre-battle stretch. Ugh. Still good cracks four hours in. Goddamn. But you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worms squirm around on the ground, begging not to die. Becoming a multi-billionaire overnight, betting in a cat fight. Yeah, I mean, he could've. He could've. We know that's a lucrative bu business. Maybe he's been to Camarocho. <laughs> or maybe they have... Well, they, there are actual fights here in, uh, in Sotenborg. We still don't have it unlocked yet, though. Maybe next time. All right, let's do this, then. Club Sunshine, we're open for business. Yeah. Can't I can't voice both of them at the same time. Oh, shit! This cutscene. Ooh. He just... He struggles to look intimidating, does he know? Poor guy. All right, here we go. Time to get serious. You want skill? All right, only Shinomi will satisfy you. Here you go. Doesn't bode well. If people who want skill are only... Well, no, it's skill and cute. It's it's more than just the gauges. If you want talk, you can have Etsuko. Here you go. Etsuko is our juggernaut. Yo, Yuki's great, but Etsuko is a monster. In every sense of the word. Um, hmm. Alright, I'll give you Aranda, because Aranda doesn't really do that great anywhere else. I'm just trying to consider. We can accept orange smiley faces, because we can upgrade them into purple smileys, or pink smileys, whatever you want to call them. Okay, you'll take Koizumi. You want a gas glass? She needs that health, too. It's draining quick. Okay, okay. We're doing okay. And we need to keep an eye on on, uh, on Hino's gauge by our limit break. You want a towel? Because that is the the condition for our success. So we need to be we need to be careful about our limit break. We'll probably hold on to it until we get limit break three and just pop it as soon as it goes to three. Um, would you like to extend? Yes! Mega valuable. Mega valuable. So I think it's our yen gauge that we're counting against, or actually it might not be. It might just be... Oh, fuck. Everything's happening. Um, it might just be the amount, like, the total profits at the end. Oh, that guy's gonna be unhappy. Oh, shit. Uh, you want a lady's glass? I didn't see you down there. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get to you. I promise. I promise. No! Oh, oh, he's gone. Fuck. Well, he's poor anyway, but that's a shame. I, I fucked that up. Okay. We're coming close to a limit break three. Let's... See if we can get an extension out of you, maybe? No. Maybe poor customers are less likely to extend. I don't know about that. I'll have to look into it. Right, an average guy. Uh, nothing you would really like. You want skill and sexy. So you're the best we got. But I'll see if there's someone else I can switch you out for. You want ice? Okay, at least he's not unhappy. That's the important thing. Um... Might like you. You're about to get switched out. Okay, you want the check. I'll take care of you first. Um, yeah, just give the girl girl a reward. Get all the health back and give them to that guy. Okay. Oh, you need help really quickly, though. Got to get to that first. You want a menu? Here you go, here you go. We've got our limit break three. So I'll get this next guy in and pop it. Fuck! Mars Money Rush. Okay, that's fine, I think. I don't know. Um... Oh, yep. they left you to rival interference. Oh shit! Oh fuck, my limit break. Okay, we gotta we gotta get people in. Gotta get people in, and limit break. That's fucked. That he can do that though. No, stop! Oh, you piece of shit. Yeah, they're kicking more people out. Bastard. Okay, as soon as soon as we get a good amount of people in here, we need to limit break. We have plenty of time left, so we can still make this work. We just need to recover. Come on, customers. Come on, customers. Come on. Oh, that's fucked. I forgot they can do that. His gauge is beating ours. We, the limit break is what's going to have to make it. Okay, do it. Limit break three. We need to beat his gauge. It's a shame that this guy's coming in, but we're wasting limit break gauge while it's full. We need, we need to pop it. The gauge is catching up. Watch the gauges down there. This is it. Deciding factors. Here we go. Okay, um... Uh, praise girl, because I don't think any of those can get us more money. 
It's all about fans mostly there. Alright. You will take Shizuka. We're catching up on the gauge, but we're not quite there. Ooh. I hope we have another limit break in us. That's what it's going to take. We need to keep everyone as happy as possible. Okay, okay. Check for you. It's, it's close, it's close. Extend? Yeah, okay, I'll take an extension. That's fine. Even if you're poor, I'm fine with an extension. Because it makes them mega happy and we get more money. Okay, his, gauge is, his gauge has got to the max. We've got a limit break. Okay. Um, give girl a reward. And then we're going to limit break immediately. We've only got half a minute left, so... Limit break now. Get that hype train going. Okay, okay. We might... We might do okay. We might succeed, but I'm not... I'm not certain, you know? Uh, you don't like anyone. Um, I'll give you her and see. You, you'll probably like her. You'll like Kozumi, so I'll, I'll wait for Kozumi to come available and give it to you. Give her a reward. Let's back out. Pass her on to the next guy. There you go. That'll make you happy. But yeah, you'll be happy with her. There you go. You've got to be active. Here's a new girl for you. Okay, check. We've got a limit break. Um, give girl a reward and then limit break immediately. We've only got 10 seconds left. We've got to take advantage of the limit break. I'm spamming it. Limit break! And the last minute customer who's poor. But yeah, you can take whoever. Whatever. Come on. Let it be enough. Let it be enough. Oh, fingers crossed. Touch wood. Fingers crossed, everyone. Yes! I think... Yes, we did it! Ooh. It was it was fairly close. Fairly fucking close, but we managed it. <sighs> I mean, their gift and staff costs are, are, were higher as well. Oh, God damn. We did it. We took over the Mars area. Success. Now, isn't that way more fun than just a regular fight? And 50 customers. And big levels for everyone. Hell yeah. That was a big success. Good job, everyone. I guess we'll probably see the new... Uh, the leaders of the new areas, too, after kicking Hino's ass. We did it! We won! We beat Club Mars! This can't be happening! You guys are flies! Dung beetles! I don't lose to mere insects! <laughs> be a good sport, Hino. You got stung! Ooh! Damn! There's no way this is my fault. Something else must have caused this. I! You're supposed to be my number one hostess! What the hell were you doing? You're worthless. I, I'm i sorry. Yeah, it's about time I fired your sorry ass. I'll use your pay to recruit girls twice as good as you. That'll guarantee my win next time. Since you threw the fight, this battle doesn't count. <laughs> You're pathetic, Hino. Oh, here they come. Just like last time. Oh, shit. Oh, we've seen that lady before. You guys! Huh? Who the hell are you? Majima-san, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Tsukiyama, the founder of the Five Stars. Look at these guys! Holy shit, look at the pompadour on the left! So you're the big bad boss, huh? A rather trite description, but yes, that would be me. And here we have... I'm Kizuka from Club Jupiter. Mess with the Five Stars and you're, you'll be in for a world of pain. Oh my, so ominous. I'm Mizumura from Club Mercury. Go easy on me, eh? I'm Kanahara from Club Venus. You wouldn't forget a face this fabulous, would you? Well, the five of you call yourself the Five Stars. Nice to put some faces to the names. <laughs> In any event, it was a remarkable contest. Your reputation as manager of the Grand is well earned, I see. In terms of financial and operational resources, Sunshine is vastly inferior, inferior to Club Mars. Nevertheless, you still managed to win in spite of your handicaps. <laughs> You know, when all's said and done, maybe you five stars ain't, ain't such a big deal after all. Yeah. <laughs> How presumptuous. If the five stars were five digits on a hand, Hino would only be the pinky finger. In fact, it's embarrassing to even call him up here. If winning against this burnout brings you such satisfaction, it speaks to how weak you truly are. Nani? How can you say that, Tsukiyama-san? After everything I've done for you. All you've done is drag the name of the five stars through the mud. I have no further need of you. 
Whoa, let's not be hasty. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. Thank you for your service. Now, goodbye. No! No! I don't want to die! Yo, hey! Damn. That's your cue. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Well now, aren't you happy, Majima-san? You have one less rival. Hmm. It is rather a shame that the five stars are, in fact, down to four, thanks to Hino's buffoonery. Kotomi, would you like to join our ranks? A gracious offer, Tsukiyama-san, but I feel I am better suited to tasks required of your personal assistant. <sighs> I see. What a shame. Majima-san, what about you? Would you like to join the five stars? It seems there's a vacancy, and you would certainly qualify. Sure, only to get kicked to the curb the moment I disagree. You couldn't make me join you for a truck full of cash. I see. That's most unfortunate. In that case, farewell for now. I look forward to Club Sunshine's continued progress. Oh, but do be careful. If you do anything to truly anger the five stars, there's no telling what might happen to you. What a bunch of fuckers. And what I love about these guys is, you know, with the... Um... The, the the kings whatever the the the, bil the five billionaires in uh, in Camarocho they can't be too evil because they always end up joining your team in the end but in this case it's the ace girls that join your team and the actual fuckers get to be proper fuckers and they get like more better endings yeah Sukiyama the five stars huh and Kizuka Mizumura and Kanehara looks like things are getting a little busy would have thought all the five stars would show up at our club of all places. They make one hell of a happy bunch. And that assistant, she's kind of creepy, right? I mean, she's pretty, but still. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that we won. This will be fantastic for our reputation. Yeah, at least we're still in business. We're going to have some tough battles ahead, but we'll get through them as long as we stick together. Like a team. Yes, I, I still, I can't, I can't do you two at the same time. Um, excuse me. Oh, hey. Yo, what's the name from Club Mars? What's the matter? Would it be asking too much to work at your club? Eh? Huh? You mean Club Sunshine? The number one girl from Club Mars wants to work here? Yes. You know, San's gone now, and I don't think Club Mars will be open for business for a long while. I guess he did just up and take off. Oh, wait, that's Yuki. I guess he did just up and take off. All things considered, I doubt he's ever coming back. Besides, I really want to work here. Why's that? Because it seems like so much fun here. Fun? You mentioned that before, didn't you? That's right. That's what I thought the other day when you were when you saved me, Majima San. I knew it must be a great place to work from the fun atmosphere you guys create. Really? I doubt we're all that different from any other club out there. Not true. Club Sunshine's really friendly and cheerful. And right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Please, let me join you as part of your team. Hmm. If you want to be here that bad, you might want to get your head checked, but... It's all good. Welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action, Ai-chan. Ai-chan! Yes, finally. A cute girl who's not so quiet and plain. What do you mean by that, Yoda-san? Yoda oh, that's me asking that. What do you mean by that, Yoda-san? Yeah, the five stars don't stand a chance against a cutie like I, Chan. Oh, God. Say goodbye to quiet and playing around here. You too, Majima-san. You guys are so mean. See, this is really fun. I'm looking forward to working with you. You recruited I, second platinum hostess. Hell yeah. All right, we got a new member on the team. Let's make a fresh start of it and figure out how to work better together. Yeah, I can't do four at a time. Yeah! Yeah, we did it. Woo! Block's been unlocked for thug style. Also, right. Oh, yeah, we also get that. I forgot. Oh, yeah, there's combat in this game. <laughs> we defeated Club Mars, but there are four more left in the five stars. Club Moon is the top club, so we should save that one for last and focus on the other three first. We can now take on Club Jupiter, Club Mercury, and Club Venus. Progress through the story and the cabaret club battles uh, by increasing the number of fans in each area. Gain more fans in each area by running your club and partnering up with businesses. And I got, th I got 300 million yen. Oh, thanks. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, hey, I. I guess we, guess we can just talk to I. Can't talk to Yuki. Let's talk to I, and then we'll call it. How's it going, I? 
I Chan? Hmm? Hmm? What's going on, I Chan? You're looking around the club kind of funny. Oh, Majima san. Have you ever thought about some upgrades for the interior here? Oh, I guess that wasn't available until right now. Upgrades? Yeah, we used to do that a lot in my old club. We changed the interior of the club once in a while. It really helps keep it fresh, and it's fun. Hmm, gotcha. You know, that sounds pretty slick, but how would we go about doing this? No worries. I can get a hold of the guys who did the work for my old club. I think they'd be happy to help us. Hey, that sounds great. Guess I'll give you a shot if I feel like changing things up, I chan <laughs> yep, I bet they'll even do it for free. They used to do it for free whenever I asked them to, for some reason. Oh no! I chan that's some black magic. Alright, interior chocolate is available. Uh, and yes, we got our upgrade. So I don't know if there's any additional ones that we get by default. Oh, she's dancing now, good. Um, but we got the one we got from the shrine, at least. So I guess we got strawberry? I guess we can have a look at chocolate and then put it on strawberry. Mmm, that's kind of more slick, I guess. A little bit of an upgrade. Okay, but I want to change it again. I want to see strawberry. But I think it, it showed us the message that we got chocolate there. So I think that implies that's the one we got from being able to do it. So let's get strawberry. Ooh, much brighter. Okay. Mmm, I like strawberry. Yeah, okay, let's keep it at that. Okay, but that's what we're going to call it for today. Let's go save. And how long's it even been now? I haven't, I've, I've had the, I've had OBS to the side, so I haven't actually been able to see the time. Uh, oh, it's been five and a half hours, fuck! It was just, it's just past four last time I checked, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, time flies when you're doing cabaret clubs are, because it's that fun. It genuinely is, it's really good. I love it a lot. But okay, that's what we're going to call it for today. Um... Um, uh, I'll, I'll try and remember to keep the controller charged for next time, but it should be charged now. It's been plugged in the whole time. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Um, what are we doing next? Uh, gotta remember the schedule. Oh yeah, we're doing eco on Friday, and we'll see how far we get. We were just about to get the sword in, uh, in that, so maybe we'll finally do more damage to those goddamn shadows. And we'll do more red mat too on Sunday, so more VR. That should be good. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. Uh, we'll go raid... Who's on? Who's on? Uh, oh, Spike's playing herbs. He's playing herbs on the DS? Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Because I have uh, I was thinking about getting herbs for the the GameCube or something. So yeah, I'll, I'll send you over to Spike. Spike's always playing the most interesting games. No, I didn't want... No, I didn't want that. Shut up. Nope. No, no, no. I didn't need to click on anything there. Um, but yes, I'll send you over to Spike. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I'll I'll see you hopefully on Friday for some uh, thingy for <laughs> for fuck for some eco. There you go. Uh, I hopefully see you Friday for some uh, for some eco. I am looking forward to playing that again. Uh, Till then, I hope you have a very lovely uh, morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, uh, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you around. Uh, goodbye. 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 Goodbye.